<laughs> One, two, it's your man, Ra Hanna. We are in the building. Let's go for the Littman Lights Northwest Cup. People are still pouring in. The crowds are getting here. I'm here with my technical advisor from the almighty Ox Billiards. This is Mr. Christian Younger. Youngers. Pong. Youngers. Yeah. Mr. Christian Youngers, he is in the building. He's going to be teching. We're going to be repping this. It's going to be great. This is brought to you by Littman Lights. Joe Peach Hour Cues, Legends Billiards in Beaverton, Ohio. Oh, <laughs> Beaverton, Oregon, sorry. And Diamond Mine, Joe Scudder Table Sales. We'll be getting to it in a minute. Uh, do me a favor, share the stream, guys. We'll be right back. Two mics. All right, where's Team Oregon at? Where's the fans for Oregon? Oh, all right. That's a little. That's a little noise. All right. Where's my Washington fans at? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did Washington actually make more noise than Oregon? 
Uh oh. We in the building. What's up, Washington? Yeah. Hey, hey now. All right. He makes more noise. Kelso makes more noise than anybody. All right. <laughs> Check this out. We are live from the Litman Lights Northwest Cup. This is the second iteration of this. This is the fourth time, though. And uh, we're going to be live from today till tomorrow. I'm Ryan, if you've been hiding under a rock. And I'm very, very glad to be out here in Beaverton, Oregon, with all these awesome people. You guys rock. Here's one thing we're going to do today. We're not at a golf tournament. Not at a golf tournament. You guys see a, a good shot, what you gonna do? Not a church. We're gonna bring some again, not a church. So with that, with that coming, I'm gonna introduce Team Washington. The captain, Mr. Ed Slade. Give it up for Ed. All right, there we go. Ed, what, come on, get over here, bro. This is, no, no. What you got to say, bro? Uh, go Washington. <laughs> That's original. Are you guys going to take this down or what? We are going to give it our best shot, man. We're going we're gonna to try like hell this time. All right, there we go. And next up, one of my friends, Mr. James DeVee. I got to teach him as we do it. It's okay. That's all right. I'm a little short here. It's my, oh, it's my dude. Y'all mess with me, I'm getting big game, James. What's up, James? I was happy to be here, ready to go. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. That's big James. All right, coming up next, one of my favorite young guns, Daniel Sardincilio. Yeah. Let's go. I know this guy a long time, man. This guy's a killer for sure. What's up, baby? What's up? What's up? All right, say what's up to the people. What's going on, everybody tuning in? Today we're going to try hard and play hard, and we'll see what happens. That's what's up. Daniel Sard and Cilio. All right, next up, one of my name favorites, Randy Camantique. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You guys want some action? I got Mr. Action right here. What's up, baby? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Thank All you. Right. So what? Tell them the prediction, bro. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to do our best out here, and then uh, we're excited to be here. So thank you. Thank you for having us here. There we go. All right, coming up next, Joe Tamora. Let's go, Joe. Yeah, these guys look like straight up pool players, boy. They're ready. Fist bumps and everything. What's up, Joe? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm ready to play. All right. Oh, you ready to play? Yep. Are you guys going to win or what? Oh, yeah. Woo. He said, oh, yeah, for sure. All right, Joe Tamora. And last but not least, Phyllis Hernandez. Come on down. Fernandez. My bad, Phyllis. I'm a little dyslexic. I read H's and F's and F's and H's as well, right? It's my girl, Phil. What's up, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How you doing? You're looking pretty sharp. I look better than last night, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you think about today and everything going on? It's a good time. It's a fun time, and let's just get together and, and enjoy each other. Amen. I appreciate that. That's right. Let's get together and enjoy each other. All right. Coming up, the defending <laughs> Captain Mike. D. My man right here, Mike D is in the building. Mike D is in the building. What's up, buddy? How you doing, all man? How all right, you Mike, you know the drill, bro. What's going on? Uh, we're going to play some pool, man. We're going to play some pool. A big shout out to uh, Matt McInnes for starting this up and Mike Lippman for keeping it going. Yeah. Absolutely. Big shout out for yeah, Mike Lippman. That's all, all day. All right, Mike D's going to be in the booth assisting because. Uh, Double J is a little sick right now. Mike's going to hold it down until Double J gets better. And if you're not, I'm going to rock with this dude till the wheels fall off. Let's go. Very good. All Thanks. right. Coming up next, my main man, Steve Lingelbach. Come on down. Yeah. Got some action now, baby. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. How about is that, you? Is everything fantastic? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about today, brother? It's going to be a great battle. It's going to be a battle? It's going to be a battle. Okay, that's what you heard it from the man. It's gonna be a battle, battle time coming up. Another one of my favorite young guns, Big Schmove, Chris Byers. He's another short guy, so we gotta move the mic. <laughs> Don't do me like that, bro. <laughs> what up, Chris? How's it going, everybody? All right, they've been rooting for you to be on this team. They said it's gonna be a war. What's going on? 
Uh, it's going to be war, but it's good energy in here, and I'm just going to eat it up, and so are we, and we're going to play good. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what everybody's been hoping. You and James DeVee, Hill Hill, who takes it? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> good move. Hey, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> all right. Next, not my man, Paul Marquez. Let's go. You got to give it up for Paul. He's a little shy, so you got to be careful, you know. This guy's a little shy, like me. All right, Paul, what's up, baby? What's up, man? What's up? You what's ready to do work? Yeah, man, I'm just uh, really appreciative of the Pacific Northwest and what, what we've done here. And Absolutely. being part of this is just an honor, so uh, we're ready to roll. Oh, we're ready to roll. Roll over, people? <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> we're, we're going to try. All right. All right, next up, the family guy, Michael Jensen. I made that up. I made that up. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, damn. You got a little fan club up there. Well, it's my family up there. Oh, your family. Y'all better clap for him. <laughs> All right, Mike. I heard you just to steady you to rock. I heard you ready to rock and roll. What's going on? Oh, not much. I just, uh, God bless this event and double blessings to Oregon. Amen. Amen. God bless this event. So what do you think? What's going to be the outcome, bro? Oregon. Oh, you said that. <laughs> what? I, was there a question? I didn't think that was a Ooh, question. Oh, <laughs> I like this guy. All right, coming up next, representing for the ladies, Chris Robbins. In the building. Let's go, let's go. All right, Chris, how you doing, Chris? I am great. All I'm right. honored to be here. Wow, honored. That's some big words. Don't use them big words. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> what do you think is going to be the outcome of this event? I think it's going to be a great, amazing weekend and some really good pool. So. I like that. Hopefully I paid her to say wins. that. Hopefully our side wins. All right, let's go. Last but not least, just a little sneaky. We're going to bring up the producer of this event, Mr. Mike Littman. Yo, y'all got to give it up for Mike. My brother. Yo, I'm going to tell you out there some facts right here. This is the hardest working guy in pool right here. This guy built these lights. He out there working. It was no days off. Nobody, no elves came in and put this together. This man puts his money where his mouth is. I love this guy. You should love him too. Mike Littman. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, bro. All right. Beautiful. You got a prediction? My prediction. Hill Hill, for sure. Third time in a row. Hill Hill. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, last but not least, I like this guy, but I don't really like this guy, but I like this guy. Mr. Our referee, Sam Rubino. Give it up for Sam, y'all. I'm going to roast him. I got this mic. I'm going to roast him. My man. Second time. Third time working with you, right? Third time, yes. Why are you taking so long, bro? I don't remember this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Big Sam. and He's referee. He's going to make things, everything tight and right. We appreciate you. You bet. Yeah, yeah ref. Unbiased. You, I'm, I'll just be watching the table. That's, uh, that's, that's my job. There we go. Uh, one last thing. I'm, I can't remember this young lady's name, but I'm going to call her up if she's right there. Come on down. She's the head mistress of legends. What's her name, Mike? Michelle B. In the building. Let's go, Michelle. Let's go, Michelle. Listen, guys. When I was here incognito, I was here with this lady. She made sure that everything was tended to. And when I hit her with all my nerd questions on the internet, she was the one answering them. She said, I was the one answering you. I was like, thank you. Uh, we're really proud, and I love this space. This space is fantastic. We want to thank you for having us here. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're really excited to do this. I just love all of the events that we're bringing here, and this one particularly special because I've known Mike for many years now. So thanks for bringing it here, and we're going to have a good time. Let's go. Let's give it up for her. All right. We gotta handle some business right now. Double J is sick. He might, you know, we don't know what's up. Well, we send him all well wishes. We send a big respect to uh, Michelle's husband, Mike. Right? And uh, right now, we're just gonna request get this out the way. A uh, moment of silence for our man, Roger Goodman. All right, you guys ready for some action? You guys ready for some action? Let's go. Littman Lights, Northwest Cup, let's go.
one, two. We are in the building. Christian, it's going to be a banger. It's going to be a great event, guys. All right, we're in the building. I'm getting myself situated. Just give me a half a second and I'll be ready to go. Alright guys, I'm here. I'm gonna be in the chat room in one second. So, Daniel Sargent Sidio. What a great shot there. Sorry about that, guys. shot lined up on the five back and forth and he should be in action all right Daniel Sarden said he might he might take on this bank <laughs> Just like that, Jen, baby. Now a little draw. Draw right back to the eight. And he should be good. Overworld shape on the nine a little bit. Butter, baby. I got you. 
All right, as we get it rocking and rolling, we'll hold it down. Coming up next, Michael Jensen versus Randy Camantique. Camantique, let's go. All right, all right. Should be another good, good match. I like them. They do get the uh, the team play right out the way real quick, and then we're on to the action. We'll let you guys know what's coming up. <laughs> mm. Y'all better watch out. We might have just formed Voltron. <laughs> All right, nice strong break. Looking for some action up and down. Mm, possible back cut on the one. Swing it around. Has to make sure he doesn't scratch. That was a problem. He might get lucky. Nope. Opportunity for Randy Camantique. He just needs a slight angle. Now he has to make sure he, you know, he could bump the three. You don't want to hit balls. You don't want to move balls if you don't have to. Little back and forth. Should be good. How oh, you like that? Uh-oh. Mmm. A little bit of trouble there. We're going to see the jump cue. That's what happens in the early parts of the match. You just get a little, a little bit of nerves, a little nerves coming through. Mm -mm. Uh, table's wide open. Opportunity for Mike Jensen. Still, this is this is the the first game jitters. He just overrolled that shape. <laughs> Excuse me. Opportunity to be a hero. In the chat room, Jennifer Harefield, I miss you guys too, man. Go USA Juniors. Let's go. We might see it, a triple combo.
can't hear me, I'll turn it up. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you, Rhonda. Wow. Action on the combo. There we go. All right, getting things settled here. Get it right. Hold on a second, guys. One, 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 one second. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. <coughs> Just, there we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. <laughs> Let's go. Sam Rubito on the refereeing tip. Sunk a lot of them on that one. What's up, Delane? Yeah, that combo was crazy. A great shot. He's allowed himself. He's going to have to do a little bit of work to get back to the five, but he should be good. James DeV, or as they call him around here, Big Smooth. My man, Alan, what's happening, bro? Do me a favor, you guys, just share that stream, man. Let's pump it up. James Costello is Washington versus Oregon. Their names are on the back of their jerseys. The guy shooting right now is James DeV. Yeah, these guys, they, they're coming to put the work in today. Right, just like that, we're settling into the groove now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is going to be a great weekend of pool. Uh, Washington versus Oregon, brought to you by Littman Lights, baby. Mike Littman and Littman Lights, saving PNW pool, keeping the Northwest Cup up in action. We'd like to thank our sponsor, James Joe Peach Hour. Custom Cues, man, one of the best guys in the business. Always supporting the juniors, a fantastic guy. Diamond Mind, my man John Scudder, table sales. If you're in the PNW Northwest, check out my man John Scudder for the diamonds. And we'd like to thank our host, our host spot, Legends Billiard Room. Catfish Lose. Come on down. You want lunch? You want dinner or something? You'd have to make it happen. We're working through the kinks here, guys. You guys know what it is. We'll get it cracking. Sorry about the squeaking, guys. Just give me a second.
Uh, thank you, Ken. We are in the building. What's up, Lucas for Casa Verna? Thank you. Right now at the table in the gray is Chris Byers. Lays up a good safety. He can see it. This is uh, Mr. Joe Tamora. That's a pretty smart shot right there. Mm. Left them long and strong, but uh, Chris Byers is not afraid of this. He will shoot. He will shoot at this for sure. So if you look at the score, the score line is the score line for the matches. So red. There we go. Score line of the matches, guys. So you can follow along. All right, Chris Byers back at the table. Team Oregon at the table right now. And it seems like he's working those cobwebs out. Uh, Joey... Double J was in the house, but he fell ill. He got, he's a little bit, he's under the weather right now. So Mike D is going to come through and, um, you know, just hold it down. Well, maybe if Double J feels better, he'll come through tomorrow. But, you know, we just got thoughts and prayers for him to feel better. Like he's dialed in right now. See if he chooses to draw back to get an angle on the seven, just go one rail to the eight. Beautiful shot. Appreciate you, Joey. He doesn't want to get straight. He needs a little bit of an angle. Well, you have to let it stroke out a little bit here. Got nine feet of travel, baby. Just like that. Look at that stroke, boy. That'll get the cabbage anywhere, boy. it up at two to two if you're just tuning in on the scoreboard red is oregon green is washington the score is now two to two yeah dan wolf big smooth hitting them super spicy hitting them super good you know, th this is what we want. This is where pool is headed, guys. You know, great events for the locals because that's what makes pool happen. It's the locals. Mm. <laughs>
Gotcha. Yeah, all thoughts and prayers for my man JJ, thoughts for my, and prayers for my man Michael Bean, and thoughts and prayers for Roger Goodman. We as a pool community, we have to stay together and stick together, guys. Glad you guys are all tuning in right now. We know you could be watching the World 8 Ball, but we're glad you're here sweating the local action with us because that's where it's happening. We are live from Legends Billiard Room and Catfish Loose in Beaverton, Oregon. A big shout out to our table sponsor, Joe Scudder Diamond Mine Tables, Joe Peach Hour Custom Cues, and of course, the man above Littman Lights, man. We couldn't make it happen without us. Change the way you see billiards. Change your janky lights and get a Littman light, baby. What's up, Snooker? Thanks for tuning in, my guy. We're waiting while they uh, handle some technical difficulties, trying to get uh, something on the shot clock correct. And after that, we'll be rocking and rolling. Yeah, my man. Thank you, Snook. I appreciate you, my guy. As they solve this problem, just head over to the Northwest Cup if you like the stream and you want to show some appreciation. Um, I know Mike has a link on the Northwest Cup. Hit him up and, and uh, send him a donation. The guy is a super solid guy. He does great things for pool. You know, support him. Support those who support you guys. Fernandez on the break, looking for the one. Mm. <laughs> What's up, Todd? This is going to be a good one. Look like maybe have a little carom action here. Played a five ball, but she has to dress up the one. It's no good to make the five without shape on that one ball. Good shot. She might have overrolled a hair, but if she goes in the side pocket, she might lose the cue ball. Oh, 
That was clean. Good shot. This is the shot that gets you out right here. Pop that two in the corner. Slide the cue ball over. We got action. Oh, how she's hitting him. A little bump. She got the window. Window is open. That's perfect. Oh, she hit that with authority, baby. That's how you get the cheese. I like that she's taking her time approaching each shot, making sure she stays on the good side. Little angle. Now this one will tell you if you're in stroke. You want to make sure you hit this ball well. And don't leave yourself on the 50-yard line. She's hitting them good. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to run out and just leave the cheese. Chris Robbins comes with her first shot, and she's shooting a nine ball. What's up, Darren Walding? What's going on? And it, it, that's how it happens sometimes. You get to steal a game. So if you're looking at the scoreboard, this is the standings. There we go. It's a little difficult for right now, but this is team play. After this, we'll be heading into match play. And the match, first match coming up is going to be Paul Marquez versus Big Smooth, <laughs> James Davi, Mike Jensen, Joe Tamora, Steve Lingobach, and Chris Byers versus Daniel Sardincilio. And Phyllis Fernandez, Chris Robbins versus Randy Camantique, Steve Lingelbach versus Phyllis Fernandez. Giving you guys a little, a little shadow of what's coming up. So overall, Team Oregon is in the lead three to two. Next up. Marquez versus Camantique. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, we call, we call, uh, I call James Devy, I always call him smooth. But uh, Chris Byers is big smooth for sure. Thanks for the correction. Oh, man, he dialed that break in, boy. Hope the six don't get in the way. Mm. <laughs> Shy Ross says his name is Big Daddy. I'm just going to leave that one alone. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that one alone. If that's his, that's his nickname, then that's his name. Oh, 
this guy watches too much ESPN. Look at that right through the gap. Got him too. That's a good one. That's a good one. Now, Randy's used to this being a one-pocket player. Finished high at the tournament in Sacramento. This guy's no stranger to the pool game. All right, and here we go. Kick and stick. Mm. Opportunity for Paul Marquez. You know, it's good to see the first games and they get all the jitters out. Once they do, they'll be rocking and rolling. Watch out. Might be faster. Might be faster than you thought. That's what happens. You get on the table, it's under the lights, and you, you, you need that touch, right? And all of a sudden it fails you because you got the heat on you a little bit. Plus, it's under the light, so the table is quicker. Come on, TK. Yeah. Yeah, Michael. They play three foul rule here. So Randy gets a little bit of redemption, gets to come back to the table. Is that not correct? Oh. Gee. Sorry. Gotcha. Yes, sir. pull out that one pocket experience right here. Now here's the thing, you might um you might just go for the bank or maybe try to Z shot, put the cue ball under the nine. <laughs> Look at this guy. He said I'm not playing safe, buddy. Side pocket is open and available. Tough shot, though. You want to be slick. You play the cue ball back to the center diamond. Oh, oh get the cash. How you like that? Oh. Mm. Washington pulls it back. 3-3. Three, three. This is what I'm talking about. We got action, guys. Oh, this is just a preliminary match. Let's go. <laughs> Michael Donegan, that's right. That's right. We're just gonna rock and roll. We're gonna we're gonna keep it uh we're gonna keep it PC. So 
I'm just gonna say that one time. Just gonna keep it PC. And let's have a good time. Right. Thanking our sponsors, man. Without those guys, none of this happens. So make sure, you know, you need a new new light for Christmas or you need a new cue. Check out Joe Pichar. You want a new diamond table? Check out John Scudder Table Sales. And come on down to Legends Billiards Room. This place is fantastic. Fantastic. Right in the gap, past the three and a six, just straight up the table. Yeah, that was a great shot. If he got dead straight, a little stop shot, boom, boom, and he'd be out of there. Here's a good thing about this. He can bump that five ball. Look like he's going to draw around it. Mm-hmm. Told you he could bump that five ball. Now, you put yourself in a little bit of a predicament here. You the one pocket player. You just fired his bank. Go one rail across and get out. Mm. Just try to cut it. Opportunity. I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think James Davi lets this opportunity pass. Um, well, Chris, they don't want to foul with their shirt. You know what I mean. I think he has room enough to cheat it to just shoot to nine in the opposite pocket. If not, he can just draw and shoot to nine in the same pocket as the eight. <laughs> That's how you do it. That was beautiful. James to B. All right. Oh, we got action, guys. If you're in the area, you know, come on down. Come on down to Legends Billiard Room. Come on down because the action's going to be here. We're going to be here to tomorrow. You uh, obtain the tickets from the Northwest Cup, and come on down.
Mike D will be joining me in the booth after the, uh, the team play. And our first matchup will be Paul Marquez versus James DeVee. We got action, guys. Absolutely. I got you, Chris. No problem. You know, Double J is under the weather for you guys uh, missing that superior knowledge from him. But uh, he'll be back. Wow, what a break that was. Oh, I think the eight got right in the way. Last ball rolling, right? <laughs> wow, wow. Man, he got that car in the slot, boy. That was no joke. He hit that ball super good. Oh, boy. It's all ball fouls, guys. That's why those shirts are tucked in. Joe Tamora, what a gift. I was going to say, you got to be careful with those points. Uh, Steve Lingobox is going to make quick work of this rack. This pool player has to have the shortest memory ever. You can shoot a ball straight to the rail. The next time, just got to forget about it. Move on to the next shot. Right. There we go. 4-4. Four, four. Well, that's why we have a ref there, guys. You know, um doing a fantastic job he's right there he's making sure that uh you know if there's fouls to be called anything happens that's out of the ordinary he's right there sam rubito holding it down Ha, ha, ha. 
Dan Wolf, that's a good one, buddy. Michael Donegan, race to five, buddy. So it's Hill Hill right now. So that shot clock is coming into play, boy. Yeah, that's correct, Chris. That is correct. Try to masse around the edge of the knife. Takes his extension. Mm. Opportunity. Chris Byers, the opportunity to take it down, the first opportunity to gain that point. This, you know, rack's a little tricky. Uh, he does have the, the driver's license to get there, but uh, you have to stay composed. Can't make any mistakes. Right in the window. <laughs> right in the window. a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Valet parking with tip. Perfect. Guy, he just hits balls beautifully. All right, there we go. Team Oregon makes it happen, grabs that first point. So, Team Oregon takes down the match play. Coming up next will be Paul Marquez versus Daniel Sardencilio.
Yeah, guys, so just in case, if you're here and uh, understanding, we're going to upload, we're going to upload the video to Facebook after. We didn't want to have to moderate YouTube and Facebook at the same time. We're going to do that later. Yeah, we're going to upload to YouTube. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting. Irina Byers, I know you like that. She said, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, now we, we got action coming up. So now you guys can see what's going to happen. You know, poor Marquez versus James Davi. It is a race to race to five, guys. So now you can follow along. We'll keep you posted on how things rock and roll. No. After the break, I'll be here. Yeah, I got you. You hear Mike D whispering. That's Mike D. <laughs> All right, so we're rocking and rolling. This is brought to you by Litman Lights. We are live from Legends Billiards in Beaverton, Oregon. Table sponsor, the Diamond Mind, Joe Scudder Table Sales. Scudder doing Scudder things, baby. Cue sponsor, Joe Peach Hour Custom Cues. Letting you know what it is. And we are right now, we are in the house. It's all lit by Litman. Joe Peach Hour with the cues. Joe John Scudder, Diamond Mind, and Legends Billiard Room. And I am Rahanna. Joining me in a few will be Mr. Mike D. We got action, guys. I'm glad you guys are doing the right thing. Yeah, next match. So what we're going to do for the overall score, guys, we're going to put another scoreboard in the top. And we're, oh, one. Thank you. Yes. We're going to put another scoreboard in the top, which is going to be the overall score. Put a little scoreboard up top. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep you uh, apprised like that. We're going to try to make it a little small because I know that uh, Facebook, that might be right where the live goes. So maybe we'll move it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm mm-hmm and talking to my to my tech. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> oh man, he thinks just like I do, boy. It'll do. It'll do till tomorrow when we when we fix it up. But uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Last game. Chris Byers won. So Oregon won the last game. They lead one to zero.
some text assistance from the main man Mike Littman in the building let's go all right Paul Marquez in the gray James Davi <laughs> in the green coming up next in the booth got my main man Mike D sitting in Hello, hello, everybody. It's What's Mike up? D. Can you hear me, Mike? I can hear you. Let's huh? go, baby. How you doing, buddy? Oh, we're in the house, man. Dude. All right. Your equipment is nice. <laughs> and we won't spend a lot of time look, talking about that, because who cares? But I care. And wow. <laughs> wow. It's 2022, folks. And Ron knows all about it. Let's go. How you doing, man? Yeah. Dude, exciting event. That was Hill yeah, Hill, right? That was great, man. M my guy's got the point. Yeah. Yeah. I got you, Rhonda. I got the hookup for you. Ken Roberts says the world famous Mike D's in the hey, building. Hey, what's up, Ken? Yeah, can, yeah, that world famous thing starting to catch on and start. To, yeah, <laughs> it's Rick Jones's influence. Um, I spell something wrong. I'm um, Stephen. Uh oh. Something spelled wrong, buddy. Stephen Weekly. Okay, we got James to be breaking from mm -hmm. the cut break. He likes that, uh, and that's been working good for everybody. Watch that one ball. He's been getting that one ball to come around to the left here. This guy breaks super solid, man. Opportunity. That's a good break. Oh, Washington. Um, sorry. Check the spelling on Washington. James DeVee plays so good. Uh, yeah, he does. You know, he's and one of the nicest guys ever, too. Uh, I've, I've been in big competitions with him. We played for third and fourth in Worlds, BCA Worlds. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, two years ago and just the nicest guy before we play he comes up to me and mm. says hey you know whatever happens you know we're just you know just just the nicest sweetest guy in the world uh but a hell of a competitor too and he runs out he's been playing real seriously for about three years now maybe a little more than that and he was good before that don't get me wrong oh man not a, the guy the guy is straight up smooth you've been seeing him around the country yeah. a little bit yeah, right he's been, he been doing some travel up. yeah you were somewhere when because i saw yes. some pictures of you guys together yes. and i thought Oh, raw got to me. <laughs> James DeVee's real. He's yeah. like a really, he's, nah, he's a cool guy. He's, he's super, a nice guy. Super yeah. Cool too. And I could tell from your post that you, yeah. you knew you went and met a real one. All right, so Paul's yeah. up at the table. Oy, nobody likes this shot unless you're in your you basement know what? at 3 in the you, morning. Exactly. You know what? You hit just like you want a window. You bump that two out and you run right out. Yeah, I agree. You know? You bump it out, Good Mike. Good shot. How yes. about that? Good mm. shot. All right. Oh, he's, mm. you know, he's going to have to rub that two ball and send the cue ball up table, I would think, yeah. for us. That's ah, he, he got the cape on. He's going to cut this in the side. Ah, we'll see. He might. He man. might have that cape he on, might. bro. He's got some action here on mo moments, man. He was a Ninja Turtle for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a gig. Yeah, Paul's got some martial arts experience, and he did some kid stuff as a, as a mean Ninja Turtle. Okay, oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, know what? Yeah. You know what? Huh. You can shoot this ball all day, buddy. That eight ball is a huge blocker. It's yeah, huge, isn't it? You got to yes. show me something. Yes, you got to show is. me some Earl Strickland. It is. Right? Yep. How are you going to get back on that four? Yep. Without uh, going in the side. This is race to five. Uh, Paul's got a lot of experience playing on nine footers, so he's yeah. feeling good about this. Boy, your camera angles look great, Rob. <laughs> man, look at that, you guys. Come on, I'm Mike telling D. you on a live stream, you never get to see the people, people. You know, yeah. I mean, that's a great shot of James yeah. DeVee right there, you guys. Yeah. You don't see that on live stream. That's an ESPN shot right there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Only thing I'm right. saying is den in it, den in it. Right, 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 right. Uh, we got a good crowd here. I'd say maybe yeah. 50 people here or something like that. Yeah. I feel Probably like for the more. beginning of day one, that's yeah. pretty good. Uh, they've got us set up nice in the back room. All right, James V. This is not an easy shot. Okay. Yeah, that was that was rough, bro. 
Uh -oh, oh, that went wrong mm. a few different ways. Yeah. Still, Mike, still, this is nothing easy. You could shoot this shot all day. I'll never quit you from here. Yeah. No, I, I never quit. You got to Z this ball past the edge of the five to get all the way up on top, under the eight ow, to get to the ow, four. Ow, 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 ow. You got odds, but. I got to think he's playing a safety. I got to think he's going to play. Duck, duck, goose. Yeah. Uh, James DeVee, to me, is, uh, James really likes simple little safeties, especially in these big games, like this right here. That if was you nice, watch, Marquez. If you watch James DeVee, he'll do safes like this a lot, and they produce, your opponent hits the ball but leaves you straight in, and then exactly. James DeVee runs out. Yeah, and that's He facts. did that to us two, three years ago while I'm watching yeah. him. I just told the rest of the team, hey, we are stealing this move from James DeVee right now. <laughs> Get some simple safes going on. Yeah, it doesn't for have sure. to be complicated, especially on a nine foot with the pressure on. Exactly. Make it awkward, you know. Exactly. Keep that heat on you. Keep yeah. that heat on you. Oh, James Stop DeVee. Stop it. Man. Stop it, son. Oh, you my better God. cut it out. Oh. That was all right. Well, commentator Mike D says that was an amazing shot. Yay, James DeVee. Uh, Coach time. Mike T says, foul. <laughs> 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 that was illegal somehow or not. Come on, man. All right, now he is dead straight on this. This ain't easy. I think he got a little angle come two rails out. Yeah, he came two rails. Nice. Two rails out, For buddy. The click in. Look at this guy, nope. man. He's not ducking. So he makes a gesture like, you know, he wanted to hit there. But guess what? You're still shooting, so you don't care. He banked. I can still see this happening two years ago, three years ago. I'm playing him. He banked the cue ball into the two ball, into the nine ball, into the side pocket. Called it because he wanted me to know he wasn't getting lucky, and he made it. And I cried. I'm crying right now. As a matter of fact, it's three years later. So get yourself. Right, James would be looking good for getting up first game on this. Cash. Smack, yeah. Cash, bro. And at James' level, you're not going to see him dog it from here very often. Yeah. You know, he's... This is their bread and butter, the guys that play his speed. You know, they, they make sure to get this every time. Mm -hmm. So I like his odds. Two yeah. rails right up. No cross in the tee. Notice that? How you, you like Upcoming it? players, no exactly. cross in the tees. He so, comes to do it. So what So what? Mike D saying no cross in the tees, he's not crossing his position zone. He's rolling into the position zone. Exactly. Now let's yeah. go. We got action all day. James to be takes the score one to nothing. This is a race to five with all the heat. We got Team Oregon versus Team Washington. I got my man Mike D in the house. Christian Young is in the building. We got action. I like it. I like it. I Coming saw up Ma next, yes. Mike Ooh. Jensen versus Oh, Tamara. Joe yeah, Joe Tamora? Yeah, Joe oh, Tamora, baby. He plays baby. good. He plays good. And I like Jensen, too. Jensen won the spot. Uh, oh, yeah. I had a qualifier to get a spot. Yeah. I, I gave a, a Fargo window, and anybody in that Fargo window could come out and play for the spot. And he, he won the spot. It was a round-robin tournament. Exactly. Uh, we had a decent turnout. Yeah, it was a... Uh, you this know, is the people, first year I've been able to do that. Exactly. Here's the thing. You want to you want to play when the man runs a, a qualifier? Come out and play. You yep. you want to watch pool? We're right down the block. Yep. Come on through. Yep, definitely. All right, Kez, same thing. This cut break. Bottom right a little bit. Killing the cue ball. Mm. Uh, the oh, one ball's coming ball's around. Coming. coming around. This one. is beautiful. He got to get a little little bump Good. and run coverage here. Oh yeah. He could uh, seal this game right back. I'd like just I just like to point out technically I'd like to see that break a little tiny bit harder so the one came up even straighter mm. in the corner pocket. Okay. Otherwise sometimes you can be looking at a bank on that one ball. Right. So I would say if I'm Paul, I'm thinking, all right, next time a, a little, little harder. harder. Yeah. There we go. And he's out, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, that's you just, yeah, you you know, just saying. This is day one, the first hour. We're trying to calibrate this table. Exactly. Yeah, he wants to break that a little bit harder. Exactly. I've been talking to the whole team about the break, mm -hmm. saying, see, so that one ball wants to come around. Right. For those who don't know, Mike D is the captain. I am the of captain. The team. Yes, I'm just I'm letting you guys know. Team. Not the coach, and I have to point that out sometimes right. to people. If you think I'm out there telling Chris Byers how to stroke <laughs> straights, I'm not. No. No, no, no I'm not. Absolutely not. The only talk I had was that James to be safe talk, to be honest with you. Yeah. He called his extension. That's a good idea, boy. You hate to follow this in as the scary I don't part. like the mass say. You mass say this. You, you follow this right in the drink, yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to try to grab a little rail first or hit nice. like, man, cut it out. Oh, that boy. was a great hit. You know what? Guess what? Guess what? Ma. Slow kick at it. If you don't hit it, tell your opponent, go ahead. You know, I got another barrel. You yeah. have to save me real good from here. You know, I actually, I like clipping up underneath the three ball and sending the cue ball over to the six. Uh, the, the two ball will deaden the three, mm -hmm. and then the speed of the cue ball will take it right over to the six. But, we'll, but you can also, you know, and the five blocks the bank. We'll see what he does here. you got to hit this good, man. 
Because you're going to get separation if you hit it too fat. You're going to get separation oh, okay. if you hit it too fat. Oh, okay. No, no bueno. No, no. Against James Savi, this is kind of dangerous. Exactly. And he's got natural shape, too, huh? That's right. Only no. thing he has to do is make this shot. Right. He can really focus on cutting that mm -hmm. down there. Yeah. I'd say if you're Paul, you're, this is your moment. Either he's going to make this or miss it, and it's going to determine the outcome of this game. Absolutely. He has to hit this ball smooth, though. He has to hit this ball smooth, Mike D. Mm. I think Guess Paul's what? got a cuttable shot. Oh, this is, this is cut. All right, this is doable. Now, again, Paul's a big uh, nine-foot-one pocket player. So this yep. right here where put the two and then get shape on the three ball in the same pocket, that's his bread and butter. So I, I, I kind of like his odds for thin cutting this right in and getting shape on mm. that three ball. And from there, that five is, is uh, kind of ducky. Yeah. It's, it's so nice to the side <laughs> pocket, you know what I mean? Exactly. Don't have to do no work. Got to get his speed correct. He clipped the six. That's so dangerous. Hey, hey. Does this he guy's have the golden you? child. Yeah, there you this go. This guy's the golden child. Guess what? Cold trickle. Rubbing is racing, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. It is what it is. That's right. You're a good player. You take your chances. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can roll up on the nine and tell your yeah. opponent to shoot from there. Yeah. You know Glenn Atwell, I, when I was growing up watching him play. Uh, how you like it? Oh, he played a safety. That's what I said. Roll up nice. on the nine. Tell you nice. how you like it. Nice. There nice. you go. Yes. No harm, no foul. Yes. I'd watch Glenn Atwell do stuff and realize, oh, he's just counting on the fact that there's six pockets. Facts. He's just going to roll the cue ball into the object ball, make six sure pockets. there's uh, at least five inches of separation, and there's six pockets. Exactly. He's going to be aiming at Shoot it where you want. I watch him do that on his nine ball shape and be like, oh, well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? <laughs> exactly. Just don't marry him, and you're good. Oh, good hit. No, he got away with that one. Nope, it's open. But the five doesn't pass the six. He has to play that five in the side pocket. Yeah, he's going to have to slam mm. some bottom right on Show this puck. Show me the And then not shake it and not hook himself on exactly. the nine ball. Yeah. Show me, Mr. Marquez, what you got? What you got? Come on, baby. There you How go. How about that? There you go. Oh, stop Oh, it. that's my friend right stop there. Stop it. That is my brother, Paul Marquez. Good he job, hit that man. ball super good, boy. He's playing with a BQ, if anybody cares. Uh, yeah. BQ is made by one of the one of the refs. Uh, oh, Ricky Baker. Ricky, yeah, and he's a good guy. Nice, he is a nice, solid guy. Nice guy. Yeah, nice Ricky guy. Baker is my yeah. man. Shout out to Ricky Baker out there in Puerto Rico getting it on. Can any of my fans out there or any of my, my chat room just let me know how my juniors are doing out there in Puerto Rico? I can't pull up the score right now. So please. Yeah, not to get into it super, but Puerto Rico's underserved in every way you can think of. So I'm so glad to see that they got a tournament there in yeah, Puerto Rico. Sure. They deserve it. They're getting for sure. the sword into the stick every time. Marquez we turn said around. one one having fun, buddy. Here we go. I like Let's it. Go. I like it. I like Let's it. go. Let's go. Good job, Kez. All right. That's big. If That's you guys big. are just tuning in, this is the fourth iteration of the Northwest Cup. This yeah. is now the Litman Lights Northwest Cup. Yes, definitely. And uh it's Team Oregon versus Team Washington. We got action. It's Ra Ham and Mike D yeah. in the building. The planning starts for this. I mean, I'm I'm recruiting players right now for next year. That's yeah. real. Uh, the the planning for this goes on and on. Yeah. The guys were in here in this room for a week, I think, setting up the Guess lights what? and the. I know. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, Guess sir. what? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, a week. <laughs> yeah, a week. Yes. Ladders, um, th about three fingernails gone and smashed, and you know. But we knew, we knew from last year. I learned. You know, I learned a lot of things, and I said, Mike, this year, let me just, let me handle it. Let me, let me handle it. I, I, I told him, I said, I got you. I'm not going to let you. So, packed up the car, guys, and I brought everything. Wow, nice. I brought everything. That's awesome. You know, that's the way we switched it up, player introductions, things right, like that. Right. You know, bring the engagement to what's happening. No, I love it. Like I said, I always say, you're our ace in the hole, buddy. Yeah, baby. Who cut the two-by-fours? That's what I want to know. Mike D. Nice break, James to V. All right, see the cue ball. Cue ball was coming, or the, excuse me, the one ball was coming right where I was saying mm -hmm. uh, that was a perfect yeah. speed on that break. Uh, the I think it's the four ball. All right, Mike. Not a seven ball knocked down. Mike, you, you jump out the window, you cut this, come two rails back to the deuce, or do you? Uh, oh see, you do, you do this back cut. You yeah, really I, Yeah, I back cut this with bottom left and pull it from the rail. And from there, hope for the best. Honestly, I'm hoping to miss the four ball. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% I'm going for this one ball. 
oh, that was nice. That's a that different speed than I would yes. have done it. So See, that's I would have gone a million it. miles an hour <laughs> right. and James TV is about uh, seven feet big, uh, gooder than me. So uh, <laughs> go with what James TV did. Yeah. He's got a lot of stroke in them arms, That was man. a very controlled you know, shot. And that exactly. was beautiful. Yeah, no, that was the right way to go about it. That ball real good. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. See, and if this is, if you're Paul, this is not what you want to see. But, I mean, obviously, no. but he, Paul wants to wrestle with this guy a little bit. Because exactly. then he's got a chance. So, when you some, say, when, yeah. when Mike D says wrestle, he means play saves. Make him, yeah, make him earn every exactly. inning. Don't give him no, 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 yeah. uh. Yeah. Foul shots. A little bit of chess, but also a lot of skill involved. Yeah, yeah definitely sure. wrestling. You know, definitely, for sure. uh, yeah. Ernesto Dominguez told me, he said, you make him earn every ball so you fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a, a big strategy uh, uh, with one pocket, especially gambling. You know, there's times when the guy's got you six to negative two, and you're like, mm -hmm. why did he give up? Because you want him to earn every ball, and every you want one. him to know it's going to be painful, yeah. and you want him more tired for the next game. That's right. Quite honestly, That's you, know, right. you don't want to spare him. You know what anything. I like about James' game? Yeah. He, um, he approaches each shot like, uh, this is a hanger. I'm going to shoot this one. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, man, this guy. He's on it. <sighs> yeah. But I like a little uh, back and forth. So, Mike D, for if, if I'm here and I want to qualify to play in this tournament, um, what does my I ID have to say? <laughs> Uh, it's got to say Oregon or Washington. It's yeah, got to say Oregon, Oregon or Washington. Okay. If you want on my team, it's got to right. say Oregon. If you want on the other team, it's got to be Washington. Yeah, we got a guy that I got love in my heart for, uh, Cole Gibbons. Uh, that I'd love to have on Team Oregon, but he lives right across the river. And he, he he identifies more as an Oregon player, but he's just, in fact, not. His mail goes to Washington. and Yeah, so I'm I'm hoping, and like I said, I got love for oh, this kid. I hope I he you. gets hired on to Team Washington, yeah. gets picked for Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cole Money is a great a great young man. He's a good guy. He's a great young man. And he man. plays great. And yeah, it's, you know. No, the thing about him that I really like is he built that game. That game didn't come to him. He built it to right. hard work. Yes. perseverance yep. you know yep. so any hopefuls out there you know they have qualifiers mike d has said it you yeah. know it's not yeah. a little boys club you got to come join i know there's a rule you can't be there more than twice right you can't you can't yes you can't do it more than two years in a row exactly mm -hmm. yeah this will be steve linglebox last year speaking of that oh boy and uh that's a big i think you might be build. the only one that i can't play again but you could play him again after the after yeah next year. i could wait a year and then play yeah. yeah i have some interesting plans for next year I don't want to say too much, but we got a we got a uh, female player here in Oregon that's playing at six thirty. Oh wait, man, six twenty-five. You know what Stop. I mean? You know, I know, what, I'm yeah. at, you know what I mean? Cause I know you're I can talking have as about. many women on the team as I want. Oh, there's boy. no there's no lit. There's no you know. Oh boy. So yeah. I'm, oh boy. I'm thinking that would be interesting. A two female. I wonder what the <laughs> chat thinks of that. If that's interesting. Come on uh, now. Yeah, we'd still be at the same Fargo cap. We wouldn't be giving up any anything. Listen, you know, we'd be gaining as a matter of fact. I know you uh, you gotta be talking about that Molina. We gotta, I could definitely <laughs> talk about Molina. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That'll get the cash all over the country, buddy. See, and that's wrestling. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's that's, that's Paul's a good bread shot. and butter. You know, Paul's smart and he's good and uh, and he's a big one pocket guy. He's got a nine foot at home. Yeah, he definitely, you know, it'd be like saying, do you want to arm wrestle with James DeVee or, uh, never, or to never go on mind. a bike race or something? Exactly. Rather, at least a bike race, I got an idea. I might do okay. <laughs> exactly. no, as long as it's not, gonna be a quick match. not motorbike racing because right. he, he raced those. Man, right? Big shout out to James DeVee, man. Had a very debilitating accident and, you know, fought his way out and fought his way back to playing pool. He had, he had a huge motorcycle yeah, accident. Huge. Yeah, to be even more specific, he had a huge yeah. motorcycle accident. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. And uh, that was a great shot right there. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good, baby. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I got to keep Mike D honest over uh, here. Got to remind him he's in the comms uh, booth. So he got, you got to like everything, that was bro. was awful. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I don't know what jump cue Paul's using. I'd like to give it a shout out, but I just don't know which one it is. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I'm John. I was interested in what equipment people are using. Listen, I'm using equipment that says get the cash. Okay. That's Great the equipment hit. I use. Great hit, Paul. That might go, baby. <laughs> okay. He said it. He said, get lucky. Mm. 
this is a, a makeable one ball, tough shape on the two, you unless know what? you pop it with some bottom exactly. left. Exactly. Yeah. He's he looking to draw to the second diamond, Mike. Yep, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, he's right about to where he's at right now. Exactly. Huh? He's yep. not going to lay up. This yep. guy shoots. Yep. I you agree. Know. I agree. See? Right. Yeah. Huh? Not right some shot. of these nerves, just mark my words, we will not be seeing them on day two. That's you know, negative. Some of these shots, just know that this is, we've been playing for an hour and a half. Exactly. Something. But you know what? I love it. Oh, of course. Oh, of I course, love it. Of course, of course. Show the humanity. Show you guys I was all watching robots. The, I was watching the 1996 Moscone Cup. Earl Strickland shoots the five ball when the four is still on the table. Uh, they're dogging like they're, they're, they're races, man. I'm serious. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a part of the pressure. Man, it could happen just, to anybody. He's brought back the nightmare because my junior Joey Tate did the same thing with Shane Van Boney. Ouch. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Ouch. Oh, this guy is, yes. He's a wrestler, folks. I think he's Like think Elvis he Presley and Kissing Cousins. He wants to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> Two rails here. Spin it. I think he's got to go two rails, yeah, with the spin. Yeah, I like the two rails. Get the cue ball. The out problem of there. with going the way he's looking now is it's so scratchable. Right, but it might go off the one and go below the one. Make sure you one. come on on top of but it. Now I would again say James DeVee's at a skill level where he's going to hit the upper side of the one ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, well he missed it. I can fix it. He's loud. Oh, you mean you hear him out there? Oh, he just ain't in the... That way. Keep your voice that way. Yeah. We're in the building. We are in the Producer building. Producer Mike Littman yes. <laughs> is coming like up. It. No, I like it. We're a team. I like it, man. That's, That's it. cool. That's how We it need works. the road show, man. Yeah. We're, I hear Idaho talk about it. Let's make it happen, man. Mm -hmm. We'll mm -hmm. go on the road show. Get exactly. to Idaho. Exactly. All we need is locations. Get it cracking. All right. This is Kez. This is a big opportunity for my friend Paul Marquez. Yeah. Here. Uh, it's 2-1 right now, James DeVee's favor. You want to make sure you just close escrow here. Oh, spicy. Wow. No. Oh, that's too bad. That was Man. a gutsy shot. Uh, he'll want to rewind that one Man. later. He went for it, bro. Yeah. He went for it. Look but, how uh, calm James DeVee looks. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. He always looks like that. That's what he now, looks let's like. Let's see. Does he cross the T or does he come into the five? No, he comes into the five. Some bottom right here and just coming up table. Interesting, he's not going off the rail. He's drawing into it. But he's got good control. Now, here's my thing, though. If you can use the rail, yeah, and especially if you're under the heat, you want to use the rail because the rail will control your speed and your direction. I 100% You agree. don't think you have to do is make the ball. Yep. When you do that little stun draw right there, you got to be in stroke. Because yep. if it falls a little a little under to the 50-50 line, yep. You're hating life. You know, one way I know that's correct is Shane Van Boning always does that. <laughs> Shane Van Boning sends that ball mm. wowzers in and out. You know yes. what I mean? Into the rail and back yeah, out. Exactly. And it's my argument that that's why he uses the extension because it adds weight to his cue. Yep. And he always overstrokes stuff. So he would rather have that weight. That's it right. helps him go back and forth in and out. He's going to need that weight when he played T-Rex that one pocket match. Oh, he don't. T-Rex is going to crush it man I'm sorry <laughs> t-rex is real t-rex does Matt. my son watched t-rex do a couple shots and he hadn't been aware of who he was yeah and he said that guy's on like a different world or something i said yeah that even the pros have to rewind big facts you could watch him do something and not know what he just did exactly. that's a and great shot yeah. he needs two mike d's sweating over here paul marquez has to get it together but guess what he's a veteran it's not his first barbecue he knows what to do so he's going to make sure that he, uh, you know, stays down and handles his business. Oh, definitely. Well, definitely. It's still, yeah, it's 3-1. He's in it. You guys know what that sound is. <laughs> you guys already know. I don't have to let you know. You know what it is. It's the Litman Lights, baby. Sweat that uh, break. That's a great, that's a great uh, logo right there, man. Mm. Who made that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody, you know, bra hand a guy. Well, you have a lot of talent, man. You do. You have nah, a lot of raw talent, I, I my friend. I don't have no talent. Raw talent. Did you hear that? Ooh. Man, that's your next tattoo. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, see that one ball falling short? Mm -hmm. See, I just want everybody to watch yeah. that one ball. This is your worst case scenario on that break, because now you're sitting looking at a bank on the one. Absolutely. You definitely want to hit a little softer, a little harder for James, I would say harder. All 
right. Uh, nice spread, though. We'll see what he figures out here. If you guys are enjoying this free stream brought to you by Litman Lights, head on over to Northwest Cup and give Mike a donation. He deserves it. Oh, that'd be nice. I heard you say he puts his money where his mouth is. Yes, earlier. he does. And just, you really couldn't say it any better. Yes, to be he does. With you. Somebody was asking about profit for this event. <laughs> and I, it's a tournament with no entry fee. I mean, like, come plus, on, plus right, just right there, you're down. And then, yeah, nobody's doing this for free. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a tournament with no entry fee that pays big. Like, no, on, he's man. not making a profit off of this. Hey, like, come on, man. He's a pool He's in it for the pool community. He's a great guy. That's he what is he a great is. guy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Mm -mm. Uh oh. I, I imagine James will be able to take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marquez has to be yeah. thinking, man. He, he He's thinking something has to go my way soon. I think. All right. So I think top, top middle rare, and he's coming around one, two rails to land. To two rails come five. right back where his hand is. That's a little harder than I thought. Right where go. his hand is. Yeah, that was definitely a little harder than I thought he was Well, Mike go. D thought he was shooting at the uh, the, f the four balls. Yeah, I got you, bro. I definitely did. He's shooting at the red ball, which yes. we'll refer to as the three ball from here on out. <laughs> okay. That changes things. I got you, bro. I appreciate it. This guy's just, it's almost like he's cinching the ball, but he's not yeah. cinching him. You know what I mean? I do. He yes. has that just yes. clean stroke. The jam up shirts this year. Hey, Kai always That's does a good very job. Very nice, yeah, very nice. Uh, Damien's been in this from the beginning. We appreciate all his help and his contributions. Damien from Jam Up. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Hey, this Mike. Is what, this is when I picture when you're on the airplane and the oxygen drops down. <laughs> That's opportunity. That's knocking. That's, That's right. That's knocking. I picture the oxygen mask coming down on the airplane because <laughs> Paul just got some air. Yes, he did. You know what I mean? That's his lifeline just dropped down. Yes, he did. Yeah. Now, this ain't easy, folks. On a nine foot especially, what do you do? You just going to draw this into shape? How about you hit it yep. like that? How about you yep. hit it like that? That's all right. This guy. He's good. He's not going to drop this game off. He, he's going he's gonna to collect here. I like his old school gangster white shoes. That's a man after my own heart right there. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't explain that to my son. He's like, what? My <laughs> gangsters wear white shoes, don't you know? Exactly. He tells me it's nurses. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. You know what it is? Huh? He trusts his stroke, but he didn't trust it all the way right there. He he guided that ball. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, he knows motion. better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he knows better. Yeah. Again, I will say this shot is not the easiest shot in the world. You've got to draw this straight back. Or go forward. I like that. Okay, that's one. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. That, beautiful. Jeez, that yeah. ball just died there. This, this guy right. is on it. Yeah, and this will get up on the hill, too. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the place where you want to be. This should probably be a little controlled shot. Yeah, boy, a little more than I thought, but he's definitely good. He probably wanted that. Some angle. Like the first time I ever saw Stan Tarango play on a nine foot, I was oh, 17 man. years old. Listen, let me stop you right yeah, there. Go ahead. Let me stop go you right go, there. Go ahead. Stan Tarango, I'm mad at myself. I never got to see you play in your prime, and I never got to see you play. But I got to see you play at the BCA. Man, what a treasure that guy is. You guys, that, that guy yeah, is, yeah, uh, yep. he's solid. Yep, exactly. You know? No, I totally agree. Uh, I watched him uh, in a tournament playing on a nine foot when I was 17, and I heard he was awesome, and I didn't understand because he never left himself straight. And I thought, well, this guy's not very good. He's got these angles on everything. What's the matter and with And then him? when I get better, I realize, oh, he, especially <laughs> on nine foot, you know, rotation, you need an angle you every angle. single time. All day. Straight is death. Uh, James, to be uh, uh, respect, that was great. That was great out, buddy. Uh, you're shooting good. I gotta, I gotta plug the Bad Boys uh, Out of Pocket uh, podcast as long as I'm sitting here. Uh, check it out on YouTube. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. Somebody's yelling. 
It's gotten very aggressive all of a sudden here, folks. All right, Kez is up. He's got that cut break. Watch that one ball. We either want it slow or fast. All right, come around one. Come around one. Harder, harder, harder. Yeah. I don't know if the one's makeable. I think it's makeable. If you guys have ever seen uh, War Games, uh, the old 80s movie, uh, where they're in the control center, that's what Ra's control center looks like. Uh, there's three people that I think are generals here, actually. Uh, it's impressive, folks. Ra is the real deal. All right, yeah, he's got, he's, he can make this. Oh, no, excuse me. Oh, he maybe overhit that, but he was trying to kill the cue ball is why he overhit it. That's all right, Paul. Yeah, you just got to shake it off. These... These events are tough action, and then again, it's 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 race to 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 five nine ball. Uh, it's sorry about that, know, guys. It's, it's tough action no matter what. I won't say it's a crapshoot, but you know what I mean. It goes how it goes. The cookie crumbles. All right, I like James' odds of cutting this two ball in and getting perfect shape on the three. Uh, I think speed wise, with some top right. He's going to be able to smoothly cut that two ball in and just float up to the right-hand side of the three ball. Oh, he shut it. He shorted it. Yeah, see, and you can tell by his shape on the three, too. He wanted to be much thinner, and he wanted to come up about five inches higher on that three. All right. If I was out there in the room, I would be yelling, come on, Kez. But I'm not, so I won't. It would be inappropriate. Come on, Kez. <laughs> All right, uh, I like his options for cutting this. The nine ball's pretty big on the three ball, so he's going to need an idea. That looks like a bank stroke. We'll see what he's doing. Yeah. Yep, that was a bank stroke. Okay. That's nice. That was a perfect little touch. Uh, James DeVee's got a good touch. Uh, yeah, I have a ton of respect for his game. All right, now, this is, this is awkward. Um, at, at James's level, I would expect to see him run out. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not awkward. Oxygen mask just dropped down again for Paul. The flight attendants are scrambling, but it could happen. All right, I think he's got a, I think he's got a thin cut this four ball and bring the cue ball straight back up table. Maybe cover the the four with the six, uh, but I would mainly I'm trying to create distance right here and make sure to get the ball and a rail because that's another tiny mistake that could happen on this shot. Oh, this touches off. Oh. Okay, or his touch is on perfect. Let's go with his touch is on perfect. I like it. All right, so James DeV, he's got a one rail bank into that ball. That's the four ball. Might be trying to kick it in the side and get safe. Kind of both. Huh. That was a not very controlled shot. I'm sorry. To, I'm, I'm surprised to see that one from James to V. Uh, I think it was all he could do. Don't get me wrong. But I'm used to him having more control at the table of the outcome. All right. Again, this is a chance for Paul to get two games. Make it 2-4. Ouch. Well, all I can say is I've done that seven million times, so I, you know, it is what it is. All right. James DeVee 
on the hill trying to make this happen. Uh, it's 1-0 Oregon right now. Uh, this obviously, you know, you guys know math. Uh, if he can pull this off, it's 1-1. It's a pretty big set. Uh, now, it's not an upset in this format. If you're going to watch this whole thing, I want you to notice that any upset ends up, any Fargo upset, let's say that, any Fargo upset ends up being a big deal because these matches often are kind of based on Fargo. I would say that for me, and I would guess Ed, we do the lineup based on Fargo, uh, based on the anchor system, you know what I mean? We want our highest Fargo as the last player to play, and such and such and such. So anyway, any, any Fargo upset ends up being a big deal. If you go through the score sheet and score it based on who would win based on Fargo, uh, you find out real quickly that you better get some upsets or you might have a problem. Good shot, good speed. All right, sorry about this that, table guys. rolls and rolls, so that was a very controlled shot. That was yeah. a good shot for him. We had right a little, uh, <laughs> we yeah. had a little whoopty doodle. I had to figure it out oh, real you're quick. Doing good, it looks good, yeah. man. You're doing we got great. you. Day one. We got you exactly. The day one. The day exactly. one. Day. It's just exactly. No big deal, man. Nice shot, James TV. Uh, one thing about this event, all of us are Pacific Northwest players, and we got love in our hearts for each other. Uh, no, for sure. I, I love the whole Washington team. Right? There you, you know, do. They feel the same. All right. All right. All right. Mike D's going to take a break. We'll be right back.
right. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, Namaka. <laughs> Somebody turned us off. <laughs> you forgot to turn this back on. Oh, no. We're good. All right. Look at this break. Oh, that's a good break. And, again, I will point out that one ball just came out perfectly. I yeah, didn't see did. how it got there. It probably got kicked there. but I think that he put was, that little heat on it, like you said. great break, man. Yeah, he from the spread, I'd say he hit him a little harder than what we've been seeing people doing. Oh, for sure. And I would say that's the way to go. Making it uh, happen. This guy plays really good. I think he's their lowest Fargo rated player, um, but don't let that fool you. Right. Yeah, Mike's got a limit for how low anybody could be, and everybody on these teams plays strong. Strong like Popeye. Both qualifiers. Both qualifiers. Both? Mm -hmm. Okay, both these Michael players Jensen won. Michael Jensen and Joe Tomorrow. Yep. I see. Uh, I guess I'll take that opportunity to mention I completely stole the qualifier idea from Ed Slate, the Washington coach. <laughs> I saw his Facebook post and went, hey, that's smart. And I messaged him and asked him two questions and said, yeah, I'm stealing that idea. There you go. That's a good idea. He said, Mike, I like that you're so honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jack you. I'm just letting He's you know I'm going to jack you. So. Like, hey, man. Yeah, I'll be stealing that idea. Exactly. Nice oh, he stroked that ball good. Uh, if there's other captains out there listening to this, uh, the trick to being able to have a qualifier is pick your first three players, mm -hmm. and then and then you got a Fargo window window for your fourth player. Yeah. And then pick your fifth player yeah. based on who your who your fourth. Uh, if you're a captain, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. That's the way to math work it work out. So right. you still get to the top of the count. This this guy plays like um, this is free lunch. You know what I mean? He's I, like okay. I believe he is is a nine foot player in general too. I think that he comes from nine foot pool because he's playing very comfortably. He looks good I mean. right now. You he know looks what I mean? solid, yeah. I like that long bridge open handed. That says comfort right there. Yes, it does. Yeah. And we're all tied up at one to one guys in total sets. Right. Oregon and Washington. It is a race to five for today, right? Are we going to five today or four? It depends. I think it can get to be 4-4 four, four and we stop. Yeah. Or it's first team to five. Yeah. This guy ran out like tap water, buddy. Joe Tamora earning that spot. Let's go. Mike Jensen said, okay. I know what to do. It's my turn. Uh, great run out by Joe. Great yeah. break by Joe. Yeah. No, uh, he hit them solid, yeah, huh? Yeah. Well done. No joke right there. Uh, I got a lot of respect for that guy's game. Bro, what's the next junior thing you got going on? Uh, I'll be at Baltimore for when the smoke clears. Baltimore, yes. my favorite show in the whole wide world. The Close Wire. The Wire, yeah, Baltimore, man. Mm -hmm. And they, if I'd probably go there and drive everybody crazy talking about it. <laughs> They're like, shut up, man. <laughs> One, that was yeah. 15 years ago. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll be down there at Center Pocket. Me and Frank Spain. Oh, really? Yeah, it's gonna really? be hot. Yeah, oh, that's cool. That's what. That's where my heart is, man. How many people in that in the tournament? Like 70 right now. Jeez, but man, if you're, a junior, you're doing it. Come on down. You're doing it. All right, cut break. Watch that one ball. Ugh. Mm-mm. You need a little love, Mike. One in the side is a problem. Uh, if you're a player out there trying to get tips, you're making that one in the side. The problem is you can't. You don't know where the two is. So right. You don't want to make the one in the side. I mean, it's better than not making a ball, but you think he's banking this or safe? Man, listen, you can get away with it, right? I think you oh, fire yeah. at this you fire at this bank. I think you have to fire you, at it. You have to get on the board, Part man. of why I want to fire at it is because I don't see any great safe stuff, to be honest. You might as well punch at it. And every once in a while, when you punch at it, you get safe anyway. So I like that. I feel like you might as well that's try that. for it. That's what he played. Good for him. He played a little half. Yeah. That was a smart, conservative yeah. shot. Yep. Family guy getting it I was, done. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> label as, him as conservative necessarily. <laughs> but, I got you, you know, he's a family man. He's doing the right thing. Exactly. No, no, it'd be sweet here. Huh. Inside two rails, right back under the six. Yeah. Bump the two over by the eight and just swing yep. up. Yep. Oh, boy. He now. was kind of trying to do what you were saying, yeah, but he go was. on the right hand side of it and clip mm -hmm. it like that. He, yeah, he would have been better off doing what you were saying, going off the rail. Cause yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. that's the camera angle. You guys, that's money right there. If you're watching this, tell Raw thank you. <laughs> I'm serious. That's money. I feel like I'm watching a TV show about pool players. All right, here we go. Nice, good speed off the rail. I like the natural angle. That was a great shot by Mike. He might be a little treetop by the five, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. That part of it was angle. not quite as great. 
They thing. are playing all ball fouls, guys. Which is so scary. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I had never heard of all ball fouls, and I gambled with a guy when I was a kid playing all ball fouls, and I was horrified to find out what it meant because, <laughs> man, we end up, this was back when you'd spot the balls in the middle. Right. I'm old, and, uh, yeah, man, I just had to keep spotting balls up. <laughs> Good shot. Yeah. Now, I think you just take your medicine here. Don't try to get fancy. Don't try to come all the way down and play it in the side pocket. Don't do it. I would really like to see him just use some left to get That's some. That's what I mean. Just yeah. take your medicine. Yeah. 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 You know, this is okay. This is okay. See, that's the reason you don't play in the side pocket because if you over overrow that ball, you're stuck. If he makes it, then I'm going to say this is great because he got to air out his stroke a little bit. If he misses I it, like that. Oh, he, he did the wrong right. thing. No, I, I agree with the air out right. his stroke. Now look at He's just airing out his stroke, man. Yeah. He's getting warmed up. Yeah. This guy's about to blow the doors off this. Have you seen a DeLorean? Like that. <laughs> exactly. It's fly away. Exactly. That's what's up. Hey, he qualified. Oh. He qualified. He said, he said, we both qualified. I'm going to let you know what's happening, though. Good job, Mike. Let me see. We are in the building. 139 viewers right now. 69 shares, 214 comments. Wow, that's great. Let's pick that up, guys. That's great. I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. Sweating the World 8 Ball and sweating us, too. Yep. But, um... The way you get to the World 8 Ball is start here. So support local pool. I'm telling you, support local pool. Yep. That's the only way we're going to build this game into the game that we can respect yep. and love. One so. thing I like to say with doing something like this is if you know any of these people's people, you can lie, you can copy the link to Messenger and send it to them. If you know somebody's mom exactly. that's here, somebody's aunt, you yeah. know, if you know them yeah. family-wise, you know how it is. Exactly. Their mom doesn't know how to find this. Send them right. the link on Messenger so that's they can right. see it. You know how it is. They're kids, stuff like that. If you, if you know these people's people, send them the link. Facts. Oh, that's no, that it's going in. Mike's going back. in. Not good. Oh. So that so you know he's had the best break so far, and then I would say that that was not one of the best breaks. No. Let's leave it at that. I guess. Guess what? That two and three are super. Three and four are big targets. He can thin the edge of that one and send it right downtown. Yep. Yeah, the one may even land under the two ball, too, yeah. so he'd have three balls in yeah. the way. Yeah, no, yeah look at this. This is cake. This is one pocket dream. Even if you hit it funny, you can hit it to the rail and spin it right behind those three balls. Get behind the seven, two. Exactly, really just like, oh, no, he yeah. went. Mm. He was inside. He needed to go outside right. a little bit. That's yep. exactly what happened. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Mike Jensen coming up. This is an opportunity. It ain't a golden opportunity. This is a tough shot. I'm here. gonna tell you what, Mike. You have to break my arm to get me to shoot this right. shot. And worst case scenario, the cue ball ends up right where he's at right exactly. now, out of the seven, or, between the seven and the four. Or you catch that scratch. Yeah. You have to hit this good. Yeah. Watch for the deceleration during the stroke. Unless you kill it like that. Now, guys, he killed that ball beautifully. That was a great shot. I think if you took your cue, you could shoot the three ball into the pocket. But using the cue ball from off angle, oh, he's on the two anyway. Yeah. Now, this is the one. You need that nice, clean opening. Nice, he clean opening. straight on this three ball because exactly. it goes, but it ain't easy. Yep. All right. I like where he's at because he's got natural shape on the four if he makes exactly. it. But again, I'll say. That's tight. The seven ball is going to reach out and grab that three if it can, like the, the tight, tree bro. from uh, Wizard of Oz. Exactly. It's tight angle. He nice. said what? Good he said, guess Mike what? Jensen. They come with the family guy. I'm checking in. That's awesome. Coming in to do work. Yep. Mike Jensen with the hookers on. Those sneakers, baby. And they match his glove. He looks I feel like, good. no offense to anybody, but for his age bracket, he's looking pretty, pretty, sporty, pretty coordinated right? there, gotcha. man. I respect <laughs> that. I like it. I like it. All right, Mike D, under the nine or above the nine? Uh, 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 above the nine, I would say, yeah, I would say above the nine. Then watch, watch I like the below pocket. the side pocket so I can come around after right. I cut the six in. Right. A lot of obstacles. Okay. A lot of obstacles, That's Mike D. It's already harder than I liked. It's already harder You know what? Than I liked. No, hey, he's good. Don't get me yeah, wrong, but straight. I'm saying I would have duffed the back cut on the six ball a little bit to come around for the seven. But he's gold. Stuck, he's he's gold. got stuck behind yeah. that ball. And probably what I mean is I would have dogged mm -hmm. him, so don't get me wrong. Nice 
shot, Mike. I'm going to say this. It seems like he's getting a little better in stroke. Yep. You know what I mean? He's not so tentative. I agree with you completely. Yep. Walking into Which the shot. pretty typical in this, in this event. This Listen, is, this is the heat. This is the most pressure I've ever felt. I played African Grass on the TV table 10 months ago, and I yeah. still have never <laughs> felt anything yeah. as pressure field as played in the Northwest Cup every time i played in it, and I that's real. You. There's no pressure playing effort, and he's going to beat you. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Just, uh, you're taking that Don't L. be a fool. You're okay. You're you taking know what I mean? L. This is different. You want to yeah. win this. This hurts. Now, Mike, I'm going to point something out. Yes, sir. See the breath he just took? This is the most. He came out of his pre-shot routine to shoot this nine. Good point. Now, he's going he's gonna to cinch it, but for no, further notice, he has, to, he has to stay in this, in this stroke. That's a great point, Rob. That's yep. a great point. All right, these guys are loud and making some noise. Well, I love it. That's what I'm talking five, about. Five, two to one, Oregon in the lead. Yeah. These yeah. are always good matches. We've had yeah. two years in a row of Hill Hill. It is just the most exciting thing ever. I just, I can't even tell you. Yeah, it is uh, super fun and exciting. If you are close, make your way down to Legends Bears. Come on down. Good food, good meat, good, good food, good pool, great seats. Come on down if you're in the area. And I'll say, too, as a pool player, if you hear that and you think, I don't want to go sit and watch people play pool for six hours, they got 27 7 oh, foot yeah. and 6 9 foot uh, across the room. Absolutely. You can watch an hour of this, go play an hour, watch an hour of this. Nobody's going to get offended. Exactly. You could just come down here and be part yeah. of the part of the vibe, man. Exactly. Go next door and hit some balls. In the chat room, Randall Crater. Yes, he does seem to be hitting center pocket, right? He seems like, seemed like Mr. Jensen is getting comfortable. That's cool. what I think is the operative phase yeah. here. Yep, I don't know what kind of break Kiwi's using. It might be a Souter. We've got a guy here named Greg Souter that does a lot of work. Well, whatever break Kiwi's using, the balls are going in, buddy. Oh, no, this might. Listen, he's making Look at this. my words. He made the one ball. He's yes, got he dead did. shape on the two. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Pete Bowen. Pete Bowen is watching. That's a great break, Mike. This is cash right here, bro. Dude, if you could break like that every time, you'd want to move the four a little bit, so the f or the seven, so the four went the yeah, side. Yeah, for but, sure. But he'll be fine. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, other than that, this is a perfect break. Ah, Darren Walden said Jensen is underrated and much stronger than people realize. I agree. I agree. Shout out to Darren Walden, president of Western BCA. What up, Darren? Making it happen. What up, Darren? You did some great things this last event there. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, we had fun. Their uh, uh, award ceremony for the Gus for the Oh, uh, that was, that was yeah. amazing. Uh, was big shout out to Clay, job. Clay. Clay Beauvoir? Yeah, yes, he did yes, a fantastic yes, job. Exactly. Fantastic job. Kudos yep. to him. I, I completely agree. And I had a lot of fun. It was cool. Yes. Great event. It's my favorite event, and I go to some neat events, but the coast with Western BCA is by far my favorite. Nah, man, your favorite is Good people. Derby City. I like Derby I a lot. It, yeah. yeah, I like Derby a lot, man. Shout out to Rick Jones. Uh -huh. Lee Baldwin says, I think the ref may have warned him not to touch the cue ball while it was still moving. Exactly. I saw somebody just a few months ago lost a game. I think, again, oh, yeah. Shane Van Boning maybe uh, yeah. Yeah. A, a, a female, I believe, yes, touched the cue ball yes, as it was did. rolling. Nowhere near it. Oh, boy. Nowhere near he a pocket. He dropped it off. He dropped it off. Uh-oh. 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 Joe Tamora said 2-2. Mm, what you want to do? What are they, in basketball, that's an unforced uh, turnover? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right, unforced, unforced error? error. Absolutely. Yeah, and I would say in pool... Unfirst errors are, are kind of deadly. Yeah. I know a friend of mine named Mike Stevens, a hell of a player from the Pacific Northwest, says that in most sets, you have one mistake and you'll be okay. But if you make two big mistakes, you're going to lose. In a race Rap five City. we're talking about, yeah. Rap City. You get to a certain level. You, you can't make more than one mistake. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Mike. Yes, sir. Any, any validation to shooting this six in the side and coming behind the eight and shoot the seven the opposite way? Oh, Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I know he's just going to stun yeah. draw out, but yeah. Seven must go. You know. It's yeah, no, it goes. Must, I was just, I was yeah. just thinking if it, yeah. if you know, you don't want to play around. If he could have stun floated it. He yes. could have got to the other side. Of it. I, mean. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, definitely. Just make it easier on yourself. Yeah. He got a little. He's got to make sure not to scratch in the side pocket right. to his left. A little hook is, shot here. Super difficult, but he's got to make sure to get more draw than left on this shot. A little hook shot right here. These are big pressure shots, I think, of a little I shot it. like this where 
if it's in your basement, it's no big deal. But here right now, man, oh, you gotta show me this something. Extension, right? He's, exactly. He's proving my point right. Exactly. Here. He's like, yeah. But take that, take that extension, Cause, bro. Because the eight rattles, mm -hmm. the, you can sit on the left rail dead and leave you a tough shot on the nine. Right. Uh, you can bring it too low on the nine ball and leave yourself a back cut. You can scratch. See, he's back cutting the nine ball. That's what I'm saying. That's those mm -hmm. were the things going through his head as he was looking with that shape. And I'm not saying it was a self-fulfilled prophecy or anything. I'm just no. saying that, you know, he, he was right. There were four or five things to worry about on that shot. Yeah. It's easy as it looked. And One pocket player, this is this is cake. I agree. I agree. Because you shoot these steep angles all the time. Yep. This guy's not playing around, nice baby. Shooting, bro. What? Nice shooting, bro. Let's go. Well, Are that you was not? a well-deserved one. Come on, Mike D. That was a well-deserved one. Let's go. One shot, Joe. Double deuces. We got action. Yep. Now we're in our groove. Joe's now I feel good. We're well representing in the, in the Northwest Cup. I like it. I got my yep. main man, Christian, in the house from Ox Billiards representing. Nice. Listen, you get up there. If you don't go to Ox Billiards, you square. I'm just going to call you straight out. I've if you don't come to Legends Billiards, you square. Fanciest too. pool room I've ever been Listen, in in my life. Ox, in the heart Ox. of downtown Seattle. Sweet. What? Sweet. Yeah. You better, you better get, get, your, get your game right, get That's your team right. Really you want to play nice. snooker in the United States? That's where you go. Yep, yep. It's so nice. I saw Mike an hour ago, and I said, hey, thanks for letting us have this at your place, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's said, been hey. a year, and I'm yeah. still like, man, seriously, by the way. Um, Evan yeah. Smelter, the overall score will be up in a, a second after the break. You can see it. And you can see it right there, buddy. That'll be $10. What's up, Evan? How's it going, buddy? One of my people right there, Evan. There you go. Yeah. Ah, this is a great. Great event. All right. Joe's had a good break and not good break. And right. This but you know what? He, he's at the table, bro. I like him at the table. Uh, yeah. And he's got shape on the one. Mm hmm. This is a runnable rack right yeah. here. He gave himself the opportunity. You just have to, you know, make sure you don't give yourself any more problems. Don't give yourself any, any problems. G gotcha, bro. Your man Evan said good, Mike. Oh, thank you, Evan. Yeah, thank you, sir. Like I say, good man right there. All right. Under the seven, under the seven, under the seven. No cake. Oh, this guy is, this guy is like, his, um, <laughs> his mindset is see a ball, make a ball. See another ball, make that ball too. I got to say what he's looking at now looks like a good warm-up run out. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, you I mean, know what? Yeah. He got fortunate. Pogo stick time. Oh, boy. Now, you know. Doing a lot of junior events, like I said, only thing I see, you know what? They don't even look at this shot for two seconds. They run right to the thing and go get that pogo stick. They don't I, even look at it. They're right. I got to say they're right. They don't even they're look right. at it. Yeah. They just jump. Yep. <laughs> Leave Fedor this shot and see what happens to you. The, the equipment has gotten so much better, too, that jumps. I'm not saying they're easy now, yeah. but it's, I know what you, you mean. Know, the equipment's gotten more accurate, too. Oh, Mike, you're a hater. Those guys just got better. Uh, they might be. They might have gotten better. They, they got better. better. <laughs> when I was, uh, when Break Hughes first came on the market, mm -hmm. first, and okay, so we all, all our friends that were, oh, kind of, uh, they made cues in their backyard, kind of those yeah. guys. They had a lathe. They all started experimenting with oh, the man. Thank materials. Oh, man. Thank you, Ken. And it was just about jumping and getting over the balls. Listen, but bro. These days, it's all about Listen, accuracy, bro. Man. The best <laughs> Break Q that came out first was a sledgehammer. Uh, I Mike agree, Gugliasi. I agree, Come I on, agree. man. We yeah, can't I get agree, better than that. I agree. Thank you, Ken Roberts. I appreciate that, my man. Oh, it's Ken's only going to get better. Too. It's only going to get better, Ken. Ken's been to my house to play. All right. Come on, Mike Jensen. That's going. Oh, no. That's going. That's going, bro. Oh. That's going. That's going. It's a new table. It's the first day, bro. Come on. <laughs> That shot made me really like this cloth. <laughs> Sorry. I'm that's my, you guys that's know. the captain of Team Oregon talking right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Sam. Sam is on it. He's, he's a really good referee. I really appreciate having Sam's him. Sam's on it, man. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. No, Ubu. Oh, boy. It's twice that unforced error cost you. Look at that. Kiss of death right there, wow. guys. Wow. You think they're touching? Jeez. <laughs> Listen, y'all gonna stop playing with me and start hiring Raw Hand for all your productions. Cause I bring my production crew and we'll make your make your stream look better. I'm gonna this let you guys right know. Here, this shot right here is what I'm talking about. That picture right there is golden, Raw. 
Mmm, how do you hit it? This guy is balling, bro. This guy is balling. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, Joe. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You go two rails and out here, Mike, or you, or you go one rail with inside? I'm gonna use uh, maybe even top left. Yeah, top left, make the five, and then come up to make the four on the top left-hand corner. Mm, okay. I prefer side pockets, but I don't think you can hold this, and trying to hold it could be deadly. Yeah, oh! <laughs> Joe said, what you guys worrying about? I got Good this. Shot, Joe. Good shot. Like I said, the, the stream is free, guys. If you like it, you appreciate it, please send my man Mike Littman a donation. That would make me very happy. He deserves that. Yeah, he does. Oh, he avoided it. A little strong. A little strong, Mike. Oh, that was a... Uh, that was a little strong, That bro. was a little chancy. Mm -hmm. um, I like his odds here, though. Yeah. This guy, again, this guy's a solid He's player. a shooter. Um, you bumped the eight here? I kind of hope, man, I'll tell you what I do. <laughs> pocket the seven. <laughs> pocket the eight. You back cut in that seven. Pocket the seven, man. And, and I'm going to try not to hit the eight. But, man, especially in front of all these people with raw Hannah streaming and the whole deal, I better pocket <laughs> that seven ball. <laughs> but I, uh, the honest answer, I think with some top left, you avoid that you eight good. ball anyway. Okay. Yeah. I like that he's taking this time. Yeah, me too. Don't jab it. What? Okay, so that was not the pocket I thought he, he was knew going how, for. I thought, I thought he was going inside. Listen, that was a gutsy shot, man. It had natural win. shape. Uh, I, I, you know, you got to give him a that. good reward. Yeah, exactly. And obviously, he was comfortable shooting. He pocketed it, which tells you something right there. For sure. Too, you know. Mm, 50-50. All right. Well. I gotta say again, he's a nine foot player, so a nine foot player is shooting this shot a lot. He better watch. A seven foot player, this is not your favorite okay. shot. He better tighten it up so he don't scratch two rails in the corner. Gotta tighten that cue ball up. That's a good shot, boy. <laughs> come on, yo. Y'all feel the energy in this room? You need to come on down. You need to come on down to Legends. I'm telling you, tomorrow is gonna be standing room only. Come on down to Legend Billiards, y'all. This is the Litman Light Northwest Cup live. Yeah, and they've got a beautiful room set up here. We have our own bartender, our own bar. Uh, it's fancy. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Well, you see the bartender right there? Yep. Top left of your screen. She's waiting for you to come down here and That's get a drink. Right. See her? Hit her with the tip. Yep. Sam racking him up. Long story short, uh, I got a new phone, and I put Chris Robbins' name on Sam's phone number on accident. And I thought Chris Robbins asked me for a ride to the tournament a few days ago, and I said, yeah. And I pulled up to the hotel this morning, and Sam Rubito came out and got in my <laughs> car. And I did not say a word to him except, hey, let's go, buddy. <laughs> Sam hmm. has no idea that that happened. Right. He said, he said, Mike, he's going to pick me up tomorrow. And what I'm saying is I thought that I was picking up Chris Robbins <laughs> until I got to it. And he walked into my car. All right. Nice break. All right. This, if he can win this game, it's 3-3, three, three, race to five. Yes, go. Really needs this game. Don't want to let it slip out. What up, Levante Smacks? What's going on, bro, bro? If I can, I'm cutting this one ball in and coming up for two on the side. So you have to watch that five, watch the six, watch the side pocket. You gotta drive the car, hit it with inside. Yeah, he's putting a bunch of inside on it too. It looks like he's not Just doing like what that. I was talking about. That's a great shot. It's like that. That's okay. Can draw straight back to the three. Yeah. I think that eight's in his way. You're going to have to show me some strokey stroke here. You're right about the eight. Yeah. yeah Ross right about the eight. Don't and he's poke probably going to hit it middle, too, if Don't he does. poke it. Don't poke it, superstar. Oh, my gosh. Mm. See? That's what happens. He just went left-handed on us. He's using the bridge. Yeah. Right. I hear you, Brian. I, I like this. He should definitely go for it. Uh, there's no great saves. This is a cuttable shot. You cut this in the corner? Yeah, but no. I don't I don't like it. 
Well, but that's what I do. I don't know who likes it. I'm dead scared. Me too. I'm definitely affected by the fact that there's no great safety. You know stuff. what? I just split these balls. You can't bank it past T8. You know what I mean? Oh. Just like that. No, too hard. If he just kept his table speed down, he would split those balls. He would have kept them in trouble. Now you're giving a guy who likes shooting, you get him free food. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, we talked about warming up to and getting into stroke. You yeah. Know, the more four or five ball outs, you get your confidence up. You get exactly. used to the table. You get a feel for the balls. You, you know, everybody wants exactly. this cool player. You know what exactly. I'm talking about. You know what? He could bump this six if he felt like it. He said, no, nah, I don't feel you like it. You don't even need to. Yeah, no, you know what I mean, though. No. He was yeah. going the, the correct way. I like to see him stay in the same tempo. Anytime I see you switch that tempo, I know you're thinking. You know what I mean? Oh, I definitely know what you yeah. mean. No, I definitely know what you yeah. mean. When I watch myself play on the stream, uh, when I when it takes me a long time to shoot a shot, I know there's a problem. Yeah. This this guy, is, he's on it. You can feel it. This room is about to erupt. He said, I'm getting to the hill, baby. The hill. Oh, boy. What? Okay. Okay, Mike D., Mm -hmm. What was that? That was a, that was a pressure. That was pressure. The got heat, him. baby. That was pressure. Got him exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He's Mike smiling Jensen. now. Yeah. Mike Jensen. Mike Jensen. You want to be a superstar? Bank this ball in the corner. Stop the cue <laughs> ball right there. Tell him to get some. Oh my God. Tell him to get some. Oh Tell him to get some. He's going two rails for safe. Banking this in the corner. No, oh bro. No. no, no, bro. Listen. Listen, I'm not better than Mike. I'm not better than nobody here. But I'm going to tell you, you got a chance to win by shooting. You cannot win on the last by playing defense. You think Joe tomorrow is not going to make this ball? You tripping. Yeah, I think that was cuttable. But if not, it was probably a good time to bank up. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. All right, now Mike banked a fire ball in the side Fired pocket bank, earlier bro. today. Fired his bank. Just like it. So hopefully. Fired his bank. Yeah. There's no more to think about. Like Freddie the Beard would say, this is more than a two to one angle, but this looks natural with some speed. Swish. Oh no. Oh no. It's going to play dead. Mm. All right. Joe's up. He's looking at a relatively easy shot, I'm sure. Uh, He's really thankful to be back up at exactly. the table Exactly. Two dollar Brad, what's good, my man? Hey, Two dollar Brad. Brad, they <laughs> call me three for five Mike D. All right. Because I love three for five, man, so I respect a two dollar guy. That's my guy, Bradless. He's my dude. Brad, that means we like to take money from people with a lot of money, <laughs> but we don't like to lose a lot of money. Let's when go. When they start naming you for low bets, that's because yeah. you got a reputation. <laughs> All right. So let's just talk about that. That little back and forth right there. That was all nerves, guys. These guys all know how to play pool. Nobody needs to hold their hand. Sometimes that's what happens. That's why you need PSR, guys. Pre-shot routine. If you keep it the same, your brain doesn't know the difference between a hard shot and an easy shot. Yep. If you keep it the same, your brain and your body will react the same. Yep. That's yep. the same equivalent of they say hit a million balls. Yep, yep. No, I, I agree. Pre-shot routine is everything. Yeah. You have to dial that in, man. You have to dial that pre-shot in. So I was, I was helping don't a, be afraid. Uh, an amateur player with some tips. And uh, one thing I said to him, hey, man, if you if you told a kid to kick the soccer ball into the net and they just ran up to the ball and kicked at it, the first thing you'd say is, hey, you got to square up your body to the goal, buddy. you got to stop what you're doing, square your shoulders to the goal, and now kick it. And trust me, your odds are going to go way up on kicking exactly. that ball in the net. And I would say pre-shot routine is exactly the same yep. thing. And I think it's a good analogy. Everybody understands that you can't just walk up to a soccer ball. You, can't do it. It. you gotta straighten yourself. You gotta, you know, you gotta do things. arrange yourself correctly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I, I hate to see it when people don't. All right, he's looking good and he's on the hill. Yeah. You know what? He just jumps out the window, cuts this in with some inside, and goes back and forth. Yep. He's on it. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be passive here. I agree with you. You know. He's, yep. He's gonna hit some top right on this one. Now here's ball the thing. Rails. You have to. Have to erase that nine ball you have to erase that eight ball you have to erase all that start with a fresh slate yep a short-term memory loss is your best move okay now 
you know, when I talk about no good safety to play, and you might as well go for it. That's the problem with playing a safety that doesn't is going to turn out great. Well, exactly. Might as well just gone for it. You know? Exactly. And then you got to remember, especially on a nine foot two, if you miss it, one out of three times you're hooking the guy anyway, mm -hmm. and one out of three times you're leaving the guy tough, right. and one out of three times you're leaving him easy. So that's two out of three exactly. in your odds to exactly. to kind of go for it. Now I'm not saying you should be a reckless fool, but you got to keep that in mind sometimes. Listen. You, I equate it to what they say in boxing, a puncher's chance. Yeah. It's the same yep, thing. Yep, yep, exactly. All right, we're going to the air problem. You catch that yep. one on the wrong side, you bank it in the corner, no shot on the next ball. The obvious thing, if you um, contact this ball too hot, it jumps off the table. The good thing is you just drill it. That's that's the key tech jump cue right there. I just want to give it a shout out. Uh, I don't use it, but it should be noted. That was the key tech jump cue. Uh, I don't know the name of it. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry sponsored by I'm sp I'm mm -hmm. by, sponsored by OB, so I blocked all names out of other cues. Exactly, bro. Now here, here's the thing: you open in the door, the thief's gonna come in. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, the amount of confidence that he's given Mike right now mm -hmm. by missing, by giving him shots. If you want to. Okay, okay, that's. Did he get the hook? Yeah, he got the hook. I can see it in yeah. real life. Uh, he definitely got the hook. They got him. And this is, you know what? Joe is putting this, this heat on himself. He got a little passive, you know. Yeah. It, I, I get it. You don't want to lose. Mm. This is a big shot right here, and it's basically luck. Uh, mm -hmm. if, he, if he hits it and gets his oh, he almost hit safe it or not safe, you know what I mean? Okay, so he did not get lucky. He left Mike straight All in. All right, Mr. Jensen. It's a big game right here. <laughs> that was me. That was me, Namaka. Oh, no. He got short. That eight ball was so got big. Short, I bro. was going to say that eight ball is really but big. But you see what like, happened? Before, like right now, he didn't even walk to the other side to check the angle on the five. Now you're just in, yeah, I did this wrong. I'm, I'm going to continue. I'm going to make sure I'm going to get out. I'm going to do this. You have to, you, you got to go back to school, man. You got to admit you make a mistake and just go back. Right. There's no no admitting it. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joe Tamora. Top right on this five ball, coming around three balls for the six. Three rails see. for the six. You got to drive the car, baby. Come around three rails. You're going to have to hit this good. Darren Walden watching one of Darren's famous phrases, phrases is start the car. <laughs> yeah. He says, start the car, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Dun, dun, dun. And that was a start the car. How you like right that? There, yeah. Get shape, baby. Good. Okay. A little short, but I'd say from what we've seen in his game so far, he's going to be okay. You know what? Game one, he already back cut this ball. That's screaming, exactly. Oh, man, I'll take it. <laughs> you know what? He said it'll work. He said it'll work. Yeah, he can. Uh, that's it. That's yeah. a good float. Yep. Yeah. Cancel Christmas, y'all. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big one right here, folks. This is for the for a point. Yep. And there you go. Washington moves ahead. All right, I'm going to go hug my team. I'll be All back. Right. He moves ahead two to one with some good shooting, solid shooting there. We're moving ahead two to one. Just got some action here today, guys. We love it live here from Legends Billiards in Beaverton, Oregon. You guys, are, this is this is some great, great, great pull. And if you missed that shot, sweat this.
There we go. Jump City. Mm -mm. What happened? Oh, yeah, you, you're just too far. There you go. All right, sweat this jump shot by Joe Tomora. Mm. He hit that ball like butter. All right, so we got action, guys. Some good stuff here coming up. We got our next game. We'll let you see the upcoming uh, games. All right, so next up is Steve Lingelbach, Chris Byers versus Daniel Sardincilio, and Phyllis Fernandez. Let's go. We're going to have to cheat on the scoreboard on this one, bro. <laughs> we have to put, uh, I don't know, you make up some knack. Shorten. <laughs> We're going to shorten the names. But uh, this is brought to you by Legends Billiards and Catfish Loose. Come on down. If you've never been in the area, you got to come down. They got a, a great live audio room. Come on down. Table sponsor, Diamond Mind. John Scudder Table Sales. Solid guy. Q sponsor, Mr. Joe Peach, our custom cues. And the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, my man Mike Littman. Changing the way you see billiards. He's, he's doing it for the PNW, guys. He's doing it. If you want to keep bringing events like this up here, contact my man Mike Littman. Send him a little donation. Let me. Yeah, so uh, if you guys are disappointed that Double J is not here, especially think how I feel, but here's the thing. Double J is under the weather, you know, and uh, he doesn't want to come to a place, you know, he has a, a slight cold. It's enough to, to make him cancel his, um, you know, uh, teaching assignments, and he couldn't come down the stream. So we're just praying and hoping Double J gets better, and, uh, you know, if, if anything happens... You know, he would be here. We know he would be here. So get get well. Get well fast, Double J. Yep. Yeah, Jeff. No, all good, Jeff. I know, bro. No, I'm just explaining for people who's here. I know I'm not Double J, guys. <laughs> but I'm me. So I appreciate all you guys for being here. And uh, we're going to rock and roll. Absolutely. Yeah, I would love that. I had a bunch of questions for Double J. I had a bunch of questions for him I wanted to ask and stuff, but another time. I'm going to take a quick one-minute break. I'll be right back.
So we got Chris won the lag, uh, Team Oregon. And I'm trying to catch up with where we're at. Okay, so this is our scotch match. So we got Lingelbach and Byers. Versus Daniel S. And Fernandez. All right, so I would say uh, this would be one of those matches I would say, uh, you know, watch for an upset. If Daniel and Fernandez can can upset this match, it'd have a big effect on the rest of the... Absolutely, you uh, need that momentum, Mike D. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, so... Yeah, as the coach, it's really important that I see uh, Team Oregon win this one. Absolutely. Nice break. Here comes Lingelbach ready to do this. Uh, Lingelbach is a rock. Uh, that, that guy, guy he's, yeah. he's a competitor. <laughs> no, for he sure. just is. For sure. He plays good. Yeah, he's not going to play around with you. He's going to make sure that he handles business. Uh, key wall into the six. Yeah, he was trying to get the key wall into the six. To he didn't get out. that love bump. He didn't get the love bump. Listen. I say this every stream. Don't give me the hand if you get lucky because you don't mean it. <laughs> you don't mean you it. You don't mean funny. it. You ain't going to take uh, it back. <laughs> I was just saying that, man. I've said that before so much. Seriously. Listen, that's the fake hand for sure. Seriously. Mm. Yeah, that's all right. All right. He's going to get there. He's going to get there. So, Chris, I'm not sure if he can see it or not. He's certainly not an easy shot, no matter mm -hmm. what it is. If he was John Brumback, he fired his bank. Right. Fired that bank cross corner. Oh, man. You got to be kidding me, boy. That was a good shot. Uh, and he left him off the rail on this two ball, which is nice. Uh, that was yep. really the best he could do for him. Yeah. Now, how to get back on the three is uh, another question. I don't think you do. I think you just take your medicine. See? He's not, he not trying to jump out that window. Mm. Yeah, he wanted that a little different, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was close to hook. No, absolutely. No, no yeah. it was nothing wrong with it. That's probably the most of what we had. All right. All right. Now, this is a nice setup for just making the two and getting natural shape on the three. Yeah. Uh, this is a nice little warm-up shot, to be honest with you. All righty. This might be the end right here. I would say the same thing here for, uh, mm -hmm. for Chris. Is, is this is a good shot to start out with. Uh, now, the only thing, he's a little bit hampered queuing with that three there, but... And the six know. is a little in the way, too, exactly. as far as English. The, he's limited on what English he can use, too. Yeah, no, I agree. I still like his odds. Yeah. Uh, you're right about the three, though, especially. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he's a little tree-top. He's, tree he's by tall, it. too. Yeah. I think I played Chris the first time when he was, like, 14 years old. He's been so good for so long. Oh, that guy's a rock. Check this out, Mike D. Bank uh. the two two rails behind eight ten. Leave the cue ball down there and tell him to shoot. Yeah, that'd work. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Stop wow. it! Stop it right now! Wowzers! Get that out of town! Strong. Get out of town with that. Uh, perfect speed on that too. Uh, Oh, yeah, he hit it hard enough to create separation between those balls Definitely and the cue ball, you know. It, it was fortuitous, too, don't get me wrong, but it was great yeah. speed. Did you say fortuitous? I did say fortuitous, Good thing yes. I went to college. Yes. I know right. what that means. Right. Unlucky, right? Right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. I like their odds how they're sitting now. Both Chris and Steve played really yeah. good. Uh, I like I like their odds. Yeah. Bastard. Bastard. Sardincilio. Yes, sir, my brother. We appreciate you. Mike D and Ra Hanna in the building. Hey, Pastor. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, Junior. 
Good to hear from you. I hope you're doing well, my friend. I follow you on Facebook. You're a good man. And your son is a good kid. Yeah, he is. Actually, good he's got, young man. He's got two good good sons, actually. There you go. Yeah. All right, Linklebach. Nice. Look at that force Ooh. fall. You see that cue ball catch speed there? That was pretty that sexy was right there. That was pretty sexy right Very there. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, now this this is touchy. Yeah. Well, he killed that last ball. Yeah, I wonder what he'll... I think he's got to go up and back on this. Stop. We'll he, see. Said, he said, I got the juice. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. Ouch. Mm. Oh, he came up a tiny bit on that, I would say. I don't know if that's I think what he raised up a little bit. Yeah, he still stood up a little bit. All right. At he the had to hit the heck out of it. So. Yeah, at the table right now is Daniel Sardincilio, one of the uh, most dangerous young guns in the States, for real. Yes, uh, sponsored by OBQs. Yeah. yeah. He should be sponsored by everybody. That and Ox too. Yeah, yeah and Ox and Ox Ox Ox. Yes. Listen, you get sponsored by Ox, it's like you hit the lottery. Them guys are super solid. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, you know that's I mean? a good sponsor. Right? He picked them up, and I thought, oh, that, yeah. I heard something about Microsoft and them or something. Uh, yeah. They'd be smart. These guys do not play around. They'd be smart. Ox is for real. I'm telling you, it's in the middle of downtown Seattle, if you understand oh, what that means. It. Uh, yeah, it's a big deal. You know what? Phyllis played super solid her first match. I say she slices and dices this one oh, right in. Oh, yeah. I would put a paycheck on this. I would put a paycheck on this. She didn't get here. You know, they picked her because she makes these shots. I mean, that's everybody deserves to be here. Yeah. yeah. I, my money's I on her it. all day. I hit you with the Z just in case. I'm putting that cue ball all the way up table. <laughs> Phyllis Fernandez. Yes, sir. There you go. Charles first blood. Now, I like what Mike D said earlier. I like what he said earlier. He said, you get the first day jitters out, because tomorrow, you're not going to see none of this. Right. Everybody's going to be a dead punch. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. yep. Everybody's going to be in dead punch, so. This is super brand new cloth right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Everybody's, you know, this is everybody transitioning to figuring out this table. Yeah. Uh, it's rolling. All my players have said, wow, that table rolls. Yeah. I know they're walking right in front of my camera like their camera's not on. I think they lost the ball. They're pulling out more balls. A different set. Okay, we're changing balls. Yeah, because they didn't find the ball. Oh, the Javier, five. It's a race to five, buddy. Now it's the captain, I got to tell you. Huh? We can't change the ball. No. So you find, it, so you find the ball? balls. Changing ball, changing balls. No. <laughs> what? No. No. That's the negative. No. Mm. And when you start to tell me the reason, I'm gonna cut you off. No, That's we don't. Get, no, we're not switching balls. You have to find it. Can you change you the angle so they stop too? walking in front of the camera? I think Mike got it. Mike Littman? Yeah. What do you I'm, I'm going to get the cameraman. Th 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 these guys going to keep walking in front of the camera. I don't want to see Mike. I don't want to see him. Thank you. Uh, here's where I'm coming from, just to elaborate. Uh, I have gambled with fellas that in the middle will be like, we got to change cue balls. Oh, that's no. Uh, we got to switch tables. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like this rack of ball. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. And so that's where I'm just as a principal, as a pool player, we're not changing nothing. We're not changing yeah. the magic rack. We're not changing nothing. You can change, you can get new chalk. Yeah, I get that's you. That's it. We started, you. it's over. I got you. But anyway, it, and on the other hand, it doesn't matter. Right, for It's sure. not important. All right, Mike D., how many matches do you need to win the trophy? How many matches? Nine. 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 Race to nine. Yes, race, sir. To, race to nine, to nine. Jerry. Used, used to be race to 11, and we went really late really really late and we realized that it was not it actually uh was a concern safety wise uh, people driving home back to washington super late oh yeah all right fernandez here i like how she's sitting yeah some 
bottom right on this cue ball uh, should should come back for the the two ball. Just perfect. Ooh. You turned it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was hard, uh, but perfect. I was definitely thinking more of a punch stun kind of a shot. Absolutely. But, that, but that's still, that worked beautifully. Yeah. Dan just got his work cut out with him to, to for him to get to the three ball. I got to think he's going to put a ton of left and hope the spin will take the cue ball over, but we'll see. Yeah, that was that was sweet. You know, it it the problem with Scotch doubles, you have to have this mindset. Whatever you leave your your partner is whatever you leave them. You can't be sorry, you can't feel anything. You gotta be like, they obviously know you don't wanna leave them hooked, right? Right. So you gotta be ruthless and be like, You don't like it, play safe. Yep. You're a pool player. When we played uh T Morgan played of uh, Vegas Venom yeah. in Las Vegas against Ozzy Reynolds CSI team, same same format. And uh, Cole Gibbons and I were playing scotch, and he was real nervous. And I said, "Dude, just don't hook me. I, if I can see the ball, we're playing rotation, man. I'll just play a safety. Exactly. Playing a safety, playing rotation is super easy because I'm in control of their ball and the cue ball when they get up to shoot. Yeah. So that's that's another reason to kind of relax playing rotation is hey." Just don't hook them. Yeah. You can always feather off a ball and head, especially on a nine foot. Feather off a ball and send that cue ball far away. All right, uh, they're looking good to get out, you guys. Now I had told you that an upset is very upsetting for the team that gets upset. Um, <laughs> I'm about to be upset. This is gonna yeah, be you two will. zero. If this, because mm, that's arguably your best team. That's what and I'm saying. That's, called that's what it I'm too. Saying. Yeah. Oh boy, look at the roll. Look at the roll. Rail first might happen. Maybe we might get the rail first. Let's see. How you like that? I, not even a little not tiny bit. Not even rail first. Not no. even a little tiny bit do I like it. You no. got kicked for your life here. No, the coach, from the, the captain of Team Oregon does not like this. You got kicked for your life. You got to come two rails. And I got to think medium speed, right? You don't want to yeah. fly on it because why flying that stuff's dangerous. But boy, exactly. you don't want it soft either, no. right? And no. medium probably not going to do you a lot of good and either. I mean, exactly, because you know. they're both both coming at the same speed. Yeah, yeah. And they're going the same direction. And you want to get some separation possibly. The six probably isn't going to go. Exactly. So you want to get it hard enough to get some separation. You know what? That's it. That's all he could do. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the positives is going to be hard to hold that cue ball for shape on the seven, or one of the positives for yeah. Team Oregon. Yeah, you guess, say. you have to jump out all the way out the window, put that stroke yeah. there, and bring the cue ball all the way back around. Yeah, or somehow come around three rails. Uh, but it's he's also treetop by the seven. I guess my I don't like it unless he banks the six to the second dime and puts a cue ball up table. See, even there, bro. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Daniel. You swing this ball, you got to get perfect because you're going to be under this seven ball with I, that cue ball. I kind of like your idea of banking it almost. Yeah. I'm just banking and making like it sure. lucky too, if you, you know. Exactly. He's jumping. Like my friends say, the window is open. He's jumping, Mike. See? Oh, See? You had to hit that ball yeah. so perfect yeah. to get there. You yep. had to hit it so perfect. Yep. Especially hitting that inside rail second yes. and then the low rail third. Exactly. You had to really slam it that way because it's going opposite of, yep. of running English style. And now you've given her a really good medium hit. This way, Ooh, this, this, look, this, look, I mean, this might like be a scratch. To, I don't know what she's trying to do. No. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Okay. Um, See, I thought yeah. she was thinning off that edge. I did too. Well, I, I assume she was coming off the edge too, man. <laughs> yeah. I like that. A little levity, you know? Yep. Uh, Steve Linkelbach has a great sense of humor. Uh, and he is, that's part of why he's such a rock in, in pressure situations. That's how you gotta be, man. You can't, can't take everything yeah, personal. Yeah, he tries to not take everything too serious. That's how you do it. Oh, T. Morgan's looking good. I'm really proud of this yeah. team, bro. Yeah. 
I started building this team last year. You smart man. A year did it go today? I, I messaged Chris and said, "Hey, you're on next year." <laughs> Come on down. Yeah, Chris, that was my first pick. Yeah, it is. All right, you got to know there was a sigh of relief in there oh, because man. going down to nothing, and you know, you feel like you're the favorites on paper. You know, you're taking the heat. Dude. I don't care what anybody says. That heat does not feel good. Listen, I didn't sigh relief. I shuddered a breath <laughs> like I had just been on a crying jag. Right. You know, was, listen, right. that was a big game right there. Yes, it was. In a race to five. Yeah. 2-0 versus 1-1. One one. For That's sure. That's a big swing, man. Yeah. That's a big swing. Yeah. Man. And scotch, it's hard to come back in scotch. Yes, uh, it's it is. Just, it's hard to be like, exactly. I want to make this happen. Because exactly. you say that to yourself and you get going good and your, your partner does something silly. And right. You, you know, you lose the momentum. And that's the problem, too, because in scotch, you know what? I'm going I'm to say this. I can't remember their names, but it's a big dude. It, we, we're at the Western BCA. Mm -hmm. It's a big dude. I mean big. He's like 6'5 or something. Okay, okay. Big guy. And his partner was a, a solid, solid shooter, and they said they've been playing for years. This is uh, this is, uh, is uh, uh, Goodman uh, and something. What's, what's their name? No, this is uh, uh, Biscard or That's Chad it. Biscard. That's it. And then I forget his friend's name, but yeah. yes, they've been friends forever. Bro, them two dudes played like the same mind. Dude, they played the same mind, bro. No, I gotta say this because I know these guys, and I got love in my heart for them. Not the fastest playing team you ever gonna uh. run across. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they won the event, right? Yeah. So it's it's always the people who didn't win that, that say, yeah, I wish, they, I wish they'd play faster. Yeah, well, they won the damn event. Exactly. So apparently they played at the perfect speed. Exactly. So I should be quiet. Exactly. But I still got to say it. If you ain't got the W, you got to be quiet. Exactly. So shout out to them. Chad Bisconner. Right? Chad Bisconner. Yeah. Yes. And man, what's his dude's name? Man? Oh, Somebody in the chat room help me. Chat room help me out. Both nice guys. That guy is super cool, man. He's yeah. a great shooter, too. Yes. Jackson McDonald. Jackson That's McDonald. It. There Jackson you go. McDonald. Never Thank mind. You. Thank Jackson you. McDonald. Thank you, Jackson McDonald. Yeah. yeah. Good guy. Shout out to them. Yeah. And a big shout out to um, my man from uh, Savage Billiards. Mark. Mark Evans? No. No, no they it switched up. Mark Evans. They changed now it's up. the new owners yeah. who've been part of the pool. They're they su super cool. They've been a part that of the dude community is cool. for years. Thank you, too. Terry they're, Drake. That dude is cool. They're not. What's his name? They're not new here either. They've been he's, part of the pool solid. community for a long I time. I like him. They're just new to Savage, but they've been part of the pool I community like that for guy. a long time. He's cool. Yep. Yep. We was there sweating yeah. it at the WBCA. I like the Savage products, too. Yeah. I think they do a good job. So next year, Savage, you guys got to sponsor this. Sponsor it up. I'll come to work wearing Savage. I won't wear a suit, but you got a sponsor. Help my man Mike out. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. You know what's happening here? Uh, you know what's happening here, Mike D? I do, but you go ahead and say yeah, it. Yeah, right? You got two good players. You're trying to play super perfect for your partner. Yeah. Listen, bro. You a grown man. I'm a grown man. I'm shooting my shot. Right. That's it. All the carefulness is not going to get it. Yeah. You know, now you got an off-ankle two rail combination you, you can dead sell out this one I might hit medium soft yeah do you know what I mean yeah oh boy he said Yahtzee that was Paul Marquez yells Yahtzee you know what that was a good one that was a good I'll take one, that man. I'm telling you he's a rock under pressure man he is that was that was yeah, strong that was bro. great shot well great you know shot. what Chris Byers got to put that Superman cape on back cut the five in the corner swing the rock around three rails and get on the eight you got to show me this cut, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see one of your juniors jump this one raw. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, somebody tell me what, how my juniors is doing. That Man, come on. Somebody hook me up. Ooh, oh, man. Hit so clean. That was strong. He going to get away with safe. it. He going to get away with it. Man, that was strong. Boy, uh, you can't be too mad at that leave, Chris. Oh, I'm not you mad. Know, I mean, you know. No, I'm going to be mad when Sergeant CEO hit you with his bank. Say get after it. Yep. He's got a nine foot table at home. No. Uh, yeah. So, so he's is he looking at coming two rails inside, bring the cue ball between the eight and the nine, or trying to get under one ball? No, I think he's probably going bank two rails to the left. I think he's banking it and going two rails with the cue ball, uh, 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 top short rail and then long rail well, to the left. You gotta show me this bank technique because it looked like you straight duck in here. I'm calling the duck, Mike D. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, for me, I'm cutting the five to the bottom right. 
Yeah, he might be cutting it in. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. What? Well, I, I don't like that shot. All right, Linglebot, come on, buddy. Get us to two. You can tell who plays a lot of um, one pocket and who doesn't. <coughs> yep. <laughs> Whoever this Jason Mini Monk is, he's hilarious in the chat room. Oh, really? Oh, oh he's there, funny, there. man. He's funny. Right. Nice low bridge. Everybody notice how his cue's on the rail right there. Uh, um, <laughs> Linglebox nice remind little. me of one of them old gunfighters, the old school last last bastion. Like, come on, young blood. <laughs> you know. Glad you know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Oh, that's a big game. That's a big shot. Yes. So Savannah's, Savannah and Bethany take three rounds deep on the A side of Junior World. Let's go. Team Oregon poised to take the lead in this set. Still, what? Uh, still uh, down over. What? Feel that energy, y'all. Let's go. Nice. This is a race to five. Oregon pulls up 2-1. to one. Overall score, Washington leads 2-1. to one. Next match coming up will be Chris Robbins versus Randy Camantique. Nice. Camantique. Yeah, Randy Camantique, he plays so good. Uh, exactly. Real one-pocket player and a real gambler. Oh, that's pocket. the guy. No, nah, yeah. man, you, 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 you deserve Jackson. it, Jackson. Yeah, Jackson, there you are. Yeah, yeah. you guys deserve it, man. You guys, I told you, at the spot, they played, they played good, man. It was like the other teams were playing, like, Jackson. give me some air. Yeah. yeah they both Jackson's a little they've short, been, good, right? They, they, well, he's not that short. He's, yeah, but, you know. No, they, well, Jackson's the tall guy? Is, no, Jackson's no, no. not. No, no. Biscogner is the tall guy. the tall guy. And he's, yeah. like you say, he's very tall. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, they, they just play, They just had the best chemistry. Yep. I'm going to say that. Yep. Yep. They had good chemistry. Yep. There wasn't a lot of talking, a lot of unsaid thing. Right. And it, right. the, what the partner did, they never frowned. They never got upset. They just yeah. took it. Yep. That's how you got to play it. this no, game. I believe it. I right? believe it. Yeah, both really good guys. Yeah, and, uh, they were and both super part of the solid. community, the Pacific Northwest. They were cool. For years. I'm going to just say I like the Pacific Northwest, whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah, Pacific this Northwest, is cool. man. Yeah, this man. is cool. Mike D tried That's to tell me a long time ago. I did. I tried to tell you. You did. I got you hooked up with some stuff, though, man. Yes, we you got did. You. you and Littman was the big thing, man. Yes, and Littman did. and you, both ways, you know. That's my main man, yeah, 50 grand. Exactly. He's for real. Nah, he's all the way for real. He just is. All the way for real. Mike knows how to say yes. He gets it. He Mike knows. gets it. Mike's like, yeah, he that's knows. a good idea. Let's try it. Yeah. Yep. I like that about him. I've come to Mike with a lot of things, and he's always like, yeah, we can, yeah. That's that he's, he's best. Uh, Michael Donegan, it's on Kazoom. TVKazoom.com. Kazoom, was that the alien guy from front from the Footstones? <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> All right, that's a good shot, but not good no, enough. Man. I believe this you know what? So, like somebody need to just tell Daniel, play your game, bro. Yeah, just play, I just mean, play your game. I kind of agree. Play your yeah, game. Yeah, my kind of right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you saw him play at Ox. He plays great, Daniel. Man, listen, I know, amazing. I know how this guy plays. Yeah. He, you know, do it. Sometimes you got to block out the Fargo. Sometimes you can't worry about who you're playing. It sounds like the chat room. Sometimes I got to block out some silliness. What? Yes, now, I've now, Mike, it. Yeah, is yeah. there there's no, no timeouts here? Well, you can't. No, no timeouts. Wow. No timeouts. So you, you got to get there and get you it. You can ask for a cue ball cleaning. So you can't go over there as coach and be like, hey, man, you need to. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, boy. No. Now, this kick will look good. You got to hit this medium speed to get to that. The next shot. But now, I, I think here's the important question that is also what you're asking. Could her of a, opponent have yelled, or her her teammate have yelled out, kick that mother in? Yeah. Is that legal? I think right. that's legal. You can't have a meeting. I, as a team captain, would not say anything if he had yelled out to her, kick it in. You got it. Yeah. Because to, that's that's, I mean. to me, it's like, hey, that's, you know, especially in a raucous crowd mm -hmm. kind of a situation, yeah. you know? I like I the know. raucous crowd. Thank it, man. We're going for it in this game. You know, that's, go. I, that's cool. Yeah. I don't want to see a team meeting. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, let's, I got let's you. keep it going. I got you. But I feel that way with all pool. I don't like the man, rules. I'm going to say this, talk. man. Uh, that was a shot ski right there. That's a great shot. You bumped the seven down to the corner. Yep. Let, let it be a stopper Even, for the cue Yeah, ball. put a little bit of draw on that four yeah. ball, and you can really pop the seven and dead stop the six, too. 
Because you do not want to end up behind the eight. Right. See, I'm not fancy here. like Mike. I just give it a little bump, a little love bump like that. That works. That's me. You kind of treetop now. And, right. But it's, it's better than hooking yourself or something going wrong. I yeah. Agree well, that. you know what? This He's a young gun, so he's going to yeah. take whatever I'm going to leave him. i got to think he's coming three rails for under the seven just for the natural angle he has. Mm. But we'll see what he does. No, I think I'm wrong. How'd he hit it? A little short. How'd he hit it? Guess what? Yeah. So he was going underneath the seven, but yeah. he under hit it a bit. He knows it. He's telling himself, like, man, what, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, stop second-guessing yourself and fire. You know? I had a girlfriend that was great at spot people who need hugs. I think right now Daniel needs a <laughs> hug. <laughs> See me like, that guy needs a hug. I'm on the other side. <laughs> I'm on the other side. Daniel needs a punch in the face. Wake up. Come on, D. <laughs> Nah, he knows what I mean. What? This girl ain't playing around, boy. Going for it. Mike D, you called yep, it, though. Yep. You did say they could. Look at that shape. Yep, yep. Daniel's like, oh, boy. There, Daniel's got I'll a smile that. on his face. I sure got love in my heart for Daniel. I'll be a smiling, guy. too. He's a good guy. Nah, he's super solid, yep. man. Super solid. That's cake, bro. Cake party. Double. Deuce, deuce. Did I mention to you that it was important that Team Oregon win this match? Yes, because you did, Because otherwise it would be upsetting. Yes, it would. It would be an upsetting upset. This room is going to go ballistic. Yeah, so this is, this is a big game. Let's go ballistic, y'all. Let's go. Come on. 165 viewers. The word's getting out. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Share the stream. Oh, <laughs> Litman Lights Northwest Cup. We got Action, baby. <laughs> Kelso is his own. He don't need nobody else to cheer when he cheers. Kelso could have a TV show, couldn't he? Facts. He could, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he could have a cartoon character based off of him. Yep. He's a lot. Kelso's nah, he's got good. a lot going on. Yeah, he got he a good does. personality. Yep, no, I agree. And he's, he's a, a, a good dude, yeah, too. he's good people. No, Western agree. BCA, he had all healthy snacks. He said, I know you don't do that. I got some for you. <laughs> I was like, right on, good bro. For, he knew. Good for him. He's good people. He knew I was looking at them cheeseburgers like, yeah, let me get that. He can dance and he can rap a little bit. I've, and every once in a while, someone would put him on the spot and he'll do it and he'll blow everybody away, too. What? Yep. Mm. He's a fun dude. You yeah. know what I mean? He's a yeah. fun guy. You know? I like that. Killed the rock. Looking for shape on the one. Can we get lucky? <laughs> I see Washington doing a lot of soft breaking. I see Oregon doing a little more uh, hard break. Hard breaking, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Phyllis hit that ball like, I'm winning. That was a great shot. She did, right? Yeah, yeah she, she did. Exactly. She shot that ball like, I'm winning. Exactly. All right, now, Ligabach, take this all the way up or just play safe? And cut like, this ball right in the corner. Ooh, that's, that's your life right there, bro. It's kind of tight. <laughs> that's kind of tight. Oh, he Good got him. Shot. He got him. Uh, jump one nine combo. Bank. That'll be nasty. Through the eight into the side pocket. <laughs> Nothing but net. <laughs> Mike D's like, what, bro? Oh, oh. He got hit this with speed. Uh, I don't like going out like this, but he got two rails. He's speed. gonna get it. He's gonna. He got hit it with speed. Yeah, that you know. That was all right mm. there, Daniel. How about I like that? it. How about that? How'd that work out? Yep. I think Chris might be able to... Uh, Daniel, no, nice man, little... I like Daniel got him. Here's the thing. You don't want to hit it up top because you get that double kiss. Yeah. I think you got to go two rails into the yeah. one on the right-hand side and kick it to the bottom left-hand corner pocket. He knows what to do. Like you're playing one pocket, basically. Yep. Oh, that's that was good. Uh, nope. Sold the farm and the wife. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does the four go past the nine, I wonder? We will see when we get I there. I don't know. We'll go, we'll go up top. There we go. We got the zoomed in version. We'll let you know. Uh-oh. You know what? Ooh. My man would just say... You ran out of stroke right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can make this four past a nine, Mike D. 
Yes, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta nice. massage it. You gotta nice. massage it. Do you have a? Yes, I do. do you really? Yes, so you I do. Move it, huh? Yeah. Dude. I have four of them. I was the first one. Really? So I don't talk about it, but wow. I was the first one to have them. Wow. Yep. Very impressive, Rob. Yeah. Yep. Listen, man, we just trying to make pool better for, people, for everybody. You know, if you follow Ron, you hear him talk about the invest back in this business. I, I just want you guys to know that he really does. His, his, That's right. his streaming has gotten better and better every time he streams, and it's because he, he reinvests back in his business. Uh, that's it. That's the word. You know, behind the curtain when we talk about people, that's what we know about Ron. Uh, that's right. Libman will tell you that. You know, we all know that. Oh, mm -hmm. Ron's trying to do this right. Facts. Oh, that's too bad. I hate to see Daniel do that, even though he's on the other team. Wow, that was a good. <laughs> do you really hate to see him do it? I do. I do. I got. Listen, I, I've been watching Daniel since he was nah, 14 years old, winning at Super Snook wins. Yeah. He was one of the juniors at yeah. Western BCA. Yeah. 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 I like his dad, his mom. His, nah, yeah, he's I'm always. A you always tell when you come from good stock. Right. Exactly. Don't be out there doing silliness. Oh, he gave him the perfect angle, bro. Because now he could just control this with speed. If it didn't go, he could trickle it. And draw that cue ball straight back yeah. for Shane on the five. Yeah. yeah no, you know right. what, though? He made this you know what? Him, huh? I'm gonna, you're going to take your own mess, and I'm not trying to draw nothing. I'm just going to trickle this in and give you. But Big Smooth is going to draw it all the way back. But I'm scared. Now, uh, Ra, I'm seeing on the background score that it says the score's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have it as three, three one. You have it at three one. I'm a, I must be wrong. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna look around and say. I look at all these other people. It's me that's wrong. Sometimes you got to judge character, and sometimes my character is what is lacking. Hey, you not know what? Other people's. Everybody's character. On lacks, this one, bro. on this one, I gotta say I'm probably wrong. Yeah, we got. Well, it's two against one, Mike. Did we? Yeah. What game do you think we won? The. F yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And in the chat room, they would tell us to. Trust me, if the score right, was wrong, right. yeah. <laughs> they would be like, yo. <laughs> That's the shot. That's the shot. Exactly smart yeah, place, Steve. Good shot. Exactly. exactly. Yep. You don't have to do nothing. Yep. The even smarter shot is going to be behind this six ball, though. This reminds me a little bit about playing poker sometimes where you got to play the odds. And now if she banks this in, good, she wins. You Listen, know what I mean? If, if you, you draw the inside straight, you win. Congratulations. Exactly. But you I'm just, still going to play the bit the way I should play. Right. And this is the way you should play. This should play right under the six. Just bank that five down table and make you shoot just like that. Just like that. Just like oh, that. Oh, man. Oh. That, that was, was, that was a shot, though. That was, that was a, a shot. Try. That yep. was a shot. There was a big, you know, there's a big reward to trying that shot. Mm -hmm. So even when it went wrong, I got to say that was those were trying. All right. So the game you skipped was Oregon had a three ball out with ball in hand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Was that the second or the th or the, th the first or the third game? Man, last time my replay don't go that far. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is two two. Thank God. Yeah. Let's go. I like this. This is a this is one of my favorite shots because bottom right, you pull it back up. Plus it goes spins off the rail and comes back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just gotta smooth it though. Don't yeah, punch just it. like that. I Don't love get that punchy. shot. Yep. Don't get punchy. Okay, Chris, some top right, and you just stand up right above that. that nice yeah. Ball. Play a little one pocket. Although I've seen Shane go the other way, meaning you know. Well, Chris two is going rails. your way. He's going one rail just back in. That's that's the shot. That's the one I like. Yeah. yeah. Take care of business. Yeah. Take care of business, bro. All right. This will take Oregon to three versus two. Yeah. And Oregon won games two and three. Thank you, whoever on the chat. We got Straight you. Got, got, the, I got the eye it. in the sky, brother. I appreciate it. Uh-oh. 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 Nice. Heating up now. Nice. Heating up. Three-two, Oregon. <laughs> That's good, because seriously, man, uh, as a coach, yes. so I'll, I'll go through the scores of the sheet, and I will by far go figure out who's supposed to win every match. Mm. Sometimes that's a sad story, Rob. Right, for Sometimes sure. as the coach, you do that and get to the end and go, oh my God, we're supposed to lose <laughs> nine to three. That's right. Whoops. Uh, and I'm just saying, it's, you know, uh, Fargo really dictates that upsets are a problem. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I find out was cool? 
No, I found out that was cool is that I just saw Paul Marquez just go to Lingo Bach and just whisper something, give him a little pat yep. on the back like, yo, man, yep. it's all good. Yep. You know, get up there and fight. Exactly. Make it happen. That's normally my job. Yeah, but you're here helping to be me out. We doing respect their thing, that. Exactly. You know, just remember everybody, you know, just put some good thoughts out there for Double J just under the weather a little bit. Definitely, definitely. You know, we're thinking about you, Jay. Yep. Get better, buddy. Yep. He, uh, I love any story that involves me playing Efren Reyes on the AccuStats Derby table. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, he was my commentator uh, playing Efren there at, uh, when I got to play him. Yeah. Uh, he and Mark Wilson. Yeah, and they do a, a good job. Super Mark. Okay, oh. she got the hook. How you like it? Get the little roll. Yeah, she got the hook. All right. So we got Kid Chris coming out here. Jumping out the bit, jumping out the building. He's got an interesting jump cue, and I don't know what kind it is. He has a sticker on the back of it. It says, uh, return to sender. It says, I borrowed it from somebody. I'm going to give it back. I gave Chris a jump cue when he was about 17 years old. Yeah? Yeah. He was over at my house. And I said, oh, that's, your that, that's, a, that's a handshaw. That's jump cue. That's a handshaw. Oh, okay, okay. Henshaw. Henshaw, right? Is that right? Henshaw? How do you, how'd you say it? Henshaw. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who's right. Oh, wow. Wow. wow that was a great not? shot, you guys. His oh, wife man. walked in right as that was happening, and she's beautiful, and she's clapping. I did it. And good for Chris. Stop. Chris, when you're watching this later, that's neat. Oh, 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 oh. My man's. We got a 30 second buffer. Chris Lawson says, What's up, Mike D? What's up, Chris Lawson? How you doing? He's a good guy, too. Uh, another military veteran. Uh, Here we go. So, same with Jackson McDonald. Yeah. And he puts some old. Click. Yes. Oh, oh, you that's that? what we need. Some Linda, you saw that? Some Linda Bach love. Oh, I'm so biased. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. There's luck and crap, and these guys are the greatest. Hey, hey, hey. Who gets shaved off the point, right? Right? Only Key Morgan, man. Everybody. That's sometimes nice, you just need that little nice momentum. Nice, Chris. Nice, Chris. You need that little momentum. This uh, left is important on this. Otherwise, that oh, yeah. ball is huge, and you can hook oh, yourself. Yeah. So, but watch the little Lingobot twist. Oh boy, Mike D said that eight was big. Uh oh, this guy going for two highlight reels. Here we go again. <laughs> Yes, I did just sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> I do that sometimes and realize, oh, there's a lot of people listening. That's there. right. That's right. I wouldn't normally sing, but yeah. All right. Well, he made the last one. Yes, He's he feeling did. good about jumps. This is an easier one than last one. Having said that, you know, his odds are 50 50, maybe. What's going on? <laughs> Stayed on the table and doubled up the 6 9. Ugh. I think it's them. It's good. All right, so the scary That's thing good. right That's here good. is Daniel you know, can hit that. That's the scary thing for me. Yeah. Daniel can hit the hit six straight, stop the cue ball, hit the six into the eight ball so it slows down the six, and he's got a dead hook. I don't think he's doing that. That would be my – if I'm his opponent, that's what I'm afraid he's mm -hmm. about to do. He's going to cut this ball in the corner I and say, that's probably what get he's going to just go to make it. You know what? You can't, sometimes you got to shoot the shot. Yep. <laughs> Zach said, I can hear Cliff Maxson clear as day. Yep. Oh, give me the cheese. Stop, kid. Shots like that. Stop I think it, of kid. the old phrase, uh, dance with the one that brung you. You know, that's right. That's how he got here. Was that's by right. shooting. Then shooting. He shoot. If he got here by playing safe, I guess play safe. But yeah. if you got here by shooting, exactly, dude. I mean, well, you should shoot. You know, exactly. Yeah, exactly. My friend would say, "Get here on the same horse you rode on." Or something yeah, like that. exactly. Yeah. Oh, 
she's playing oh, solid. Shot, sis. She's, she's playing really proud of her. Solid. Yeah, she's really proud. Of her. Shout out, guys. I'm on it. Oh, long range. Big smooth. Stop it. He just speared it. He, he speared it. Speared exactly. It. We got time to run the next one? He did it again, too. Let's see if we got that one. Mm-hmm. Sweat this one. Oh, we're missing a break. Anyway, we'll run it back later. Look at that view. Every time you show me that, man, I can't believe it. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That one ball coming oh, out boy. of this. Just perfect speed. Is that, how you, one get, ball, is that yeah. how you get on the hill like perfect. that? Perfect. You called that Mike D. Perfect, man. Seriously. Mike D called that right up. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three. Whoever gets this game is on the hill. That's a great point, yep. too. Yep. This would be a good time to run out. Yes. And keep all the heat on them. Yeah. Namaka, that jump was hit. That was stone cold. <laughs> what month is Baltimore? Uh, next month, December. So it's December. cold. Yeah. It's cold, huh? Yeah. December 17th and 18th, 17th, 17th 18th, and 18th, and, okay. and 19th, maybe. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Oh, It'll that's fun, center man. pocket. It's center pocket. Billiards are just center pocket. Center pocket. All right, I like it. Yeah. Oh, that's fun, man. Oh, this guy is... I, I like that that shot uh, got really good shape. Yeah, I like his confidence. Making sure he get to the right side on that ball so that only thing Chris has to do is make the five. Yep, exactly. And he didn't break his neck to get him on that's, the other that's side what I'm of the talking five about. ball. Exactly. Like, Listen, this is Chris Byers. He's a 700. That's so right. Fargo. Shoot yep. the ball, bro. Exactly. Shoot the ball. That's why they call him Big Smooth. That stroke of his, man. That's it's like right. a train stroke coming in here or something. It's, it's nasty. Seriously. Yeah, it's nasty. He, he he puts in the work, man. You can tell. <laughs> All right, you got to drive the car here, Steve. I think he's going to punch the eight and send the cue ball up to the top side of the side pocket for shape on the nine ball in the bottom, top right hand. Bottom. I think he hooks it back to where he's at and shoots it in the opposite pocket. Yeah. Three rails basically comes around. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy, man. He's animated. You know what, Big Smooth? Show him what to do. That's right. Slice and dice. Show, show, show him what you got. Slice and dice. You want to be a champion? Here's your chance. How do you hit it? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. The energy is in the room, guys. How do you hit it? He hit it really soft, bro, and it scared me to death. <laughs> I know you were scared because you stopped commentating for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great shot. Chris, Chris I knew you were going to make it the whole man. time, buddy. Right? Did that good. Oh, man. So they're on the hill, but Washington still got, you know, they got three. Hey. Uh, hey. Yeah. They're right on it. Mm. That'll be 2-2. Two -two. Right? We're yes. racing to four today, right? Racing I to, actually, I racing to f whoever gets to five first, we stop. Oh, but five. if it's four, four, we're going to stop then. Okay, too. I got so, you. yeah. I got you. 
So we I, had a lot of pool to play, guys. That's right. You were here for Chinook Winds, Lincoln yeah. City. How did you like Chinook Winds? Had you been to I the like Oregon that. Coast before? No. It's cold, right? Yeah. It's cold and windy. Right. But it's pretty. It's very pretty. <laughs> that's cool, man. Did you pretty. get to see any other cities besides I didn't Lincoln see nothing. City? I, didn't okay. see nothing. I okay. saw the inside of Lincoln City. And the hotel rooms are nice. I saw the inside of my hotel room yep. and the other side of my pillow. And out the window was pretty. I saw the inside of my hotel okay. room. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, good break, Daniel. This guy got it. Wired. Well, we sure enjoyed having you there, Ra. It was, it was oh, just it was amazing fantastic. to have you there, man. I hope we get to see you again, buddy. It's all good. All right, Fernandez. Shape on the one. Is the two down? Is that right? Yeah. So she's coming back about where her hand is for shape on the three in the side. She do that. It should be four or four. Look at this lady shoot, man. She is hitting them. I like that. Confidence is up. She has completed every play she's tried to make. That's however a fact. you want to say it. You yeah. know what I mean? Every yeah. time you've given her a job at the table, she steps up, does the job, and goes, sits down. You too, Chris. Great beating you too, my brother. Good control shot by Daniel. I'm going to say my little corny line from the Matrix. What are they doing? He's starting to believe. They, they, they think they can win. They're like, we ain't underdogs. Underdogs where? You know what I mean, Mike? Yeah, oh, I do know what you mean. Yeah, and that makes all the difference. Yeah. Race to five, nine ball. Anybody can win. I hate to say it's a crapshoot as we're in the middle of a tournament. But, dude, teams especially, make it teams, especially with some scotch thrown in. You're crumbling cookies, man. I mean, it just, you know, it is what it is. That's you why the Moscone Cup is so exciting. Yes. Wow. Oh, my God. Mm. That's because she tried to hold it up for the five, you know? Yes, that's exactly what exactly. it was. Yep, yep. Deceleration. Yep. All right, now, I'd imagine Steve's going to play some sort of a safe, but, boy, you got to make sure it's a safe. They can't go one rail into the ball. Cause exactly. Exactly, Cindy. My girl Cindy hooked me up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she sent me beach pitch, and she brought me breezers, baby. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. That's tight. Yeah. And you don't want to scratch looking silly. Oh, he left the four high. Uh, look at this oh, cue ball. Low. This guy. Great shot. Guess what? That was a great shot. Mike D, I'm going to bet you a McDonald's <laughs> McNugget. This guy kicked his ball right in. Ugh. Right in. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Right in, bro. The commentator thinks that'd be great. It's right there. Mike D, the coach, says not so much, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that ball is right there to be kicked in. Ugh. I got to agree with you, though. Yeah. yeah. Look it's, at that. That pocket's pretty fat. That, that pocket's pretty, pretty fat. Right there. Yeah, I agree. You have to hit it perfect to scratch. Now, they would love bald hand for Team Oregon for their last round. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's a big, big opportunity for Team Oregon here. Four to three, race to five. And they feel the heat from Team Washington. They're not taking do. them for granted. So Of course. Yeah, it would be good to put them away right now for Team Oregon. And that also makes the... The t overall score, 2-2. Two, two, two. Two. Exactly. Everybody always says, oh, they're stealing this and that. No, you got to play the game. <laughs> Seriously. you got to play the game. That's why we here. Yep. If it's just on paper, we just be like, oh, you guys won. Right. <laughs> exactly. you got to prove it. Yes, right. Go, go, go. A small window to get to that seven. Yeah, ball. I think he's got to use top right on this to get to the seven. Although I was wrong last time maybe. I said that. So. Yeah, maybe big smooth comes under it and doesn't try to go to the side rail. Oh, oh that's one way to go about it, boy. That was he, beautiful. He caught up a lot of speed off that seven yes, rail. Did. That was a great shot. All right, now again, we talked about this in and out. You know, yep. make the seven, cue ball to the rail, come back out, exactly. eight in the same pocket. Just don't try to help it. Right. Shoot the ball. Yep. A little bit of movement there. 
Sense it. Sense you. sets racing the five for today that's what you want as a as a fan and as a team player that was some fantastic plan right there all right we are live from legends beard room Fish lose. This place is fantastic. If you are in the area, make sure you come on down. You won't be disappointed. If you have, you want to have meetings, you want to have quinceaneras, you want to have birthday parties, they have a live back room, which is where we're at. Come on down. Axel Michelle and come check it out. Our table sponsor, Diamond Mind. John Scudder doing Scudder things. Table sales. Make sure you check this gentleman out. And Joe Peach Hour. Joe Peach Hour custom cues in the building and the man of the hour litman lights get lit man changing the way you see billiards let's go
All right, we're back in the building. We got action, guys. Wow. All right, Chris Robbins is in the building. And we got Mike D. He's in the house. He's off the cardiac arrest. I'm back in the saddle again. I'm back. Bing, bing, bing. Right. Let's go, baby. This place loves 80s music. I'm just going to tell you that now. If you come Good. to Legends, you're going to hear some Bob Seger. All right. Uh, <laughs> I like the wind. Okay. Is it Silver Bullet or whatever it's called? Yeah, something like that. I don't really know. I look like I know, but I actually don't know, Rob. All right. Chris Robbins, first time at the table, right? Or she played in she the She played match? in the singles, but yeah, other than that, I... Oh, I like that little stance adjustment she just took. I saw that. She plays great. She's a uh, Pacific Northwest royalty. She's been playing a long time here in this town. Oh, don't kick it in. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was a good break. She had her back turned to when that happened, yeah. too. I hope she knows it got kicked in. That was not. She did. That was a great break. Randy said, I'm going to handle business. All right. So we got Randy Kamatiki yeah. against... Chris Robbins. Yeah. Uh, just, just for Zach, Zach, we were talking about the handheld cam. Thanks, though, buddy. And another side note, we could up the res, but then a lot of people won't be able to watch. Then it'll be slow at home for people, right? At yep. home, right, yeah. yeah. Yep. If we put it to 1080, they'll be, if we did it to the tube, it'll be better. We could do whatever we want but then you don't get the engagement, so. Thank you, though, Zach. All right, oh, I'm off, I got my nerd hat off. Watch my man Randy run through the rack. A little, little problem here, though. What you like here, Mike D? I'm gonna get Mike D to stop touching Mike when he's on him, uh, teach sorry. him about this music. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna, teach, him, I'm gonna teach Mike D to look at the screen, too. I don't like any of this. You don't like this uh, bank safety little roll? I guess the roll. fork goes. Where it goes where? In the corner? You smoking. No, it doesn't No, Mike, go. you got no, a duck no, here, no, bro. No, no, no. I'm, no, it doesn't go. It goes off the rail into the six end, but no, other than that, no, he's got a duck. Oh, yeah. You got a duck if you want to live. This is a tricky one to duck on. Ah, that's perfect that speed. That was a great speed. That's perfect speed, buddy. Oh, that's a one pocket player right yep. there. He'd double you up on yep. something without even thinking yep. about it. That was a great shot. All right, here he comes knew Chris. He knew he had a couple of blockers. Uh, she plays out of Eugene, and there is a, a place there with some nine foot diamonds that have been letting her practice there. She's been shooting a lot on nine foot diamonds in the last few months. Yeah. This is bar box area around here. Uh, Eugene, where she's at, it's harder to find a nine-foot uh, a diamond, specifically. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Perfect. You know it's going to be perfect? This nice slow kick and freeze you on the back of the six. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and he might go one rail into the four, two and just try Why? to make it. Unless he has a big angle. Bump the six to keep you there. Yeah, see? Oh, nah, man. bro. Randy, no need to put the cape on on that shot. Yeah, I got to say that that played out to where Raw was right. Finally. 
All right, you think uh, shape for the five on the side, or what do you think? I think you just come back right where that line is, right past the six, and shoot the five in the corner. If that's the four on the opposite side, you just come past the side pocket like that. Boop. Mm. Cinco de Mayo. I uh, still like how she's sitting. Got natural shape on the six. Yeah. One rail and she should be good. Good speed. Oh, that's Kate. Good stroke. Mm -hmm. That's why I picked her. Yep. Now, again, natural shape on the seven if she just pockets the six. Mm hmm. Look at that picture. Looked a little outside to yeah. me. Oh, ouch. I'm going to say this. She shot that a little bit out of rhythm, a little a little quick from where she was at. All right, now that six is deep, so you got to mm -hmm. pretty much just pull it out of there, go off the rail, but, you know, it's, it's tricky. Like the rail. Brian that Cutler. Nice. That was a great shot. So, Brian, um, she's aligning her cue to the shot line so she can align her body on that line. I do the same thing. Uh, Summerfield tells me I look like I'm carrying a spear. <laughs> <laughs> I walk short. with it at my, at my mm -hmm. hip, and it's always pointing towards straight ahead. And yeah, when I approach the, the shot, it's, it's there. All right, this is a big game. First game in the set. Mm -hmm. Race to five. You don't want to dust the rail here. You want to hit this clean. Yep. Ball flow right across. Yeah, diamonds do not like to hit the See? rail going into that See? one. Yep. Yeah, can't do it like that. Bro. Now, if, if when he watches this later, I'm sure he's going to rewind that shot. He jumped up quite a bit off of that. It looked like he was fishing and he, he just caught something. He was about you know, to dunk. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was about setting to the dunk. hook. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Now this is, I'd say this is Chris's kind of shot. Chris is all about nine foot pool. She's familiar with this. Two rails to the nine. I think just one back. Yeah, two rails to yeah. the nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. See, that's what I'm saying. That's Kate. You see how easy that's she Kate. hit that? That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's she hit what that. She's not. Mm. Never, she's done it a million times. This is. She's old school. She gets it. Yeah, lining up. I like that. Lining up. Getting set. Right. Not hurrying. That's the kind of player you want to see. You know what I mean? That's right. There's a coach. I'm just like this. Just be careful that's and solid. try real hard, and that's all I can ask for. That's you know, solid pull. You're out there half-assing it. I'm not happy. Yeah. yeah, like that. Yeah. Make sure your pre-shot routine's set, and you're doing everything you can. Exactly. Well, good. Because, you know, the odds are already against you. Everybody out there who's right. rooting against you wants right. you to dog it, right. so right. you don't want to dog it yourself. Now, I guess let me point out, speaking of that, this is another one of those upsets that instead of upsetting me would make me very happy because it's the other way around, mm -hmm. right? If Chris could pull this off. That gives Team Oregon yeah. a huge jump ahead because it's one they weren't supposed to win. Facts. You know what I mean? Uh, Facts. Yeah. It's, 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 Fargo is often a correct predictor. It's not just intimidating. It's often a correct predictor. So if you can if you can get Fargo off a track and get a win and an, uh, as an upset, it's a big jump ahead for whatever team does that. No, I feel you. I've been the victim of it before, and it hurts, man. Yeah. Yeah, I've lost matches I'm supposed to win, and I know I lost a match to Tim Tweedell. Uh, it's Sam's doing the same thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I think the first one or the second one, and it hurt. Man, he knocked the pain off those balls. Boy, that one just likes to sit on the middle of the bottom rail. It's got to be avoided. How about this, Mike D? Bank the one over to the two five seven and. Swing the rock, two rails. Yep. Right down towards the nine. Yep. Almost uh, bank the one right into the seven ball. That's yeah. what, that's your aiming point basically. And then but he's yeah, going the yeah, other way. Doing it, but yeah, I like your idea. I'm just trying to put traffic. Oh, see that one? He had to he had to have that speed down. <clears throat> and we'll see. Is Chris a <laughs> jumper or does she want to go rails? <laughs> Greg Pendergrass is lighting you up in the chat, bro. He said nobody wants Mike D happy. No upset here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> she coming two rails? It looks like it. Now man. the difference when you, you got to watch that eight ball. You got to watch that eight ball. No, never mind. Never mind. Stop it. Oh, 
Oh, boy. Now, I got to give Randy Kamatiki some love. He's smiling and clapping for her. Yeah. You know what nah, I mean? These are good knows. folks. That's why I keep saying these are, we're all from here. You know what would be nasty? Oh. Mm-hmm. She can put them right in that gap right there. And she might hit this five and makes the deuce. So I'm like, what happened? She's, she's cooking with gas. Oh, boy. Now, the thing is, you know, still a little problems here. Often, after a good shot, people will shoot a not good let shot. Down. It's, it's, yeah, that's the a let real down. thing. You yeah. got to breathe, man. Yeah. Now, Mike, you like drawing into this breakup? No, I don't like it. No, I would be going off the rail into the five. I would, I would like... Okay, but I wanted more angle. Right. I wanted, and he kind of hit the two. I would want to hit the five ball. Right. Yeah, I wanted more angle than he gave himself. So we've got to back cut this to the top left pocket, to the bottom left pocket. Yeah, I think he just has to kind of make it. Now the diamond hitting that long rail first is death on that shot. That's pure death. Oh, boy. All right. Opportunity. Boy, I'll tell you what, my friends. The Team Oregon coach thinks that Christian just run these out and get up to get to two. Yeah. All right, so she's on the two ball. Yeah, come across for the four. The five's dead. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that's too bad. Well, that was an opportunity right such there. Such is life, yeah. Worst uh, opportunity. Like. Shake it off. I'm surprised he went that side of the five ball. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the love boat. Okay, so he can still cut it because he just figured in the cut. He just went over there. Body language tells me he can make it. He's a one pocket player, man. This is his shot. Mm hmm. Yeah, my money's on him, but a 90 degree one. Stop. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, that's a big one for him. Yeah, that, that hurt. Man, he, he cut the paint off that oh, That is the lay in the motel room and think about it shot right there, man. Absolutely. That's, you know. I've been in tournaments where I think to myself, later I'm going to be by myself in a motel room really yeah. mad that I just tried this. Yes, and that has facts. stopped me from doing stupid stuff yeah, before. Yeah. I'm like, man, yeah. especially when you're out of town somehow. You can't just go home you and start do, doing your exactly. living life. You can sit bored in a motel room <laughs> thinking about it. Exactly. I'll go in and go to and out. All right. Again, we said before, big opportunity. Exactly. This is nothing. Just come off the rail. Just don't baby it and get all the way to the other to the other rail and don't have a good shot. My main hand. worry would be getting from the eight to the nine on this. Did she say foul? She touched the ball. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a big one. Mm. Oh. All ball fouls, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. going to steal your momentum a little bit, right? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. So we got some nerves. And then the thing about this event, too, is you only get to play every three hours or something. <laughs> it's, and you're just sitting the rest of the time. And, you know, there's practice tables. But it's, it's tough action. Yeah. You got to right. stay in route to your um so he should like this shot, but it's also a tough shot on pressure. So he gotta like that. Shot. He gotta like that shot. Did he shoot it like he liked it, Mike D? Come on, he baby. He shot like he was mad at it. Let's is what he go. did, man. Y'all feel that energy in the room? Let's yeah. go. Yep. <laughs> so I'm talking about. Wow. This ain't no church. Let's get it. Oh, that's too bad. That Team Oregon had two opportunities that game that's big to, to get to two zero and a yes. race to five. That was that was big. That was big. Um, yeah. You got to close escrow when you got it, man. Yeah, I would say, Randy, uh, yeah, don't give that opportunity up again, or you might have to pay for it. And if you're Chris, yeah, Chris, you better yeah, you better get it next time. Oh, we're running back. 
Check out this replay, guys. We're going to let this play. We'll, we'll catch you up on the break. Sweat this. Nice two rails. Two rails kick. right into the combo, right? Two, two rails right to the combo. combo. Sweat right, that. strong, on, strong man. shot. Strong shot. That buddy. was replay Chris all Ross. day. Yeah. Hey, she sure. got a good break. This is this all is right. over and out right here. What am I going to run this out? You got to do it. Come on, Chris. You got to feel the energy. You got to give her the vibes, that's Mike. That's right. That's right. Chris's husband's here, Bob. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like this, Jason. He said, Randy, good out, but Valentine's is in February. Stop handing out candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. That's why we're here. Oh, oh no. That was a bad hit. That was a bad hit. Are they calling it? What are they doing? I don't know. I'm going to have to teach Mike commentary uh, thing. You can't call hits from the commentary box. Yeah, that, well, yeah. That's yeah, 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 that's that's yeah. Yeah, so you can't. Can I call suspicious? Can you, I say you suspicious? You can say suspicious. All yes, right. you can. All right. But you can't call hits because if you're wrong and That's you got true. the rude, the, the world's thinking, well, Mike said it. That's true. Right? That's true. Yeah. Oh, it leaked out. Benedict yeah. Arnold. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a traitor. But, uh, yeah, he was, that was like close, that. man. He was close. <laughs> I like odds. I like Chris odds every time she gets to the table, honestly. Uh, the tables look nice like this. You know what I mean? Everything's yeah. spread out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she has the game. She has the game to get out for sure. How'd she hit it? I like that. Nice. <laughs> Natural shape on the five, yeah. somehow or another, right? Either straight up or, yeah. That tangent line brings you right past exactly. the eight. Right. Actually, if you hit it a little bit under, you're going to smack the eight right in the face. I agree with you completely. And you know what? That's all right. Hey, listen. That's all right. You got to take it, man. The table gives it to you. You got to take it. Now, I think some top right on this to make the five and get the cue ball to the left-hand side of the six ball uh, for the bottom right-hand pocket. Mm. But we'll see what she likes. Oh. <laughs> I think she needs a shot clock more, boy. How she hit that, it. I, yes, yes. I like yes. this young and lady. she laid into it nicely, too. Yes, she did. Yeah, she's got a good game, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Yeah, yep. No, I completely agree. That wasn't like, please, ball, go no, in. That was like, I'm go saying. in. Right. She smacked it. Yeah. Seven in the side after this, I assume. Mm -hmm. No. no. Nice control, James DeV style. I like it. Yeah, that's a good rock. I like it. Now she just got to make sure she don't get in the side She's pocket. A or nothing tiny silly. bit off angle. Right. Nothing, nothing horrible. Don't go in the side pocket. There you go. Well, I like her pre shot routine. It's steady. It's consistent. You can see it. It's steady. It's consistent. You can see it. Great shot, Chris. Yeah. Well done. Chris, Mike's about to put you on a Christmas list. Seriously. She's invited my birthday party, man. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nicole D put me on. She said she's a NWPA lady. Yeah. What? Oh, that alignment must have got him, man. Randy, it's your birthday, bro. You got gifts. Big opportunity for Randy here to, to uh, uh, take Steal lead a lead in the set. Yeah, and get it, get it to be 2 1, race to 5. Mm. Yeah, he's he's got to feel fortunate, too. Yes. Because she, yes. she outplayed him that whole rack. Randy said, it don't matter if you outplay me the whole racket matter who makes the nine. Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, boy. What? So in my experience, what I like to do is go tell my opponent we're never going to talk about this game again in our lives. Right. Just, you know what I mean? And then we, just, we both shake it off. We exactly. both act like it didn't happen. Right. I'm You're a champ. I'm a champ. Here we go. I'll tell you. 
Oh, you gotta shoot him. Okay, I like that. Uh, yeah, I control that, man. <laughs> My man out there cheering by himself. I don't want to turn this into stories about me, but I've done the same thing in the cup. I did that in Vegas, too. Uh, the yeah. cue ball goes around three rails, lands in the corner pocket. I went from champion to punk, you know, I said, watching the ball. Just champ like, to oh. chump is one letter. Champ to <laughs> right, chump exactly. one letter, Seriously. buddy. Seriously. Seriously. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, I'd be... Man, <laughs> I know how I was, boy. I had to call Richard Black be like, uh, Rich, you remember that cue? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you got to make me another. He said, one. I'll uh, make you another one. Oh, uh, did he make it? Really? Yeah. Wow. I was not uh, too even keeled in those days. Man, this guy smacked the paint off the balls, boy. He's oh, in trouble, he's in jail. It. Wowzers. You know what I do, Mike? What's that? I give you one of Earl Strickland testers. I just roll this ball over by the seven and tell you to shoot. Yeah. I'll be like, you got to show me. I love that move, gambling. I definitely love that move, gambling. Got to show me. Yep, yep. You know, the other thing I'll do gambling that I won't do in a tournament is every once in a while just ride the crap out of the nine ball. Just oh, to I'm scare my opponent, just know. to make him know I might do anything. You don't know. Exactly. I might do anything. Right. So you better play. Don't, don't. Kind of like poker in the way that you'd want, you know, somebody not think they have you two figured. Mm hmm. All right. He's, I got to assume he's, no, he's got his regular cue. Is this a little swerve? A little swerve say? A little swerve mass say? I guess so. Now, I would prefer to jump it myself, but I notice he has his regular old cue in his hand, so. I told you just the swerve say, bro. Think about it. If you dust that rail coming up, you're going to leave free lunch. Right. Randy owns a pool hall in, in Washington. I forget the name of it, though. But it's a nice place. 128th Street. 128th Street. That's right, 128th Street. Six ball courts. Nine This asshole room owner, what another room owner has to tell you. <laughs> Click, click. Mm. Uh, that was a good hit. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. And I would say what the ball's looking like, they are, are you know, he's, that it was good that he hit it. Yeah. Yeah, and she's got her work cut out for her. Right <laughs> Stephen Weekly said he hopes Ed bought a bottle of Tums. <laughs> Stephen Weekly, how you doing, buddy, if you're out there? Yeah, he's there. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, Stephen, uh, he was a sub one year and played so good, man. He was he was brought in at the last minute so for, for, what? for Sean Lewis, <laughs> I think. And straight oh, up killer. I think he was the MVP. Yeah, he was. Nice. Nice. Come on, Chris. <laughs> I love that shot. I can't help it. It is what it is. I'm Jason Minimunk is hilarious, bro. <laughs> he said, Mike D, don't do him like that. He on the pool wall. <laughs> Holds balls on the block, gang gang. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, here we go. Side pocket, open and available. Nice. Yeah. It's back to that stellar shooting, man. Yeah. No, I wouldn't be surprised to see her run out. You know, no, at no, any moment. absolutely. So, yeah, she'll get into it. Nice little groove, right? Yeah. Sometimes, in a weird way, the best thing you can do is miss an easy shot sometimes because then you're wake like, you I, I will not be doing that again. Yeah, wake you up. Yeah. Man, pressure is, a, is an unfair bedfellow. Yep. Pressure will get you. I played in a team event with Paul Marquez one time, and he said, man, you got to just pocket the ball. I don't know what you're thinking about, but. You gotta pocket the ball. Facts. Figure out the rest after you pocket the ball, Mike D. I don't know what you're doing, but and he was right. He's just <laughs> pocket the you ball. You sounded like him yeah. right there. Dude. <laughs> oh yeah, he did, man. <laughs> That's having an Uncle Paul talk right there. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, swing it. It seems like the ones where she gotta put a little bit of juice on. Um, technique is failing her a little bit. Yeah, I would say so. I would say one of the shots. 
it almost went to her advantage because she it boosts her a little bit and she'd get in shape on it on one of the earlier shots. Yeah. I'd say the last couple though, no, it's not. Yeah, she's using her losing her composure a tiny bit there at the end. Which is a bad time to lose her. Oh, that was a great shot. She had man. that ball like uh, right. Like a one pocket player, man. Yeah. Sam asked at the beginning of this if anyone had a problem with the bridge and I the seventh grader and we me wanted to yell, Well it's very funny looking <laughs> but I was mature, so I didn't say anything. But that is the funniest looking bridge I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> um, if you give bank. me five tries at this, I bank the four back in the side and bring Hanger the three bank. ball. Cue, three, the cue ball for the rounds bank. Rounds. This is this is a one to one bank. He can swing this. He a one pocket player. He knows unless he doesn't like it and just banks the two up table. He liked that shot. Yeah, All right, Chris, let's go. To like about that shot. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, come on, Chris. Chris, one good stroke will get her on the five ball. Yeah, the only thing I, mean? I don't like about this shot, she didn't go check the tangent to see if she could go in the corner. Because if she has to come two rails back down to the five, yeah. you're going to have to go in that corner. You're right, you're right, you're right. No, so she's using top, too. So. Want to see if you got room. Want to see if you have room? Well, that didn't work out. Uh, it, here's, I'm here's telling thing, you, it worked out just like Raw said. I'm, you know Professional why? Professional commentator Raw Hanna. You know why? Because I did that fifty thousand million hundred times. Yeah. I did that. Ouch. You you don't go check. You Ouch. were just concerned at the, the the task at hand. Ouch. You know? Have you ever been a campfire and you burn your finger a little bit? Yes, That's sir. That's how I feel right now. Oh, for sure. <laughs> But There's you know a what? Sting that's gonna hold the last on for a while. time, the last time you felt like this, what happened the next day? We won. All right, we then. Won. Yeah. That was a sad day last year. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sad day. Was Allison Fisher day, was lighting you up. Who's the captain? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I dimed you out, bro. I'm sorry. She was like, well, he better start doing his job. Allison, we miss you. Oh, oh my God! What, bro? Mm -mm. Easy money. She gonna take a three to one lead. Mike D. Dude, this has been a kind of a haphazard match. Mm -hmm. uh, it is going Chris's way. Uh, I'm gonna say that you know her odds of making this are real good. Uh, yeah, three to one's pretty big. That's a five, big hole, bro. Man. I'm not saying Randy can't do it, but. Ooh. Mike D. Wowzers, man. If we weren't sitting here watching it, I, you couldn't tell me that dude. that he would miss that. I'm telling you, in this event, upsets are upsetting, too. Yeah, good for Chris. 3-1, mm -hmm. race to five. Uh, the overall score is 2-2 two, two <coughs> at a race to nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these are all big games, yeah. man. It's a race to five, uh, Christopher Moreno in the chat room. Race to five. Mm -mm. That's what happens sometimes when you're supposed to win or you're supposed to do this. Oh, my your God. Brain, right? Your brain starts giving you, you know, playing Dude, tricks on you, bro. Seriously. Yep. Oh, I've been there. That's all I can really say for Randy. I've definitely been there. Mm -hmm. And for Chris, just keep going. She's been, she's been breaking real good, too. Right? Yes, yeah, yes. Oh boy, as we say that, goes right in the drink. All right, I say that turtle rack stays right there. <laughs> nope, Sam's on it. Sam is on it. said announcer's curse. Yes, yes, yes. Two, okay, so the two goes. Not you know for the four ball. If it didn't, if it didn't, you'd be sitting on that three ball. Wowzers. Mm 
Okay. Yeah, things are a little shaky this game. I think I think Randy is committing himself to saying, you know what? Okay, enough of them jokes and games. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do what I have to do. Yeah, I think he can make this three with top right and come up in between the eight and the rail for shape. But that may be dangerous, and he may want to avoid doing that. So we'll see how he ends up doing shape on the four ball. He said, I'm going to play this. Yeah, so I'm going to save. I'm going to shoot this ball and play this carom on the nine ball. Yep. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 oh. Look at him. He looked a little sneaky, Mike D. Now the negative with going for this is you might block right, the pocket. Right, stuck. You know, yeah. Block this, Mike. Boop. Oh. <laughs> that was a great shot. Man. What's my name, Mike D? What's shot. my Rock name, Mike D? Oh. All right. Check it out. Check out this carom, carom, carom combo shot. Drill that nine billiard. Drill that nine like it had eyeballs, bro. I was hoping I'd get to watch this again. Of course you get to watch it again. This is Hannah Vision. <laughs> oh, I like it, man. Take this. Shazam, Man, baby. that was a great shot. And by the way, dead shape on the six ball. Oh, of natural course, shape of on course. the seven. Of, yeah, of course, course. Way, of course. Just, just out anyway. Just in case yeah. you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's gold. Stop it. Mm. That was strong. That's the way you stay in the match. Mm. All right, Randy got the break. Let's see where he set that cue ball up at. I assume cut break again. Mike D, how did he, he hit that billiard, bro? He hit it nice, man. <laughs> he hit it And nice. you know what he With did? With confidence and a You snap. see him go over there and look at the nine, right? Yeah, That's right. what I'm talking yeah. about. You Check can't just... that tangent line. You know? Yeah. Yep. He made it happen. Oh, oh Okay, boy. so they tur turn scratching. All right, this is Chris's opportunity to get on the You hill. know what? This, Yeah, this is this is it right here. You can get on the hill right here. Seriously. You just got to control your rock. That's where it starts. Now, she's going to just a little bit of stun draw, right? The only problem is that leading from that two to the three. You can stun it all you want to. If you do not get perfect, you're going to make yourself you, in trouble. If you get above the two, yes. it's a problem. You yeah, you're going to bump the three or yeah, something. There you go. You know? I like that. I think she ended up all right on that. You just stun slide it up a little bit? Yeah, or even straight draw, I think, will bring it okay. up. You know what I mean? Because there's don't, an angle. Don't get equidistant, though. Yeah. Don't get on that same line. Don't get on that same line. That was that not, that was mm -hmm. not enough, uh, almost a snap and pull on the draw that you needed, and that was you not know, it. You just, you got, you have to make a plan, man, and execute the plan. You can't right. make the plan while you're shooting. Right. That, that's what gets you. I assume she's playing a safe, using the eight ball as a blocker, but we'll, we'll see. No oh, boy, no. no, it bounced no the boy, wrong no. way. If you notice, it bounced left yes, it instead did. of right, and that was the yeah, worst-case scenario. Hey. Basically, hit the point a little bit, yeah. enough to, to bring yeah. it back into perfect shape for Randy. And if not perfect, at least off the rail. Exactly. But here's the thing, though. We've said it before. You have to shoot the balls. Yep. You know, we can, we can say it's easy. We can say whatever we want, but you have to shoot them. Right. And diamonds are tough tables. These are not valleys. No you know, if you don't hit it right, this table will not take it. Exactly. Now, here's the good thing. He has a big pocket with that six, but here's the bad thing. You bump that six, it goes out the way. He said, I'm going to go avoid all problems. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, that's the move. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> looking good to get to three. His man in the crowd said, that's what I'm talking about. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. He just that's right. Like, Pump his boy up. They do sell, they do sell alcohol here. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Make sure I, I'm, I'm going to leave out the back. <laughs> <laughs> just in case somebody oh, man. has a little bit too oh, much. Man. I hate your commentary. <laughs> He 
He's hitting them now. Oh, boy. He punched it, Mike. You know what? That's in his head. That's in his head from that last time he did it. He did the same thing. I hope she makes this because I'm not sure he'll mess again. Listen, you better make it and watch that tangent line scratch in the corner, too. This will get her on the hill. She better not scratch. She better not scratch. She better not scratch. Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, mm -mm. The pressure in these events, I just can't, I just can't. Uh, Emphasize it enough. Mm. All right, so we got a 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Race to two. What you want to do? Mike D, this, this match has everything. This is a great teaching oh match. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm a toddler that needs a nap. I'm starting to get cranky. <laughs> 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 uh, if you're just tuning in, this is the Litman Lights Northwest Cup. This is the fourth time this happened. Um, second time that Mike Lippman has taken it over and doing fantastic things in the commentary booth with me is the legendary world famous Mr. Mike D standing in uh, helping me doing the heavy lifting because our brother JJ is a little under the weather. Yeah, I guess so. if you're listening to this and you're wondering, I thought JJ was supposed to be here. He he, he got sick. Uh, he came to Oregon yeah. and did some lessons and yeah. was around human beings and he got sick. And, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. It is. Exactly. So... I know you guys are not entertained, but you're going to be entertained. Uh, well, we'll be all right. Let's I, go. Like I told Lippman, uh, Rahan is our ace in the hole, man. Let's We're go, fine. Baby. No, and Let's I told Mike, Hanna, or Mike, I'd do whatever I could to help the cup be successful. And I'd Absolutely. certainly be glad to Absolutely. sit in here with you. The only um, thing I do out there is do go team. So That's right. I, you know. I'm glad you're here with me, bro. Uh, I'm, Ed, I'm Ed, happy to be here. It's Ed, a thrill. Ed Terry, the cowboy, cowbells are all over. Oregon and Washington has cowbells, right? Ed Terry, are you the original cowboy cowbell guy? Oh boy, Asking. ring ring. Because there was Terry. a guy that did that. There was uh, Matt McInnes was giving away a set of balls to the loudest uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, spectator, right. and one of the guys brought a cowbell so he would win that, and that's <laughs> how the tradition started. Thanks, Jeff, man. Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate you. Definitely. No great shots here for Randy. There's he could play that one off the eighth if he felt like a champion. Yeah. He chose to go careful. And she oh can do God. the same thing. Yeah. Ooh, she's got actually a, a pretty. Exactly. Uh, honestly, she's got a pretty easy shot. Because exactly. that one goes off the eight. Yeah, all day long. and it'll help her gain shape on the two. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Yep. My man out there, whatever he is, if he's drinking water, he's cut off. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, what's wrong? Woo! Yeah. Whatever he's drinking, he can't have no more. Oh, stop it. Nice. She shot. didn't even use the eight. She didn't even use the eight. Jeez. That was nasty. Oh, man. Roy Watkins. Yeah, we have a great match here, brother. I wish you was here, too. This is, um,. It's, it's off the chain, for real. How's it going, Roy? Thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate you. Uh, Roy's been a friend of mine since we were kids. There you go. Ooh. Oh, nice oh. try. Okay. She almost got the jelly yeah. right there. I think you got to bank this three ball in, yeah. man. She's going to duck. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You know what? If she's feeling spicy, she can two-rail the cue ball, hit it on that side, right toward the nine, but it looks like... This is this is the naked way. You gotta make this ball. You gotta make this ball. What? Man. That was close enough to where you'd have to say she took the right shot. She you powered know? up. Yeah, she, so yeah, yeah. Rob Cornelius, I'll tell you how Mike D told me it's uh, gonna be a race to five, but if it is four four in total matches, we stop for today. Mike D is not playing. Mike D is the captain. I played enough. There's only room for four males on the team, and I, I had my son in the, my time in the spotlight. There you go. Uh, and Mike offered me the chance to be the captain, and you can't do both. And I like being the captain. I'm going to stick with being the captain. Good stuff. Oh, oh good touch that 
right was there. sexy right there, boy. See, these are people starting to get into stroke. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, I know he had a couple tough shots, but yeah, yeah these are people coming into All stroke. All right, Rob Cornelius said it'll be front row tomorrow. Come on that's down, that's bro. That's Rob. Okay. Don't, so. don't pound this one. Now, this he's going to duck this up. He's going to duck this up. I like this. Let's go chalk it up, Randy. Got this. Slide on over. Pop the nine in. Get on the hill. What could go wrong? Whatever you thought about before, don't think about it now. That's right. I, you know, I commend him because I've been in that place. Oh, boo, man. Dog yes. puppy chow. Yep, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Right now, he's just glad he's not broken. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm not broken. Exactly. I'm okay. All right. Randy came in. Come on, TK. He's on the hill, baby. We are live from Legends Billiards. Catfish Lose. Got to give a thanks to our table sponsor, Diamond Mike, John Scudder Table Cues. Also, our cue sponsor, Joe Peach, our custom cues. Thank you for everything you do. And the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. If he was a brother, he have soul power. Ah, Litman Lights, man. I like Changing it. the way you see billiards. Yep. If you like what you see, and it's for free, and it's coming from me, you got to hit Mike Litman off with a little... A little stream donation, yep, man, help yep, him recover yep, some costs because he's man. not making nothing. Of course I'm not. telling you. Yeah, I'm just not. letting you know. Yep. Just send my man a little jelly. All right, looks like he's got the BK3. He's going to BK3 and knock the paint off these balls. You don't want to scratch. Good oh, cue ball. Man. Wow, that cue ball could he be steady. That, that was great. Oh, oh that was a great break. He's on the run, too. Ooh. On the hill. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. I know something smells super good, boy. I just caught my nose. I'm like, man, what is that? They've been bringing in a lot of food in the last hour. Yeah, I see the waitress quite a few times. Mmm. I can't have gumbo because I don't know what's in it. <laughs> what's a gumbo? Oh, boy. Every once in a while, he gets punchy, right? Yep, yep, yep. Guess what? Slice this deuce in. Not She's got off. a chance to get make this hill hill. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. She only needs one game for it to be hill. But I'm saying if she does not hit this correctly, where she can slide back and forth. Yeah. A lesser known player would bump the three. Oh, bummer. See? Oh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what Ernesto told me. Yeah. Ernesto said, if you're going to run into a ball, run into it. Yeah, yeah. Run into it. Yeah. With purpose. Give yourself somewhere to go, some direction, some right. something. You right, know? right. Rob, tomorrow is the final match day. This isn't the final match today either. We got two more. Nice, Chris. Stroke that one. Um, Rob, it's a, the score is 2-2 two, two in overall matches. We're going to 5, or if it's 4-4, four, four, we're stopping. So, man, since this bank, like your name is John Brumback. Got to hit it with the wabam stroke, though. Oh, snap. That ball's going. Ouch. That was close. This ain't no picnic, Mike. No, it's not. No, it's no not. No picnic. We can start every game from here, and I will not quit. Uh. <laughs> every game. Every game. We start every game from right here. I will not quit. This is it. You know, at one time, what was that? What's that that my man uh, Christopher Whalen said? That corny speech from Pool Junkies, the lion. You gotta yeah. be. This is this is the time. Yep, she, yep. She gotta get busy right yep, here. Exactly. You gotta get busy. Show the world you're a lion. Exactly. Yeah. 
going on? <laughs> nice. That's what oh, I'm boy. down to, Rod. Oh, boy. No scratch. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Mm, this will be... You got to put a super stroke on this one, buddy. What you going to do here, Mike? You stabbing this ball in? Yeah. Shooting yeah, five I'm, inside? I'm stabbing it in. And then mm. I'm also figuring if I hook myself on the nine, I'm going to jump the five in. Okay. Yeah, so I, I pretty much, plus this force is hard shot. You're, so. you're, you're committed. Yeah, I'm Pot just committed. for it. Exactly. How do you hit it, boy? Exactly. One pocket player. Yeah, that was a great shot. Does he have to go rail first here, or does he have it? If he's trying to make it inside, can you go rail uh, first and cut it in? I don't think so, no. I think if he goes rail first, he's got to take it to the top left-hand corner pocket. He's doing something. He's not going rail first, but he's going to the top pocket. Oh, wow, that's a great shot. Man. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Boy, we got our own comedians in here, boy. Open mic night, Mike. Right, exactly. Oh, he hit that ball good. Uh, a little flat, but I'd say on a nine-foot table, that's a, a shot right. you got to know. Too, uh, he's feeling know. it, though, yeah. right? Yep, yeah, exactly. I wonder if he'll come up in between the rail and the nine or two rails tighter to come for eight in the side. I'm going to sweat it. How about that? How about that? Too close to your work. Sharing section. <laughs> oh, you put that yeah, nice oh, inside. Great yeah. shot, Randy. Great shot, buddy. He's making sure he don't pound this one. Ball in like that was his demon. Oh, that was a good match, Rob. Yeah. All right, that was a good one. All right, I'm in the building. Mike D shall return. All right, and they move ahead. Oh, Washington makes a move. Three to two. They need two more, two more games, and they'll be out. All right, we got Steve Lingelbach and Phyllis Fernandez up next. Great time here. We'll reload the match order when this match is match is over. We'll we'll put the new matches up. But this is uh, been some fantastic pool right now. And I'm glad you guys are here enjoying it with me because this is uh, this is where it's at. So we got another match coming up. They got a nice little five minute break. I'm gonna take a, a break for a half a second and I shall return. Be right back.
We're back in the building. Hello, hello, hello. Let's Will go, Fredo's Mike D. D. Raw Hannah on the mic together again. All right, so uh, Fernandez got that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I believe. Maybe I'm making the call too soon. Just so. Thank Mike Don again. Yeah, Sam is still checking it out. He's still checking. He's going to take the ball and do the horizon. Trying. Yeah, I like the horizon style. Yeah. Oh, I can feel the heat going now. I'm all about it. Yes, sir. Fernandez run the lag, right? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the energy is in the building. Let's go. Littman Life's Northwest Cup. I believe it. 2022. 2022. That's right. Here at Legends Birds in Beaverton, Oregon. I'm on the side with my main man, Mike D, the world famous Mike D. Right? Get right? it right? Or regionally well known. Regionally well known. <laughs> Soon have to be the world same famous. Ring, though, right? Regionally well known. We're we going to cut that out. World famous <laughs> Mike, world famous D. Mike D. D. He's in the building. Let's go. All right. So, again, just like last match, an upset would have been a big deal. This time around, opposite, uh, Team Oregon has the advantage, in it, and an upset would be a really big deal. Yeah. They're looking to make it 3 3. It's, uh, yeah, because it's, it's, we, Oregon needs this match to make it 3 3 instead mm -hmm. of 4 2. And 4 2 is a big swing. You know, 4 2 is nasty, bro. Yay. <coughs> Mike D. Look at this guy. This guy is, he gets it now. Let's go, Ross. Right. level of professionalism is going <laughs> to rub off on <laughs> That's me. right. No Pretty grabbing it. wearing a suit. <laughs> <laughs> no grabbing the headphones. It makes me feel like a 12-year-old at church. Yeah. Stop scratching your butt. Exactly. Cindy, <laughs> yes, I do. But I don't know if we, um, yes, we have the lineup after this match. After this match, um, there, it's getting updated right now. So during the breaks, we'll let you see it all. All right. So nothing went on the break. And Steve is going to try and draw first blood here i know he would love to run out right just, just to say he did it you know what i mean just as a i want to put that energy out there i like it i don't like coming back to the three from here bro uh um remember when i said earlier that sometimes i like to fly at the nine just for the heck of it yeah i would not bank the two into the nine right now that's that's <laughs> facts don't do that uh, I think he's just going to have to go for it, try and get the key wall basically back to where it Mike is. Mike D, if he shoots the two into the, the nine, I'm going to jump out the building. Oh, my Ooh. God. Wowzers. No, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. Mm. To, to go in between the four and the seven and come on. Mm -hmm. That was a great shot by mm -hmm. Steve. That was a great shot. It's all right, Chris Robbins. You represent yourself well. We know that tomorrow you come back, the nerves will be out, and you'll be ready to go. Oh, uh, Chris, you had some you're good a, shots. You're a good shooter. You had some good shots. You're a good shooter, yeah. for sure. You almost upset the Fargo odds. Mm hmm Well done. All right, Phyllis Fernandez here for Team Washington. Trying to get natural shape on this four ball so right. she can just get out in a simple fashion. perfect world she leaves herself on that five in the side and just sends the cue ball in and out for yes. shape on the six the seven's nice and high so you can cut the six in and get back up to i'm the gonna seven. say man this this lady's been playing super level you know what i mean not even up not heel. down yeah, even, even keel, keel yeah, bro friend, that's how you I get agree. the cabbage man yep and it continues look at her she's not she's not afraid i mean she rolled a little bit but here's the thing this might save you you shoot the five in the side let the cue ball come swing right back down for the six. If you go in the corner, you are looking at death. And you can use the nine as a breaker. You might get lucky. Combo the nine in the corner, and yeah. uh, it's a quick game. Phyllis, I would say if you watch this later, you might find that you uh, you shot a little quick on that four ball. Maybe stood up, I believe, on the follow through. Oh, short. So right, eight oh, ball is your friend. Ball. Eight ball is your friend or seven wow. ball? Seven ball is your friend. Oh, Lingelbach, you got to show me something here. Wow. Check it out, Mike D. One pocket style, cross the five, run the rock right back down table. Yep, yeah, yeah. Uh, cross bank the five to the yeah. top right hand pocket. Yeah. Yep. What's up, Harley Davis? The 
I know there's some pros right. that jack up at 45 degrees oh, and man. draw this cue ball straight back. And I'm not one of those. Who are uh, one pocket style, like Hannah said. We can start every game from there, buddy. This is still no picnic. What happens here is uh, players like me, you put the hydraulic on this and the cue ball stays right up table. Or it goes in the corner. Right. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And you're trying to get back down. You're trying to come down and make something happen. There's one right way and a lot of wrong ways to hit this shot. And I know every wrong way. And that's not one of them. Get out of here, Phil. What? This, yo. So with speed and punch, she yeah. created an angle on yes, that she shot. Did. That angle was not, was not there. there. She <laughs> shouldered an angle out yeah. of that. She made that happen. Yeah. I'm Team Morgan, and I'm telling you that was a good shot. No, nah, that was that, <laughs> that was, was strong. Mike. That was strong. If good we didn't job, see it with our own eyes, we would have thought it was a good shot. Good shot. She stroked that ball smooth. No, 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 no. You're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, one, the six not, must not have gone. Yeah. Because if it had gone, she'd be running out right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So having said that, that must have been a I just shot. don't like to give the ball another swing at it. This guy might yes. just yes. kick, stick, and put you in double jail. He's one of those guys, too, that stares at stuff, and you're thinking, what is he even staring at? And then he gets up there and does some shot, and you're like, oh, that's what he was looking at. See, told you to kick, stick. That's that one pocket. He knows. Because a sucker like me would have hit that ball on the underside and scratched right in the corner. That was a great shot, man. Yeah, it was. Dead stop that cue ball like that. Yeah, great it was. Shot. Yeah, it was. All right, Fernandez, back up. Watch that scratch. You see, this is the thing. You, if you're shooting this pure on a tangent line, you got to make sure that the tangent line isn't right into the corner. Yep. And then you roll the ball and you scratch and you look at the balls like, how, how'd that happen? Right. This ain't no picnic, Mike D. No, it's not. The, the best thing you could really say about this shot is at least the seven is where you'd want it to be. If he makes the six, he's got shape on the seven. Mm -hmm. and, and really the eight's right down there. Two and the nine's a duck. It's, it comes down to the six ball. Yeah. Here's the problem with that, though, especially playing a lower-rated player in Steve's position. You miss the six, she's out. Exactly. Do you know, yeah, yeah, four you ball know. duck out. Yeah. Higher-rated playing a lower-rated you want to know you're going to miss, and so you play a safety. Exactly. You never want to miss and leave them just out. And, and oh, yeah, that's putting, the dangerous part. He's putting of it. a stroke on it. He's putting a stroke on it. My money's on Steve. Mm. This is a trap. You think this looks juicy, and then you double bank the bank. You're going to be long on this if you don't fully commit to this whole shot gonna put yourself in trouble right yeah, oh i agree i agree and you could scratch in the opposite I'm trying to see her body language she looks comfortable with this firing i, I want to see her look a firing a hole you're right though long huh long yeah man because you have to know that stuff you uh, gotta know oh how'd you get away from it how you like it got to kind of do the same thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just try and stick that cue ball again. This one can get away from you. Dude. But if he hits it perfect, he slides right under that eight and puts you right in the yeah. trash can. He's got to stun and get the cue ball to fly right under the eight. Yeah, he did. It didn't yep. quite work, but no, here's the thing, six no. ball's beautiful. Six this ball's is beautiful. Just, uh, this is, I hate to belabor the point, but this is a guy who Did you say belabor, bro? Belabor the point. Oh, my he, God. I... He knows he has the Fargo advantage. He's trying to take advantage of it. Right. He doesn't want to do anything crazy. He wants That's to play right. smart, yep. and he's like playing smart poker or playing conservatively. Mm -hmm. He's trying to make sure he wins it. Now is not the time. You play Shane Van Boney, you better four rail that sucker because you yes. might not be back. You might not get table. a chance exactly. But yeah, I feel you. Oh, Jin. See, now that's Steve getting paid off for that shot. Yes, he did. That's Steve. That's, you know, whatever that was a move. Did you What did you say in. before? What did you say before when you when you battle? Oh, you wrestle. Yeah, yeah you wrestle. wrestle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was yeah, wrestling exactly. for sure. Yep. Yeah. And now it's just a day at the office. They got three ducks hanging out. Yep. Now, he might have to punch the seven ball to get it to slide up table. We'll see. Yeah, the, okay, so that angle tells me he's punching it a little bit to get it towards the eight. Although, 
that's not super necessary. Oh, but, uh, that was nice, yeah. though. You know what? Shoot. You want to make sure he Good don't shoot. dog it. Yeah, exactly. So you shoot this in the side, Mike? Yep. Uh, the nine ball? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm using top right and coming up mid-table. He said, I'm going to do what Mike D does. Yep. Take this cake. Lingelbach. Steve Lingelbach, a Northwest champion, a legend. Yep. Good there people. Moves ahead one to zero. This is a race to five, guys. We got action. Losers. Yeah. These have been good matches. Everyone no, has, you've every been one of these matches been good match. Seriously. Very competitive yeah. matches. Nobody wants to see a blowout. I don't. Right. I want to no, see I action. No, I, no. I want to see action. I, I don't agree. want a blowout. I agree. Sam Rubito's doing a great job of keeping it going. Yeah. Sam Rubito, man, that guy, that guy's solid. I give him, I give him, you know, I rib him a lot, you know. But he's kind of ribbable. He's, <laughs> he's a smart guy, yes. and he cares about pool. That's why really I like him. He wants to do a good job. Yes, he, he does. He really likes to check That's all the boxes. He'll ask you every question yep. that you need, yep. and he'll make sure. Yep. You know? Yep. You got to respect that. Yep. He likes, he loves his job. Yep. All right, 160 viewers, 610 comments, 139 shares. That's not bad for a little regional, yep, right? Exactly. A little regional Northwest I like Cup. It. I like it. Let's go. Respect to each and every one of you guys. Okay, now the interesting, this is breaking from a different spot. Not off the rail. Still a cut break, but less of a cut break. Mm-hmm. He's looking for that control. Yeah, he was trying to control that one ball. Hmm. Mm -mm. I think he's got to play for the combo at this point. You think you shoot the combo? Yeah. And the cue ball goes down table? I think he's got to try for it, Rob. I, I think you kick from the back of this ball, kick the one back down table, and maybe cue ball slides over there by the deuce. Yeah, you might, no, you might be right. I don't know. You know, I watch Mike D a lot. Okay, so he was you know counting saying? on the two to stop the one ball. Exactly. But that See what was I'm saying? Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. So jail. And that's the point of... So he tried to get the one in a different spot. He didn't get there, that's but he right. also tried to get the cue ball in a spot. Exactly. He had two ways to hook this guy, exactly. or this, this gal, this, yeah. this, this player, and that's how he got there. Exactly. So I just think it's important to have as many different plans as you can going on. You have to bend this one. Yes. You have to bend. Uh, if if you shoot there, I think you go right between the one and the two, right in the scratch city. Yep. 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 All right. Well, there's payoff for the hook, right there. Yeah. But you know, yeah. is that the theme of this match? Payoff yeah. for the hook. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, I I got you. <laughs> I got you. Because we were standing here with a couple of sure things, and we were like, what happened? That's what I'm screaming, yeah. A great printer grass. It's a race to five, brother. So, um. And an overall race to nine. Cumulative, the gray scoreboard, it says three to one, right? So, Washington would need five for our day to be over. Whoever reaches five first, the day will be over. Or, if it's four, four, the day will be over. So we, we got another match here for sure, Greg. We might have another two matches. Here's the honest answer. Uh, the goal is to make tomorrow have a point and not be silly. We yeah. can't show up tomorrow to play two games. Oh, no. We can't show up tomorrow to play 17 games. No. You know what I mean? It's all no. about trying Facts. to manage day two is the Facts. thing. And if we don't get enough games played, we have a problem Sunday. If we play too many games, then Sunday's lame, to be really yeah, honest. Yeah, we don't with do that. You know, so. We want to yeah. do like the Americans in the Moscone Cup. Got to play one match and say, come on the next day. We don't want that. That happens. See, yeah, exactly. he is he is keeping the heat right. on that lady. Yep, exactly. Oh, sorry, Cindy. Well, here, here's the here's an uncumulative answer. Somebody needs five, or if it's four or four, we, we stop. <laughs> Thank you. I got to thank my man, Frank Spain, for keeping me Update on the juniors. Oh, man. I, I think maybe that was a good shot to go for. I know that it was a cut, but it, I mean, it was a tough cut, but I do think that was worth going for. So yeah, it was. Six was Oakland. Just like Rob was saying, he's playing conservative. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
He's seen her shoot, bro. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? He's seen her shoot. He said, I'm not giving you any opportunity. He probably opportunity. makes that five in the corner seven out of ten times, you but he wants ten out of ten right exactly. now. Exactly. He, you know, so, yeah. he says, I need that beat on yep. a wire. Yep. Exactly. It's three to one. You know what I mean? I mean, three, two. Sorry. Oh, guess what she did? Try to give him a taste of the medicine. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Off the rail into the five, kicking the five up table, two rails to leave the five in the middle of the short rail. Yeah, just like that. One, two. Yeah. He's using all the tricks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all of them. That's what he wanted. Uh, in real life, that looks even less makeable than on camera. Uh, so it, it is possible, but it ain't easy. <laughs> And you're very likely to leave the cue ball on the top right-hand part of the you table, know what? which is the bad part if you're trying to get on the six. Yes. Jump out the window, back cut this, and swing it around. No. See, he got her in the right state of mind. He's like, I'm ducking, so you're ducking. That's not how she beats him. That's not how she beats him. She has to figure it out. Now he's going to duck again, put the five down there behind the nine or yep. something, yep. you know? Oh, look at that. Where's the five behind the nine? See? He said, I'm going to outmove you. You're not going to outmove me. And one of these times, you'll either miss it or you'll hit it, but you'll leave me straight in. Which the is last the time? People forget that. You leave me straight in. That's the same thing as ball and hand. I mean, yeah, nobody gives you a, a, a special button for him. We need fellas just to kick this in and get out. That's what we need. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. That was a great shot. That almost worked, too. Uh, she almost got a hook out of that. All right. Steve here trying to make it 2-0 to zero in a race to five. Yeah. He's trying, he to, trying to close that score for sure. How to just, yeah, how to just sense these last few balls. Man, this guy ain't sensing nothing, but he's stroking them. He's stroking them. This guy's been a rock so many years. He just, he is a guy you can count on. I'm going to miss having him on the team next year. Good job, Steve. Oh, he's on it. I never really wanted to be one of those people that if you were good at pool, it would make me like you. But that's where I'm at with Linkelbach. <laughs> you can tell he's just a good guy. <laughs> he's just good people. Yeah. Nice shooting, Steve. I like it. He's got the right formula. Yeah, he does. You know what I mean? His pace has always been really good, too. <coughs> yeah, respect to Steve. All right. Lingelbach moves ahead 2-0 to zero in a race to five. Oh, it's he, been a good match he's today. He's keeping, keeping Phyllis on the ropes. Yes. Keeping that jab in her face. So Definitely. Who we got next? Did we ever figure out who yeah, we got Yeah, we got uh, coming up next. We got Paul Marquez and Chris Robbins versus ooh. James DeVee and Joe Tamora. Oh, my gosh. That'll and, be a good match. And then we have Chris Byers and Randy Gamantigue. All right. All right. And then after that... Mike Jensen and Miss Jensen versus Sergeant Seal. Yes. Sergeant Seal, yeah, exactly. Sergeant Silio. Yeah, Daniel Sergeant Silio. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, well, good. Well, we got, listen, we got a lot of good yeah, matches to yeah, come. That should come up. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what the, yeah, I guess that next Scotch one, uh, uh, Washington has the, the Fargo Edge, but then after that, Oregon has the Fargo Edge. Mm. Oh. Shut up, Hannah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm silly. I'm over here being silly. I'm so used to being silly by myself. <laughs> Never mind. I got all state next to me now. Three, six, Can five, we fix Steve's rock. collar? <laughs> Chris, man, you, you, you're a wild boy, man. <laughs> all right. Come on, fellas. That was a good break. She did not get perfect shape right. on the one, but that was a great you gotta break. You got to fight. You got to fight, fellas. You got to steal a shot. You got to back cut this one, come two rails, kinda, get on the deuce. Kind of has to go for it. Yeah, you yeah, got to fight, man. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. I like that. You know what? She's not losing her composure, but don't right, right, don't right, don't right. poke the bear. Right. This is where the bear lives. 
he, this is where he hibernates. He likes this game. Right, right. Yeah, that's a that's a strong team, Brian, Joe Tamora, and uh, James DeVee. Definitely, definitely. Uh, James DeVee double dipped Stan Tarango this last time around. Uh, I commented that Western match. BCA, yeah. yeah. That's saying a lot, man. I mean, listen, that's man, saying a listen, lot. Exactly. You know. um, that Stan Tarango guy, man. When I heard the road stories and stuff, I, that's the type of guys I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right, Chris. Look good, play good. You know, he's also <laughs> never been a guy that's. Loud, obnoxious, I argumentative, nothing. He's none of that stuff. I can man. tell. Yep. And I've seen all the love, the community yep. love that yep. he had. I said, yep. oh, that guy's well respected. Yep. He is not walking drama at all. He's the opposite. All right, Steve, I, he, he's probably playing a safety just he based cut on the way he's been playing. Blip. Oh, he was trying to go off the mm -hmm. two. He thought that might go right now, for Now, two. that might have been a little chancy. Yes. Right. I would say he opened up the valve a yes, little bit on that did. one. Yes, yeah. he did. He didn't keep the, yeah. the choke collar right. Up. Exactly. Right? Yeah. All right. I like how she's setting the table. Yeah, she plays. Everybody on this in this match plays good. Yeah. Just bank the one over there by the eight. Float the cue ball up table. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she lined them up. Wowzers. All right. You got to show me. He's going to the end rail and kick it. I think he's got to go two rails. Is that what you're saying? I think yeah. he's got to go two rails. Yeah, yeah, the top short rail and then the right hand long rail, two mm -hmm. rails into the one ball. Yeah. Basically aim for that the piece of chalk right next to his head. Yeah. So he likes the Massey, and a lot of people like the Massey. On this. I don't like uh, the follow I, leader, though. I'm afraid of too many things involved. So I feel like what he should do is massay that shot. Of in course, you know, just massay you know, it in. Yeah, it looked, just looked pretty. In yeah. How'd he hit it? Yeah. How'd he hit it? He hit it really good. Yeah. Now that after that, sick. do you play a safe? Because it's a pretty easy safe. Or do you just, oh, just bank three up it? top? You know what? I, I hit you with the double. I'm going to uh, shoot this three right, right. and play my cue ball all correctly. Because right, right. you don't want to do all that fancy stuff and then just dog it. You want to hit it like this. Look at his cue ball, though. Look at his cue ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hand yeah. wave. Hand yeah. wave. Uh, yeah. That was a definite yeah, right. two-way. Exactly. Exactly. Definite two-way. He's like, yeah. uh, I want you to think I got lucky. He did all that math before he yes, did he that. Did. Yes, he did. Exactly. You know he did, Mike. Oh, he did. He definitely you did know he did. Math. Yeah, exactly. He's old school. He's not just yeah. getting up there yeah. willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, that Massey was, was <laughs> that was some heat. Uh, that heat caught one. right when you'd want it to catch, yeah, right? It and turned, then, yeah, yeah exactly. It twisted doing its thing. And Florian would be proud of that one. Right. Look at this oh, kick. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Great shot, great shot. She, she's like, give me a break one time. That's all she's uh, looking for. That's all she's looking for is a, a chance. She just I, wants an opportunity. I got to say, that was a great shot. That was a great mm -hmm. hit. Yeah, good for her. And, yeah, she didn't really get rewarded for it. No. I like his odds. The seven ball is in my least favorite spot on the table. Boy, this guy is hitting him well. Yep. <laughs> For sure, Chris. Wrestling. Wrestling, yes, Chris. Wrestling. I like to say it. I don't know if you've ever seen the, the Elvis Presley movie, Kissing Cousins, but he runs into a, his doppelganger, which is a blonde Elvis. And the blonde Elvis is real uh, 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 a hill folk. And he, he pronounced it wrestling. <laughs> and I've always thought that was the funniest way to say wrestling. <laughs> yeah, and he wants to wrestle Elvis. And nice. Wrestle. Kiss and Cuts is check it out. You too. All right. I, I got to figure he's going two rails to come back up on the six, but it's a little chancy. He's thinking, man, can I get an angle where I get straight in on this? Because that eight bump it off the rail. You know what? Yeah. Give yourself a chance right here. Swing it, come one rail, and try to bump it. Try to bump it, yeah. Try I'm to get lucky. I hate the position of that seven ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, if he gets flat, if he gets flat, it's perfect. Keep going. Mm -hmm. He can roll now, Mike. That's a wonderful shot. Uh, we play a guy, uh, Matt Horner, and he was on the team one time, and I said if Matt Horner 
Now, Horner has an interesting uh, strategy when he comes up against a combo. He just gets perfect shape on it and then shoots the combo. Oh. You know, a combo is a lot easier to shoot when you have and perfect shape. Oh, gee. <laughs> and that's what Steve just did on that. Yes, he like, did. Look at that. Yeah, the seventh he ball killed tough, that ball. unless you get perfect shape Ooh, on nice. it. That just goes right in. Great shoot. Man. Yeah. Great shoot. And he can draw this back a little bit. Oh, great. That's Look tight. At Look at this. That's tight. This guy's got a drone. This is like watching the NFL football. <laughs> with trying to wonder, where is the camera even? Where do they even put the camera? It's all on wires, buddy. Yep. Me and Mike D took a week I in like the air. that, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Seriously. Yeah. No, Mike Lippman. No, I, mean. I know you, man. That's all good. I'm not here to correct you, buddy. Oh. oh nice. Did he? What? Strong. What? Wow, Mike. Man, dude, that's, that's dude. Ooh, I don't man. even know what to say, man. He put the heat on that one, bro. He bro. did. And perfect shape, too. At his level, too. I gotta tell you. I mean, he meant to do that. Yes, he did. Oh, this uh, guy. I didn't see it coming. This guy is on it. Wow, <laughs> Mike Littman, man. <laughs> I don't know who signed him up, but good job. Whatever oh, yeah. the captain of the Team Oregon did the right thing. Exactly. Let's nice. go. All right, Lingle Box. Three to zero. Three to zero. Three to zero oh. in a race to five. Mm -hmm. Overall race to nine. Oh well. And we're at three two in Washington's favor. So if Oregon picked this up. Oh yes. Oh that's right. Go ahead. We Check got this the, out. We got the mass so area. we got stuck here, and Mr. Lingelbach showed us how to jack up and mass a ball in without scratching. Watch this mass a catch as it gets yeah. about halfway past the three ball. I believe it is. Yeah. This was clean. Right oh, there, you see man. that? You can see it. That catch. was clean. You know what's you know clean? I'm looking at the scoreboard so much. I'm like, hey, that's wrong. I forgot there's a replay on. Right, right. That's so funny. <laughs> I like the replay. That's awesome. I'm telling you, it's hard to not think you're doing it by yourself. All right, Steve is breaking with the BK2, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's the old school, baby. Yeah, exactly. Nothing's happening. A lot of noise. Opportunity. Phyllis. Fellas team should be clapping right now. Come on, fellas. Come uh, on, seriously, girl. Get those bells going the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Phyllis looks determined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is a good way to start. She's a little steep on the one ball. She's got to hope to maintain shape on the two. Right. But she looks determined, and I like that. I like her game. No, she, she's not getting up there playing jokes and games, bro. She's coming to shoot, you know. Let's see if all that uh, that wrestling has, has. Nope, it hasn't. I couldn't even get it out. <sighs> that's, that's unfortunate. That's you know what I mean, right? Yeah, exactly. The, the strategy of Lingelbach is working, though. Yep, exactly. Keep you cold, yep. keep you off the table. Right, right. Then when you got to make a shot, you have trouble. Yep, yep. I told my team, the only advice I have for them, James DeVee taught me something two, three years ago. James DeVee in these things loves to do these simple little safeties yeah. that are easy. One kick and one rail and you hit the ball. It's like, what's the point? But then you leave him straight in the pocket and then he runs out. Yep. And you're like, oh. Yep. Especially pressure, especially on a nine foot. Fast. You can win with simple little safeties sometimes. And I would say Steve is employing that a little yes, bit. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah. Yes, he is. Keep it simple. Don't try to be too amazing. Exactly. Just leave him kind of tough, kind of awkward. Exactly. Use distance. Use awkwardness. Let, let your opponent beat himself. I think if you watch this match again, you'd see he's left her five makeable shots mm -hmm. that she opted to play safe on because they just look super awkward. Right. You know, they, it might as well have been safe. Well, we so, know, you know confidence is king in this right, game. exactly. You oh, got to feel the difference, good, doesn't it? You know? Yeah. Confidence is the weirdest I'm thing. I'm telling you, I, you ask my buddy, so I play pool with this at Ross, always ducking. Look at this guy. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say I either play scared or mad is one of the two. I play mad scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that little love bump. He's oh, good. So he's trying to get to make it 4-0 here. He'd love to run these out. Don't See how he looks up like that? Yeah. He, uh... Talking to the pool guy? He's, no, he's, that's his way of concentrating and being maintaining happiness and lightness. Wow. He's not, it's not a prayer, it's not a anything. He's not thinking of his dead cousin, no offense to anybody. Uh, he, that's his way <laughs> of maintaining composure and remembering that this is just a game and he's trying to have a good time. That's good stuff. stuff. Sometimes you'll see him smile when he does that too, and that's because he's trying to remember that this Whoa, is fun. Oh, stop. He says that's how he maintains composure. Come on, man. That Come was on, amazing. man. That 
was amazing. He did it. Jeez Louise. Yeah. This guy is on it right now. <coughs> but the haters will say it's easy to be fantastic when your opponent's not shooting back. Well, here's the thing. He's not giving her opportunity to shoot back. Right. That's in. You almost won pocket that ball. So he played a two rail safety on her there. I believe <laughs> what, what you call that? Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. I would think there. I think there was a lot of body movement on that. Mike shot. D. Yes, sir. Do you bank this five ball or you duck? I want to say bank, but the thing is, I think she can duck. I think if she just barely hits the five and sends the key ball mm -hmm. up table, she's got a pretty good shot. I would like to see her bank because I think she's got to make something happen. Right. I wouldn't have banked like that. Right. You know what? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I love the chat room. Ed Terry said, Ed better dig out the pom-poms again. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, boy. Oh, we tried to double her up using the seven. Mm -hmm. didn't work out. He's lucky. He's lucky that all six right, is this in the way. Where we're probably going to see Sam jump out He's there lucky that six is in the way. It's under, so she can't make the nine. If the nine moves, it's a bad hit. Well, well, if the nine moves first, guys, I'm not a ref. Right. Bank on a nine, baby. Oh, look at that beautiful camera work, baby. I can uh, effectively say, good hit. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Oy, I think I got to go five in the left. Because then mm. that brings the cue ball around underneath That's right. the six almost. If you miss the five, you might be okay. If you make the five, you might be okay. Exactly. Like that shot. Exactly. I think you just just commit, fully commit. Put the stroke on it. All right, so he's called for an extension. That's 30 seconds. He's got one of those per rack. He's going the opposite. He's mm. definitely aiming up opposite. Man, isn't he? that's a big old seven ball. Big. Huge. Yeah, it sure is. And the corner pocket awaits you, buddy. You got two yeah. of them, you got duck. You got to get all the way past where he is to get under that six. Yeah, you knew. He knew. A lot of body moving again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's his body saying, no. Yep. Don't shoot that. Sometimes if you see people f almost fall at the end of a shot, you know, what that I know this is obvious, but what it really tells you is they were never balanced, you know right. what I mean? Uh, right. And we all have those shots that you have to stretch out, and there's a point where you shoot right before you come back down, fall, yeah. call it whatever you want. But in general, you know, you, yeah, you don't want to see yourself doing that. Exactly. Come That's on, Phyllis. Right here, come Phyllis. on, Phyllis. No. No. See, mm-mm. He got you. Phyllis, you got to get out that trap. He got you hypnotized. Yeah, I think he back cuts the five and leaves it on the bottom rail. Small rail yeah, so but back. I'm saying oh, for listen. her, oh, I agree. she got to shoot, man. 100%. She got to shoot. 100%. 100%. It's three nothing. Yeah, exactly. You can't win ducking. Exactly. And you're speaking to a professional ducker. Yeah. Uh, going out swinging sounds like a cliche, but it's it's real. You know, cliches listen, are cliches for a reason. Listen, if we took you know, the Fargo you know. into it, She's getting outmoved three to one. And you're going to stay, continue to get outmoved because right. Steve Lingelbot plays that moving game. Right, right. You don't. You got to play to your strengths. We've also, she's proven she can, she can shoot. run out. Yeah. yeah. But he's putting her to where, you know, she's doubting herself. Because the only thing she's looking at is tough action. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, she's super entertaining, man. That was that was cool. Yeah, I, like I like things her. like that. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, exactly. It's the spirit of this event, too. So yes. it's nice when you have new yes. players that are just into the it. When spirit they, of it. When That's they pick right. it up, that none of us hate each other. Right. We're all neighbors, for God's sake. We've known each other 30 years, some of us. Nobody's mad at each other in this event. Right. And we're all, we also think this is really neat, and we think it's neat that Mike does this, and we're right. just thrilled to be involved. So yeah. there's a lot of good feelings in this event. No. Yeah. All right, so no Massey this time. He's jumping it. Oh, stop. <laughs> it's 
so not a lot of people use the top of the rails, but I mean, if you think oh. about it, I think it's 17% of the table is the top of the rails. So, so you don't jump and you use just, the rail and come back on nah, table and I, bump the next ball in order to get perfect? You don't do that? That don't happen? I'm sorry. My bad. I'm silly. What's Hannibal from A Team say? I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Oh, boy. He's, he's a, see? I'm going to point out after a shot like that, it's mm -hmm. so easy to dog it because you're so, you're patting yourself I'm on done. the back. Yeah. You can't help but think, hey, I'm that bad. was on the Check stream. Now I'll be able to watch that later. You know, there's going right. to be some thoughts in your head that you cannot That's help right. but have. That's right. So good for him. I love to miss my next shot while telling myself how amazing I am. <laughs> like, man, I'm, I'll tell you what, as a poopler, I'm one hell of a pooper. Oh, man, I'm awesome. Brick. I'm very good at this game. <laughs> I want none of this. Catch Rattle. This, catch this brick. I've missed before thinking, should I get back on my cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy put on a mask. Oh, this is a master class. Yeah. All right, right before that, we're going to run it back, y'all. All right, check out this yeah, jump let's from see Steve that Lingelbach. Oh, this is fantastic. Jeez. Sweat the action, guys. Went and got the pogo stick. I don't know what kind of jump cue he's using. The ones that make the balls. But, man, it's one that works. <laughs> That's what I'd say. The one Look that makes the ball. Watch this, guys. Look at this. I think he scratched for a second too. Dude, yeah. I, I think the cue ball went in the pocket for a second, and came right back out. Yeah. It, oh, it no, did. It, wow. it, it caught. It caught the back of the cup. Wow. Oh uh, wow. I do want to point out he landed the cue ball perfectly on that five ball. It hit really just yes, right did. before the five yes, ball. It did. You couldn't hit that much better. Mm. Now the rest was pure luck. Yeah. I'm not saying it wasn't, but uh, uh, he hit that great. You know what? Yeah. If I get to the table and I shoot and every ball go in, you let me get to the table. Yep. So yep. I'm not lucky. I forget who it is that says uh, luck is the resin of design. That's fact. And I and Poole really really plays that out. I believe. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Opportunity nice, nice. Nice, nice. She's had some good breaks. I yeah. She's just not getting the optimal layout. She has to make a super tough shot to get somewhere. Yep. You know, don't get there. It's rough. As a commentator, I've had matches where at the end I have told the loser, I got to be honest with you. That just didn't go your way. You played good. That just didn't go your way. I've got to be that honest happens. with you. This is a match for me where I think, well, it didn't really go your way. I right. mean, and, and then Steve ran out every time he could, or he played you really he tough every time up. he could. He uh, locked her up. You know. Yeah. He did. And you know what? This is called the Belichick defense. He took away what you do good. Right, right. That's what he did to her. Exactly. And it's her shot making. Yep, exactly. Now, here's a good thing about this slice. She cuts this two inch. She's going to break out that three ball. Yep. Unless she hits it so good, she goes right behind it or and don't right touch it. Seven, yeah, right? Go right into the seven. Yeah, she, so many things. Good things like can that. happen. Good things can happen. Boom. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. No, Here, I agree completely. Here's the thing, too, I want to tell Phyllis. The thing I love about your game, she's not losing her composure. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, I do. She's yes, still I do. very measured, yep. you know, very focused, yep. you know, lighthearted. Right. That, right. That's how you win. Right. No. My dad used to come to the pool hall and watch me gamble, 15, 16 years old. And he'd tell me sometimes, I know you're losing, but you're walking around the table looking like you're losing. And that can't be good. <laughs> you know, to exactly. stop doing that. Or quit the guy. You know what I mean? But yeah. you can't. You're dragging Don't your kid around. Yeah. You look mad. You know, and that's a composure thing that yeah. as a 15, 16 year old kid, I really did learn that. That if you can look at my match and tell who's winning or who's losing, I'm probably doing something wrong. Or my opponent's yeah. doing something wrong. My man, know? John Sloan, God rest him, he used to tell me, he said, You know what happens when you play pool mad? You just play pool mad. You don't get no better. You're just mad. Right. Yep. I'm like, you don't, you don't get better when you play mad? Right. No? Right, right. right. You're, not, you're not afraid of my mean face? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the times, too, what you're trying to tell yourself and everyone else is that you're so good, it's crazy that you just missed. And of it's course. not crazy. No, it's not crazy. I've said to people, 
Stop standing there staring at the table every time you miss like it's out of crazy. It's not crazy. You shot that ball. You miss sometimes, man. Exactly. People stand there shocked. Right. All right. Oh, now this is this is not an easy shot for Steven. Yeah. Art C. Hawker, the same person that did the Oregon shirts. <laughs> That's a little joke, bro, bro. But you know who did them. You want to look jam up? You play jam up. So yeah. it must be jam up. Yeah. Right behind that eight, that's where you're going to be jammed up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my gosh. Come on, man. Okay, so here's the thing about that shot is if you dog it, you leave him straight, straight on the side in, pocket. Exactly. And he just had to trust that he wasn't going to do that. Full confidence, And that bro. takes some real skill. Full confidence. The speed of that shot is leaving the six ball right there. You yeah. can't not leave the six at that speed. Yeah. You just got to make sure to tuck the cue ball in. So good for Steven. Now, I haven't said that. Phyllis, come on. Kick it in. Two rails, kick it straight and die. Boom. Oh. That's tough to do. You got 10 chances. <sighs> so again, As Mike D time would I'll... say, sometimes things just don't go your way. That, that's exactly it, man. That's exactly it. Yeah. Steve Lingelbach leaves you that on the live stream or cup. You, you, you know. Exactly. There's only so much you can do. Right. I like that he got inside of the seven because it'll take him outside of the eight. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. And then being a little outside of the eight, it'll be easy to draw mm -hmm. back. Exactly, bro. Be able to use the rail to get back a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, or he can use top right and come around. Mm -hmm. He's got options. Yeah. He's got action here. Um, personally, when I use top right on this shot, my odds of rattling the eight go up. Oh, yeah. If I use bottom left and pop it in, yeah. my odds of making you, it when go, you, go when up. When you shoot you know? them balls with all that juice, you have to smooth that ball in. Sal Butera said that to me all, all, so many times. He said, you got to smooth them in and let the axe. See, he, he, he didn't smooth that ball in. If he smoothed it in, that ball rolls. He punched it. Hit it with the Mike Tyson. Yep. Now you got eh, you got an iffy shot on a nine I've, rather than I've, being clean always, on the line. I've always said that the big difference between valleys and diamonds is valleys, you have to punch it, and diamonds hate it when you punch it. Yeah. If you punch on a diamond and hit that inside long rail first, it does not go. Facts. Cinco. Cinco. Man. Wow. That's somebody handling their business right there. Man. All right. Man. Is that 3-3? Three, three? We got 3-3 three, three action. Oh, boy. Race to two. What you want to do? Come on. Oh. Mm. Oh, no. Where a little ball go? Hold on, this guy just lost my. You see it, little blue ball? To my mouse. Scott's doubles coming up. You know what? People are not used to uh, the level of professionalism <laughs> that Hannah has in the. Oh, thank you. Calm and tatty. But I'll get him used to it. So this Scott's doubles match. It's a big one. I'm looking to try to make it happen. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back.
Yes, yes, y'all. We got action. Doubles action. Oh, boy. It's going to be a good one, bro. All right. So let's see. This is, this is a some heavyweight action here, buddy. Leach, who's Big Daddy? Is that James DeV? James DeV nickname must be Big Daddy. Wow. In the house, All Mike right. D's in the building. Hello, everybody. I'm glad to be back again. Thank you. It's an honor to be commentating with Raw Hannah. It's an honor to be sitting here with the worldwide super famous Mike D. Thank you, Raw. I appreciate that. I love it when Rick, when uh, I've seen Rick say to so many people at events, hey, do you know he's introducing me to some? Do you know the world famous Mike D? And they feel so horrible because they're like, I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> he's world famous. Huh? <laughs> Rick is alive. I seriously felt bad for people sometimes. Yeah. They're like, I'm sorry, I don't. What TV show are you from? I'm like, right. yeah, nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. All right. Here we go. So the overall score is three to three. Yeah. We are racing to five, unless they tie it at four. Exactly. Has Phyllis played um, Chris? I don't think oh, so. Oh, that, that'd, that'd, that'd be good. Day two, yeah. yeah. Yes. Sometimes in the future, we'll have that match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what Paul likes. So Fargo says that uh, uh, Washington has the advantage in this set. And again, an upset is upsetting. So if, if Team Oregon can can upset that, that would right. be a big deal. And I know Mr. Marquez is looking for some get back for sure. Definitely. He's looking for some get back. Yeah, definitely. All right, so... If they give this back, it will be Phyllis's turn. I suspect they're going to 
they back. gave it right back. Yeah. All right, so I, I believe that that is Joe's turn when he says he gives it back. So it will be uh, James DeVee's turn next. Gotcha. Yeah, could you give up your turn? Right, because his turn was saying, I don't want to turn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My turn is saying, in, I don't want to turn. In, in pressure-filled Scotch doubles, it's pretty nice to say, nah, I'm good. Thanks. You go ahead. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and that was the problem with it. It didn't yep. really bank. Oh, boy. And it wasn't a great hook. Oh, boy. Oh Let me see that. Wow. Let me see that. Is oh that free lunch, Mike D? Yeah, Mike it's D? free lunch. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, one, I don't think it goes. Two, it definitely goes off the seven ball down Bro. there by the corner. Bro. <laughs> so I don't like that. Um, Bro. Yeah, that looks like. This is scary. It looks like it could happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's not dead, but no. it goes. It's not dead, but it's on life support. It goes like four different ways, too. Oh, <laughs> and James DeVee plays pretty good, too. Banky. Oh. oh. Hey, I'm just going to say it. Team Oregon uh, uh, dodged a bullet right there. Yeah. They just straight up did. Yeah. All right, now it's time to get your composure. All Look right. Sim Simmer D's Brown said, I got James and Joe on this one. No way these two get beat. What's up, Sim Simmer's down? He's a good guy. Sim Simmer's good? Yep, yeah, I've hung out with him a bit. Yeah, That's he's a good fella. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Some juice. Nice. I like that she trusted Paul hey, enough to leave the right. shot. That's yeah. the biggest deal in the world. That's what you're supposed to do. Seriously. Yeah. If your partner can't make that, your captain picked the wrong dude. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Yeah. You know, seriously. Yeah. No, I Don't screw up saying. everything to not leave your partner this shot. So good for them. That's good. I like to settle. Yep. Yeah, he hit that ball good. Uh, because of his uh, martial arts experience, uh, he's his stance is always really good. He's always really balanced. Oh, he sits settled. there in a horse stance all day? No, 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 no. But that's I'm sure he's good at that <laughs> one. But uh, no, he just always you know I mean? he's always settled. Balanced. He doesn't move too fast. Yeah, exactly. So he's physicality. He's always pretty good. Taekwondo guy. Uh, uh, uh karate. Uh, 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 he's a super duper black belt sensei guy. Yeah, he can wow. make you a black belt. He can award right. you a black belt. He has that kind of power. No, this guy kicks you in the head for fun. No thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Sweet. Uh -oh. little uh -oh. love bump, little love oh, okay. bump, little okay. love bump. Okay. He just wanted to help get the seven off the rim. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I would say him and Chris, he and Chris are having a good uh, chemistry. Yeah. Don't bump the nine on the way back. Yeah. Uh, don't scratch. Um, yeah. Oh, it's going to come off the rail. rail. <laughs> Ron and I are thinking the same thing. Exactly. Because right. you're on that rail, then the cue ball can only go yeah. one way. Yeah. Top spin. Now, Lingelbach, when he had a shot like this a minute ago, he oh, slammed it and came around the table. Yeah, that was nasty. I don't know if Paul's going to do that. I don't think yeah. so. I think he might just fall to the top rail. Almost if you, what were you, if you stiff this eight ball, the cue ball will float right over right. to the left by the side pocket. But you got to really stiff it. You got to hit this ball. G double O D. Serious for real. You cut this in the side real. pocket. You gotta hit it good, buddy. That's a back cut in the side. I, you know I, what I though? Know. The advantage though, you get the cue ball where you want. You know what I mean? You let it float, and that cue ball is just gonna come running. It's gonna naturally come back. It's gonna up. come That's running, sure. Mike D. Oh, it's gonna good come off running. The rail. Good, it's great gonna come speed. running, Mike. Good speed, Paul. Good speed, Kaz. Once again, Chris. Check out the scratch in the side pocket. Oh. Just look at it. Uh, Make sure you. Paul, do by it. the way, plays really good scotch doubles. Uh, he's had some real success. That's what you need. This will be a boost in the ego. You make this one. This will be a boost in the ego. You make that one. Lingelbach also uh, good oh, yeah. at scotch. He's won some scotch titles. Uh, yeah. And I have him playing the another scotch later on. Mm. Yeah. 
appreciate that, Sim Simmers. It's all good. Yeah, I've got to hang out a bit with Sim Simmers at the coast. There you go. Hung out with Ed Slade, I believe. Yeah, that was strong. All right, we are at the legendary Legends Billiard Room. Catfish Lou, come down, have some breakfast, have some food, listen to a dope band, and then check out our sponsor, Diamond Mind, John Scudder Table Sales. John Scudder doing John Scudder things. What a fantastic guy. We got some business happening. Our Q sponsor, Jay Peach, our custom cues, Super Style Dude Forever, and the man behind the man with the man with the plan, Mike Littman. Changing the way you see billiards, baby. Let's go. It's the way forward. Definitely. Well said. What a great break that was, man. Break. This guy got the. Can you sell me this break, man? Seriously, no. He's huh. hitting good. No, he is. Oh, boy. Hello, eight ball. <laughs> Hello, eight ball. See, now this is the. That's, that's the James DeVee simple safe I'm talking about. Exactly. Right there. Yeah. I got you. I got you. That was so... Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But it could be his level of execution, too. Right, right, right. right you right, know right, what I mean? Right, 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 I'm just saying that he didn't try and get the cue ball close to the seven so I Paul can't you. jump it. He didn't try to create distance. Not, he didn't do any of that. He just made sure he played safe. He just safe. made sure you're blocked on both mm -hmm. sides of the two and eh, do your best. Yeah. You might get a little luckier. Bank one rail. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's a rule about that. you got to hit the lowest number ball on the table, so that's a foul. <laughs> Probably a lot of you know that, but just in case. That's right. Joe, back up at the table. Uh, is that a – I don't follow sports. Is that a Texas glove? Is that a football glove? I don't know. Maybe he says – No, oh, maybe it's a Star Trek glove. No, that looks like a – Am I making fun of the other team? No. I feel like I'm making fun of the no, other team. No, you're not. He All just right. had the glove. It looked like a three-seconds glove, but it probably not. All right. We could find out. Somebody in the chat room tell me what kind of glove Tony's wearing. Oh. A little short. You know the thing about this? You can go forward. You don't even have to kill yeah. it that much. Yeah, I do like the shot with bottom draw, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It throws it into the pocket. Right. And yeah, and it'll get shaved. You don't have to kill it, yeah. though. Yeah, right. You can let it drip like that. Mm -mm. Put a little much on that, and it, it tightened up the two ball. Right. Oh boy. Hey, man, this is a big opportunity for Team Oregon. If they can get uh, two on the board, yeah. that would be a big deal. Now, getting from the four to the five is not easy. You got to – listen, I always say this. You can hear me say this. Get Burt Kenister's tape, old school. It's a hanger. He tells you how to get shape on balls when the ball is hanging. And that's good advice. Knows, yeah. Yep. Yes. Thank you, Michael. All right, my junior's – Joey Tate is in the quarterfinals, and Landon and Trent White are still in. Oh, that's exciting. Thanks, Michael. Puerto Rico, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Mike, I just need one. We just need one. One American. Just just get a medal. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> good shot. No, nah, that's a good one. That's a good, good one right shot, there. Paul. Oh, no. Oh, he, oh, he, he, he bumped the, the six. Mm. Can't do that. You can't give two <laughs> two demons ball in hand to get it started. Oh that yeah, that was that was big right there. Huge. You give the shooters who like to shoot, you let them shoot. Yep. It's also not only is this confidence builder, but it's literally a time to warm up. You know, you, you're right. sitting sometimes for four hours in between right. matches in this format. Yep. It, just getting up on the table to be able to hit some balls feels good. He's looking to cheat this to the right. He's looking to cheat that to the right to get the cue ball out there. I will say again, when people are missing shots like that, just please keep in mind that, you know, you're sitting for hours waiting to play. You're nervous as heck. And then when you get up, you feel dead cold. Of course you do. You do. You feel dead cold. So, I mean. Of course you do. I like, I like the thought process of when you're sitting in the electric chair, you follow the balls around so you gauge the speed in your table and you feel like you're always shooting. Yep. You say, okay, I'm going to shoot Ask yourself, six. what would I do? Exactly. I yep, exactly. Keep yourself engaged. I think you'll also find Whoa. the more you the more you're feeling at ease with the table. How about that? Thoughts. How that about that shot, Mike? That was an amazing shot. How about that? And she got Kez's shape? Yep. Okay. Now, he needs to go out this uh, uh, Shane style. So go go up, down, yeah. back up to shape on the nine. 
two rails for shape on that. I don't, don't try and hold it up at I all. I was going to say, yeah, because that'll get you in a drink. He overcut it. He overcut Ouch. it. Oh, boy. Ouch. Ouch. You, Ouch. You know what happens? You know what happens, Mike D? Uh. Sometimes it's a transference of the energy. Chris just got up there and made a shot that Kez would shoot. Yes, yes. And yes, now Kez, yes, you know yep, what I mean? Yep, yep. I agree with you. Yes, that yep. definitely happens. That yes, happens. That definitely that happens. Happens. Yep. That's right up there with celebrating early is actually a problem. And you're like, oh, it's not a problem. Then you do it and lose, and you're oh, like, yeah. I know what the problem was. I oh, celebrated yeah. too early. Exactly. The guy watched me celebrate too early. Yeah. Yeah, and it changed everything. It was like, oh, yeah, boy, right. I know no, you're happening. right. And, and in Scotch, you can switch can reverse. You can exactly. reverse position sometimes. Easy. Miss something you're supposed to make. All right, it's 1-1. One, one, racing to five. Paul Marquez and Chris Robbins versus James DeVee and Joe Tamora. I say if there's any lesson to these ones, what I what you need to get is is the underdog. You can't miss the easy ones. Is you the cannot underdog, do that. You got to make every one you're supposed to make. And it. make some and steal some. Yes. It's yes, just like yeah, if you play um, alternate break. Yeah. You yeah. got to you got to yeah, you got to break your opponent's one. serve. Yeah. You got to steal a game. Yeah. yeah. All these guys are too good to you give it back to them. It's over. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a cool shot. Right. Right there. You know, we do our best here on here. You did a good job. You did a real good job. I heard you got to go to a Blazer game. Yeah, that was fantastic. What? Thank you, Mike. I heard D. you like that. Yeah, I heard it you was like dope. that, man. That's cool, It right? was dope. That's yeah, cool, go man. Blazers. That's cool, man. Dude was behind us screaming, ref, you. Oh, he was killing it, man. <laughs> He, he was killing it, bro. It was hilarious. My, my mom had season tickets, and she sat next to a guy that had season tickets, and this guy used to yell, horse water. That was his way of not cussing because there's kids there. He'd yell, that's horse water. That's, <laughs> he'd just scream it. Yeah. yeah people, oh, I like man. that. I like the event, man. <laughs> I like the funny. people around it. Yeah. That's yeah, funny. Yep. Uh, it's an affordable night out, too. It's not. Yeah. Uh, depending on what seat you get, that can be a pretty affordable night out, too. All right. That's probably a good smart shot. Bumped the two over. He definitely yep. wants to remember uh, just like smart. last time, though, to make him shoot again. Smart. They're not giving this back. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they gave it to her. Yeah, she's going to hurt their feelings right here. You just got to realize where you're at. The bank is blocked. You're not cutting this ball in without letting the cue ball loose. So you just, you just play a little bunt pull. Take your chances. I like trying for the cut because when you yeah. miss it, it bounces Bring the back ball to back. where it is exactly. and the cue ball gets yeah. far away. She just had to put a little more juice on. She had the right idea. Yeah. Just had to execute. I find with that one, I cut it as thin as I can. I miss it nine out of ten times, but then I cut it so thin it bounces back to where it was right. kind of. So, yeah, right. it's like a, a safety counting on the fact that I'm not very good. <laughs> 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 I'm definitely dogging this. I'm dogging with style. Right. All right, this ain't an easy shot right here. Yeah, show me some Stroke City. Okay. All right. He says... Uh, work. He's got James to be in yeah, the partner. You can that's what I'm saying. Some green, exactly. I guess. He says James likes his shot. There's nothing. No hill for a climber. He's going to have to shoot this with a good touch, and that will make this shot a little more awkward. Wow. How would he hit it? Just know that that was, seriously, that was harder than it looked. You backing up here, or are you going Dude. forward? I'm backing up. I'm okay. backing up. Uh, so we mean apply yeah. some draw so he shoots yeah. it. Or probably Bottom where right. his hand is and let yeah. the ball bounce yeah. out. Yeah. I'm with you, though. I wanted more draw. I wanted yeah. to hit the rail. I wanted to come out. See, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Joe is a good shooter, but he, he you can tell he's a rhythm player. You know, because all, all the shape that he's playing is for when you're dialed in. When you're playing Scotch doubles and you don't get that many innings at the table, you got to play ABC pool yep. until yep. you get the car started. Yeah. See, I, 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 I have a similar thing where a, a rhythm player, to me, looks like they're trying to start a motorcycle, oh, yeah. and they keep trying to kick it That's started. Right. And you can tell when it's working. When, but when it starts, it's, it goes. It's, yeah. it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's we fantastic. Get it, but, yeah. but when it doesn't go, you're like, oh, man. And, yeah, I can see him. Not rushing, but he's he's trying to keep that same trying speed going so yeah. he can fall into stroke. Exactly. And that's tough to do, especially in an event like this. That's right. That's why we play, though. Look at this young lady, man. She is hitting him, boy. She's been playing really She's solid. Hitting him. She's really like, come on, Marquez. Yeah. And it's almost like you're putting unnecessary pressure on Paul. 
all just has to be Paul. Right. Right. Don't try to leave your your partner a hanger. Right. Don't right. Try, just play pool. Yep. No, I agree. Right. Yep. He knows. He's a sensei, so he knows that. Yeah, and she has not gotten the oh the rewards of playing. Oh good boy. Yeah. See, Mike D. Yeah, I do. I'm see telling you, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you. You you're trying to you you're trying to help her too much. She can shoot. Let her let her shoot. Right. Okay, so I think now's a good time for a timeout. Um, yeah. Because uh, we might as well talk because it's over anyway. We, you know, we can talk about the weather, what you yeah. want for lunch, <laughs> but I'd take a timeout. And then I'm going to hope that she's going to rub that nine, leave it on the bottom, middle of the oh, bottom, man. short oh, rail. Oh, go on. And send the so cue ball. Yes, I like that. Up, maybe two rails, you know, in a perfect world, two rails all the way up yep. to the top rail. That's but the problem exactly. is the harder you hit it, the, the more nine gonna ball's going to bounce. Right. So you gotta now, find. here's the thing. She's going to go three rails this way. Thin the nine and go one, two, three, back up table. This is difficult. Yeah. Watch for the nine to barely move, guys. She almost got no scrunchy. See now, good that the timeout could come in really handy at a time like that because you can discuss what you want to do. Because I know Paul probably didn't love going at it like that. So. Right. Yeah, well, here's so, the thing. All right, my money's on James to be. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Beth five. <laughs> I just throw my wallet out on the like, table. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? If you discount both sides giving games away, it'd be right where this game is right now. Yes, I agree. Still super tight. Yeah. The lesson to be learned in that, you know? You got to come back the next day and be like, hey, man, what did I do? That was janky. Right, right. Let me don't do that right, again. Exactly. Let me don't do it again. That's it. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, Nicole said it. You're missing a great atmosphere here if you don't come and see it in person. I know it's good on the net. You know, thank you guys for saying we're doing a great job, but... I'm telling you, you'd feel the energy in this room. It's uh, it's palpable. Oh, I completely agree. I completely agree. Yep. All right, James to be breaking. He's got the new blue uh, BK3. Mm, nice. I assume it also unscrews to be the jump cue. Although I do not find it particularly useful as a jump cue. Right. All right, cut break. Nice, look at that. That's pro. Stick it. I like he, I like he. I think he likes it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Brian. Yeah, for sure, Brian. We, we wish you come down too, man. It's a great time. Definitely. I and think you just pocket the one and get back up towards the three. Yeah, it's a fantastic venue, man. We're having a great time here. Oh, they worked hard setting this up, too, and I know you were a part of that, but I just, you know, <laughs> yeah. I thanked uh, Michelle Bean for letting Michelle us do Michelle Bean it, you know is I mean? super solid. I got to converse with her for, like, two hours when you guys weren't oh, nice, here. Nice, and nice, And she's nice. going to, she's giving me some good tips to help me with my business. Oh, really? Yeah, she's super solid like that. Yeah, so I like it. And we're talking about um some... Some junior type things up here in Oregon. I like over here, man. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Good. I like I've, it. That's why I've been trying to get you down here. We got you did. Such a I'm good gonna community. say I'm, I'm gonna I'm and gonna, you were within I'm gonna driving call distance. it, I'm I was like, call man, it out. Ron. Mike D, for sure, he did. He told me he said, man, you should come and do the coast and this and that and come on through and whatever. You know, yeah, things happen. Definitely, you know, man. but yeah, it's cool. No, we need you here, man. We do. We need you. We need professionalism. Two rails into the bottom of the three is what I think. Never mind. That's a good hit. Wow, that was a hard That's way That's a good hit. hit. If it gets oh, to the man. rail, it's, it's yeah. golden. Oh, 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 oh. That's Chris golden right there, like boy. It. Yes. Yep. That's right, Charles Ashcraft. Two ball in hands to get it. Mr. Tomorrow, what you got, baby? He said, I got some of this. What you want? Okay, it leaked out, mm. but that was a good try. Uh, that's an example of what I was talking about when Steve did that shot earlier. And oh, it was, yeah. You know, you, you leak out. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. And and you're especially leak out if you're not used to doing that. Right. 
All right, the three cuts in the side, but yeah. it ain't easy, and there's not a lot of shape you know for the what? five afterwards. I'm going to so quote Mike D. I'm going to cut this ball in the side, and you figure out what to do with the next one. <laughs> just don't hook me. I'm yeah, just not going to hook, hook you. Me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you know That's what I mean? That's real. That is yeah. real. Look at her, boy, with a thinking cap on. Yes. She got him. Yeah, she got shot. him. James DeVee going to have to show us some of that. Yeah. Now, that's my idea of James DeVee safe right, right. there. Because it's like, well, he's going to hit it. What's the problem? Yeah, but then what? Exactly. Seriously, those simple safes, especially on a nine-foot. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when people are under pressure. They'll win you games. Yes. I agree. <laughs> They'll win you games. It's an opportunity <laughs> not. Seriously. Uh, honest to God, that's the guy that taught me that watching James DeVee three years ago at Sam's do that to us. Here we go. All right, I like how she's, I like this, because bottom right, off the rail, bounce out a little bit. He's nice on the six, the seven is nice. Mm -hmm. Just got to pocket the balls. This is another example of, you know, just take what's given to you. Yeah. She's hitting them. That's a shot. That's a strokey right there. Yeah. That was a shot with a touch, too, right exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, she, she threw that in a little bit. Yeah, Bo. Yeah. We agree. That pressure is a, is tough, man. That's a thing. And being able to play your game under pressure, that's what makes you a champion. That's a good hit. That was a great that's hit. A good that's hit. a good hit. That's a great hit. Because you want to try to put it to where nowhere, no, no matter how you make the ball, that I know I'm going to have a shot. Don't try to stop it. Just make it. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I want to do on this shot is punch it with draw, <laughs> with stop. <laughs> yeah. But the side pocket doesn't nah, look like that. You the just diamond gotta, side, you, you got to float it. Just make this yeah, ball. You just got to float it. And, and leave trust your partner. Some sort of shot on the trust your partner. Yep. Trust like that. your partner. Like that. How she That's hit it. all you can do. So how she so hit it. Yep. Perfectly. Yep. Perfectly. Now, Paul yeah. Marquez, he he has to take that pressure off himself that he's the better player and just shoot. Yep. And exactly. he can do it. Exactly. Cake. Yeah. <laughs> Paul seemed relieved that he yeah. made that. He's like, God, and dog it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I've been there. Right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I've been there. There it is. That's how you get it done. That's how you get it done, baby. Two, two, and a race to five. Three to go. Come on. This would be a match where this would be a big upset if uh, uh, yes. Morgan could pull this off. Even yes. being uh, tied up at 2-2 two, two is big. Oh, yeah. So, no, good no. for them. They, they are, they're fighting. Yeah. That's what you have to do. Yeah, Nick, what's up with you, bro? You my main man. That's all right, Nick. You know, you know, you know it'd be right on the YouTube. You can you can watch it later. You can run it back on Facebook. I got you, my brother. Some banter out there. I love it. Yep. I love it. My man Nick Patrick, one of my solid followers man this okay, guy okay. is yeah he's good oh that's cool man. i have such a good chat room i'm tell you yeah, i got that's good cool, people man. that's cool we keep it adult this is tvma uh, right. except for my juniors i make it youth yeah yeah 14 right yeah, yeah. that's right all right so i got she's breaking the same as steve maybe he showed her something <laughs> Aren't we fancy? Wowzers. <laughs> hey. Yeah, hey, baby. Works, do it, huh? Yeah, baby. Great shot. All right. I, I think he's got to hit this with right hand English to, to right. get shape. He just has to, I'd say chance it, but he's just right. got to shoot it. You got to watch that six ball, though. Keep you up table. Yeah. Leave her a longer shot. What? 
boy. We'll let you know they do serve alcohol here, guys. <laughs> Pretty much got to go one rail into this two ball with yeah. medium to hard speed to create you, separation. You got you need separation. Yeah, and you 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 hope you might bank this in the corner. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what? She hit it. Yep. Yeah, and the way that played out, I mean, you know, this is not as the easiest shot yeah. that Joe's ever looked at. I guarantee you that. Right. And Joe's, you know, Joe's feeling like, man, I, give me a straight shot so I can get started. Right. Oh, stop it, Joe Tamora. Nice stop shot, it, bro. Joe. That was clean. Yeah. That was clean, man. Uh, James looking good for pocketing this three and getting shape on the four. <laughs> I like a stop shot here. Yeah. Yeah, because then he can make the four and come exactly. all the way around. Come all, yeah, exactly. Yeah, two or three Some, rails. I, I, I like the ball. three rails. Take yeah. it off. Yep, exactly. You know? And you can let your stroke out, which yeah. I know he's been dying Especially to do. Especially with the seven sitting by the side pocket. Yeah. Basically, you leave him straight in on yeah. the six. You're good. You just don't want to come under the seven. Right. You want to be above it. Right. All right. Well, that was... See, this will, happen. this will happen, so it's something that they should note. He 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 plays good on single bus when he can dictate the pace. When he has to assume the pace, it's tough. It's not as good. That's right, Nicole. I said speak up. That's right. This isn't this is this isn't nice. golf. I want to hear people. Let's go. All right, so this is an example of what I'm saying when I say the underdog got it. You got to take everything that they give to you. Shoot. It's important to get all the way out and make it 3 2. Right. Now, if she puts a little bit on it, she can get away from the tangent. You just don't want to bump that nine and get squirrely on the seven. That was smart. Now, if Paul's going to really want to try and early for a little bit of angle on this eight ball, which is not super easy to do. We'll see how he makes it happen. Nah, he's got to handle there it. That's a good move. Goes, that's I exactly see. It. See, yep. now what he did that's was it. he made sure that when she makes the eight, the cue ball will be coming down table. Exactly. That's exactly. what he's been doing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, we should see a lot about uh, that from Lingelbach when he plays scotch. Too. For sure. He's really good at guiding the guiding through cracks. Yeah. Right. It's almost like if you were a good straight pool player, you'd be a good Scots player. Right, right, right. Except if you're Jason Shaw. That guy don't play straight pool right. That guy's just like, see a ball, make a ball. What you, what you talking about? Six pockets, side pocket. It's perfect. Perfect. Jason Shaw. <laughs> Six good. pockets, bro. Oh, Jason Shaw? Yeah, he's very good. I also like him as a person. He travels with his wife and his kid. Nobody ever really talks about that. You know, you see him with his family at these events. Nobody says anything. That's a good guy right there. Yeah. I've, I've gone on trips with my family, pool trips, and it's hard to concentrate. Oh, ho, ho. All right, well, like I said, as the underdog, it's yeah. important to give the ones that are given to you. Yeah, you got to take know. them, man. Yeah. You can't leave these guys. You can't leave these guys free lunch. Yep. Can't leave them free lunch. All and right. I'm telling you, if I'm Paul, Paul, if I'm, if you hear me, bro, you already know what you're doing. You got to take that big weight off your back and just play. And don't worry if you make it or you miss it, whatever. But your team is dependent on you to just play like you. You don't have to be anybody else but Paul Marquez at this moment. So they're dependent on you. So. You have to dig deep, buddy. Yep, exactly. Got to dig deep. All right, so three, two, race to five. Uh, Washington has the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, we are at uh, in game count. What are we at? Uh, three, three, right now. Yeah. So uh, yep. three, three overall. Excuse yeah, overall. me. Three, three overall in the race to five. nine. Right. Oh, right, yeah, and then you. in this race to five that we're watching right now, we're three to two with Washington ahead. No, for today to end. Yes. Race to five. Nice 
nice break. He got that break wired, bro. And look at this little love bump. Look at that love uh, bump on the one. Dress up, Judy. We going out. <laughs> Joe gets the, <laughs> the best breaker award, man. Yes, he I'll does. tell you what. Yeah. So James DeVee, maybe he's going to put the cue ball, make the one, and then get the cue ball where the six is for the two mm. in the corner. We'll see how That's some nasty this. steering, bro. He got cheat that pocket. Lovely. This guy's game was so good. How Seriously. about this? How about this, um, Mike? Mm -hmm. How about Joe leaves, I mean, James DeV leaves Joe tough shots to get him in gear. <laughs> right. right. And tells him to hurry up. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes that might do it. No, you're right. You're you get right. a bunch of tough shots and you're yeah. a shooter. You're yes. like, oh, yeah. Yep. Let me bump this seven and get correct. Yep. Oh, look at this smart guy. Ball is up. There's nothing to like about this shot, but a little swerve action. Yeah, he does not have his jump cue. Mm -hmm. i got to say he's going to swerve around this, mainly because he knows he can hit the rail first if it doesn't. There's a few ways you can make right. this ball. One is hitting the rail first, and one is hitting the two ball first. So. You just don't want to duck it up. Don't, don't hit the point and hit the point. Left him an easy one rail or butt. He didn't leave him an easy right in the hole. So. He left him an easy bank with built in safety. Yep. He can shoot at this with impunity. Yep. He don't have to fire at it. He just take this little duck. Actually firing at That's it what I mean. makes this happen. Yeah. Yeah, right, which is what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but had he gone medium speed. Exactly. Where the key he ball would, is, he, yeah. You make yeah, it, you have got a partner a shot on a three and you can get out. Yeah. Come on, Chris. I, I got to say top right on this to get above the three ball for the three ball on the bottom left. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you got to come with a shot, it doesn't quite work That's out. That's what know, we but, were you know. thinking before, yeah. you know. Lucky this ball's a little off angle or you'd be glued right to the five. Right. There is no reward in making this two ball, buddy. If I'm Joe tomorrow, I'm screenshotting this shot right here, put it on my Facebook. <laughs> I'm printing it out, put it on my wall at Walgreens, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. See? Smart. Now Mr. Marquez is going to crazy glue back to the five, give his partner a chance to win. Yeah, I would imagine that he's going to really try and get that, just like you're saying, that so, ball to so really you lay draw, on the five. Draw a drag and let it spin up. A little draw a drag. roll like that. Oh, no. Mm. Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. Ugh. It happens sometimes. He uh, knows. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, he's like, yeah, man, yeah. you're lucky. Now, DeVee is going to back cut this ball right I in. really think so. Yeah, he's swinging. He's going to back cut it. Swinging. What? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got James DeVee not playing this game. <laughs> he said, I'm looking for opportunity. Hey, Mike D. Yeah, yeah. How about you thin this two ball, run your cue ball right down table by that nine ball? Yep, exactly. Yeah, put it on the on the diamond underneath that nine maybe, ball. Your odds of, of Maybe having I get lucky and I good. make the nine. Right, yeah, there's that too, I guess, yeah. No, I like that move a lot. Maybe I get lucky and make the nine. Maybe I get lucky and make the nine. Oh, man. Stop. Oh, that was crazy. Come on. Crazy. Come on, son. Come on, Mike Rock D. Rock counting it. Right, you should got that on replay. That almost happened, man. <laughs> Come on, Mike D. That was right there, dog. Wasn't that a good shot? That was, yes, that was a great mm. shot, man. I was like, man, you float that over there. Get on that nine, get free cheese, bro. The danger about this one, one extension. Yep. you could go right in a drink here. Yep, yep. A lot of times that mass sale will make it go right in. And if you, if you get the little double kisser, you don't need that. See? The yep. little double kiss. Boop, yep. boop. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, good hit. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Great hit. Here comes Paul. Paul just has to remember that he is Paul Marquez. Right. 
That's all you need. Yeah, no, I agree. Just remember you're Paul Marquez. Yes, I agree. <laughs> nah, Lee, I'm going to be wrong as many times as I'm right, so. But um, I see them little weird shots, man. That's what APA 2s do. You right, see so, those shots. So they're out of extensions now. Yeah. Uh, each team has used one, and they're you know one per rack. You know what? Ain't nothing wrong with this bank, Mike. Yeah, I agree, but they've been playing so conservative. I'm so then what you're going to thin and go bank and thin and go back up by the nine? How about that? And you know what? Good shot, Paul. You know what? Swing it. Right. Yeah. Swing that yeah. bank yeah. and run the cue ball right back to the nine. Uh-oh. Look what she's looking at. Mm. Let me look at this <laughs> nine ball. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that free money uh -huh. hanging out. Mike, you really want to play it? Oh, you double bad. bank to three. Yeah, right. Yeah, two rails. Yes, yes. So you can keep it flatter. Yep. Yeah. That nine ball's moving, buddy. You ready? Three, three. Click, click. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oh, she got she the got lucky. Yeah, he can still see the ball. He can mm -hmm. still see the three, but I don't think he can see the full oh, no. ball. He can see the three um, just enough to hurt himself. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if he'll try and go one way. Oh, that's ugly, bro. What you going to do there? I'm probably going to try and bank it because I don't have any safes. I love bank it to the bottom left. What? Or two rails. I ain't going to let you do that with your wallet, Mike. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably bank this. All right. Yeah. Mainly because I don't feel great about any safeties, man. I, you know. How about that safety? Oh, man. That was, that was pretty good. His speed is ridiculous. Uh-oh. Uh oh <sighs> Marquez, two rails thin outside of the three, run the cue ball down by the nine ball and tell you to get there, sucker. Yeah. But, oh, wow. I'm surprised you didn't take that. That's a hard shot to not take for a one-pocket player. You're trained to trick yourself into thinking mm -hmm. you can make that, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I like what they're doing. They say, I'm not going to make a mistake. Right, exactly. <laughs> Free cheese. That's right, Margaret. Free cheese. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh. No. You flinch first. See, you know that's not his game. Right. right. You know. No, you're right. You're right. You know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes, you're right. Yeah. And I got yep. you ducking. Right. And my shooter's coming up. Right. We stealing this game. Right. Right. We stealing this one. It's 3-3. Three, three. Let's go. Stealing this game, buddy. Stealing this game, right, Mike so, D. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but when you're the underdog, it's important that you get every game that they <laughs> give to you. So this is a very important game. For me. This is very important. I'd really like to you see have not mentioned that. Out. You haven't mentioned <laughs> okay, that, Mike. I'm wanna, just you letting know, you know. You have not words. mentioned that in right. the last 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Marquez. How come he just leave his side pocket and go around? Here we go. Margaret Goodman, that's my buddy. Fantastic Bigger's artwork. Oh, I like Margaret Goodman a lot, yes. She's super fantastic. She was sharing the U.S. Open stream while we was working. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, she's good people. Yeah. I like her a lot. Yeah. You know what, Mike? Mm. This looks like you're going to run right to that line. You're going to run right into that line. You're going to run right into that line. Who's ever coaching Chris? She does everything good. Just go check the tangent. My 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 good friend Stoneface would be like, that scratch been there all, all day. day. Right, yeah. Yep. When you got up this morning, it was there. When you go to bed go tonight, to bed, it'll be it's there. there. Yeah. Yep. Wake up tomorrow, it's going to be there. Yep. Yep. When your all dad right, used to play was there. Exactly. Yeah. Washington on a hill. Oh. Mm. This day, I will call this missed opportunity day. Yeah. That's what it's, it's yeah. uh, running down to. A bunch of missed opportunities each way, trying to make it happen. But when you are the underdog, you got to close that square. Oh, you just do it. Yeah, you just do it. Somebody gives you a gift, you got to take it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to make the three railer. You don't have no. to make the double jump shot. No. You, just, you know, when you got a four ball out, you got to get You got to take it. You got to get yeah. out. <laughs> right on, Margaret. 
You guys make sure you check out her artwork. She's fantastic. I've got a, she painted a tuba. I, I uh, commissioned a piece of art from her. Did you ball. commission a I piece did, of and art? She, and she painted me a two ball. There you go. Uh, the, my, my pool room's called Day Two Billiards because uh, you make it to Day Two. Get the cash. Uh, Paul Marquez named the pool room, actually. Uh, yeah, so she painted me a two ball. Yeah. And it's up there right now, Margaret. Margaret's awesome. Uh, we got Bob Olson here. Bob Olson has a whole set of her cards. That's my man, Bob Olson. Uh, is great, On his dude. wall in his pool room. Uh, Tony uh, from Hustlin', one of my friends, has got uh, the king and queen in his pool room. Yeah, she's very popular. Little micro jitters from the ceiling. <laughs> Ed Terry said the pom poms are working in. Christy Heltney said my pom poms are better than yours. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. <laughs> Come on, man! They're rooting for their teams, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? What are you thinking, guy? Coming back up. Oh, no, 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 Mike D. No, no, no. That could have gone better. Yeah. Chris is trying to call in reinforcements to shoot, I think. Exactly. She <laughs> said you shoot. Yeah, exactly. I think she's got to go rail first into the two ball. We'll see how she's aiming. Yeah, yeah. I like rail first. And again, medium hard. Like, there's no reason to not hit a medium hard. Exactly. She hit it good. Yep. She hit it good. Look at that. Yep, she saved your bacon. Yep. She saved your bacon there, Mr. Marquez. No, she didn't sell out too bad. No. I mean, they're not hooked, but... Uh, they don't have any great shots either. Mm -mm. All right, so that tells us he can see the left side of the two ball for making it to the bottom of the left hand corner. Man, I mean. he's got to hit this with the wizard stroke. The wizard stroke. <laughs> oh wow! Look at this. Now this uh, you gotta uh, show me, boy. Dude, dude, dude is right. I don't like this shot. Okay, <laughs> so I think the side pocket point is about where you want to land for mm -hmm. going off the rail first. I think, uh, and you dude. listen, go rail first and let the ball swing around. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so he did have some. I think he might have left the gap for the four ball man. Yeah. If not, he left a jump gap, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. oh. He said, I'm going to cut this ball right oh. in for Mike what? D. No. He going to cut this ball in for Mike D. No. He going to cut this ball in for Mike D and swing it. Unless he's just going to bunt it and this put it in guy. the center diamond. <laughs> oh. Ooh. 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 Remember when I talked about that oxygen mask that drops down on the that's airplane? Right. Paul's grabbing it right now. <laughs> I was like, man, can I get a straight he's, in shot? He's pushing kids aside, old <laughs> folks. He just wants a breath, man. Everybody is. I'm like, making this happen. Just let me get something. This is life or death, kids. Exactly. Yeah. Don't want to follow the sin. Okay, well, there were good things and bad things about that. I'm glad he made it. Uh, you know Chris what? Is in a tough spot right now, now. Now, this one is the mighty X drill right here. You shoot this ball in the corner like a champ and win. You got to shoot in the corner, Mike. Oh, my you, God. Listen, Ugh. trust your stroke. All right. Trust your business. All right. And gin this ball. All right. Don't be scared. Don't decelerate. Don't think about it. a shot like this, I tell myself to keep my thumb Swish. pointed down. Swish, 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 swish. Because then I don't twist my I wrist. I tried to whist it. Oh, bummer. That was a tough shot, man. That was a very tough shot. Very tough shot. <laughs> William, a tough set. It's been a tough set, man. William Hodge said, play some shape, Paul. <laughs> How's it going, William Hodge? Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen, it's tough out right here, man. Oh, you guys should be here and sweat this. This yeah. is no joke. Nothing easy. Nothing easy. They're going to get on the hill. I'm talking about for overall score, guys. 
This one, they're going to knock it down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Good set, everybody. Yeah, Timor is going to have to start picking up those yeah. spares if they want to make got, this happen. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. they got to pick up the spares, my yeah. dude. Seriously. All right. Thanks, man. All right, my guy. All right, we're coming. Yeah. Singles match, the last match. All right, yeah. So this is the last match that's coming up because it'll be four to four either way. So this is Chris Byers versus Randy Comantigue. Let's go. We're going to take a little break, drink some Gatorade, do some things. I'll be right back. The mic will be on.
right, we got the lag. We got action. Let me see what I can do here. Almost forgot what's happening. There we go. Oh, we didn't. We, uh, I'll fix it, guys. What is this? It is, um. Oh, Randy Cannon TK. Yes. Um, I got it. TK. And Chris Byers. Chris Byers. I think I did it right. Did I do it right? Why did Why did it do that? All right. So uh, we got Randy Kamatiki. He got the break. Yeah. He won the lag. He's breaking with a BK2, which uh, are taking a resurgence in popularity. Oh, I see. You. Oh, right. Cut break. There we go. This is our last sat, set of the it. day. We decided we'd either stop at 4-4 four, four, or mm -hmm. when one team got to 5, uh, which was pretty clever of Mike. Yeah, it was smart. All right, so we got one down on the break. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one went mm -hmm. down. No great shot on the one. Yeah. How about the eight ball? Yeah, maybe. I think... I think I might go for the one in the top right-hand yeah. corner and try and flow down to the eight, try and That's make a move. That's what I'm saying, exactly. Because yeah. it's not 10 ball. Why not take advantage of it? Right. You got a free shot. Yeah, exactly. And you playing big, smooth. Dude, you're going to have to make it happen. Yeah. You better. Yeah. Don't be ducking. And what? I'm not mad at that. I'm not either. I, I like that he tried, to be yeah. honest. You. And like you're saying... I think Chris is a 714 Fargo, something yeah. like that. Uh, he's, he plays really good. And so does Randy, but you're not going to beat Chris by playing conservative. Chris, if he would have kept playing pool, he'd been an 800. He was a grandmaster, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. He's playing this speed when he's playing on the Mets tour. Man, this guy uh, is. Your buddy, just for the record, boy. your buddy Mike D's a grandmaster, too. Oh, my bad. <laughs> just, just, I'm in the presence of the Grand just, Masters. Just, just so we know. Score is posted wrong, Ra. You got to take the zero, zero, zero. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. People would not believe how hard it is to do this without a stream, without a chat telling you what's going on sometimes because it's good information. I, it's, I tell it's my often chat good all the time. Information. It's like, oh, I tell you, my geez. chat all the time. If you see something wrong, tell me. Yep. If the volume's low, tell me. If this right, is because right, they know. They're right, watching. Exactly. Thank you, buddy. So that's why they tell me. Is he banking this one ball? Stop. Okay. Stop. What's that uh, um, Tom Worth book? What's the Tom Worth book? The one pocket book. What's it called again? Uh, uh, controlled Aggression. See, I, I made yeah. you squeal on yourself. That <laughs> means you got the book. <laughs> I made you tell on yourself. And that's uh, correctly. So that's what... um. Randy needs yep. controlled aggression. Yep, exactly. This is a big shot right here for Chris. Big shot for Big Smooth. I like that. Man, this guy hits balls good. <laughs> he didn't even sweat it. He said, ah, oh, man, I'm good. All right, now shape on the two from here. A little tricky. Shape to the three? Yeah, to the three, excuse me. Yeah, because he's facing the wrong way. He got that big stroke, man. He can come to top rail. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah. When that happens, guys, that's because the wind is blowing the building, shaking the camera. Sorry about that. How about that shape? That's like ball in hand with your what? hand. With your hand. Dude, what? With your hand, he did that. <laughs> you guys, if you're at home with the table, practice that shot. Try and get that <laughs> shot right now. Right. Try and get that angle and not hug yourself. If you use a jump key, you did it wrong. Facts. He's on it, boy. Now, this is why I said on his first shot of the rack, this is a big shot for Chris, because he's a run-out champion. Making that ball, you know, his odds go way up on running all the way out. Yeah, I'll this tell is you looking what, really good right here. If I had hit that million, that millionaire and I became a millionaire, this guy would be on my team. Yep. Cole Gibbons, too. Yep. Mitch Ellerman, oh, too. Agree. I agree. 
Mitch Ellerman, too. I like Mitch Ellerman. I love Mitch Ellerman. I really like him as a person, yeah. I get commentated with him, and in between when nobody's listening, I'm like, hey, man, you think really fast. You are made for doing this, dude. Oh, and he's yeah. funny, too. And yeah, he, yeah. he talks I've had him quick. In the and I know. He's like, oh, he's going to use bottom left punch on this. And he's like, dude. Because he knows. Because that's what he would he's do. He's right every time. He knows. Dude. He knows what but champion thinking, would do because he's a champion. Thinking fast helps with this job. And, yeah. You know, he was somebody I was like, man. Yeah. He's always trying to find his niche in life, you know. And I was saying, man, that's something you can do, buddy. He got a great voice, too. He does. Yeah. He's good people, too. I like him. Safety good. So the problem with the big stroke mm -hmm. is sometimes it's a really big stroke. Yeah. Uh, that was an example of that. Yeah. When it misses, things can go really horribly wrong. Uh, yeah, that was a big miss. Now, uh, he, it worked out. You know, here's the thing, right? You try to get behind this eight. You bump this eight and it rolls out the way. He shoots his ball right in the corner. Yeah, see, that's what I thought Randy's just going for. He knows. Nah, nah, he, he was ducking. A little bit, you're right. He two was way ducking. shot at Exactly. Oh, good shot. The okay. only problem is, you left this guy a good shot. Technically, I can jump this eight ball, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to jump it. Yeah, technically a ball apart, and that those are about a ball apart, is pretty jumpable these days with today's equipment. Yeah. Uh, but it ain't easy. And then the problem is, too, the cue ball's going to be and you not going to have a lot of momentum. The cue ball's not going to have a lot of momentum, and when it hits the seven, it's basically going to stay down oh, that's, there that's and leave deep, far Mike. away. That's deep. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. That's what I'm saying. That was the one problem is the Stop. momentum of the cue ball isn't going to be yeah. there. And so he's got a long green, but that was a great shot. No, he hit great, that ball great, good. Great, shot. He hit it as good as you could shoot it. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Don't make my guys run. I'm going to run out there and start he punching put somebody. Little, <laughs> put a little pep in his step. You know his legs are long. He's fast. Oh, that dude <laughs> beat you down the block. <laughs> Believe it. What was that? What was that? Why did he hit it like that? Oh, his time was running out or something, right? That's what it was. His time was running out. He spilled his drink. Oh. Oh, he spilled his drink on the floor. Oh, man. Oh, Got no. his cue. Oh, man. Oh, no. That's brutal. He spilled his drink on his cue. That should be timeout. That should be timeout right there. Oh, boy. I just heard that. Oh, man. Uh oh. So, what happened, guys, because you guys can't see, uh, drink spilled all over. Chris Byers' equipment, I mean, spilled on it. So it went on his cues. He's trying to dry them off right now, and that's why he was rushing to get back. I'm watching what everyone's doing like they're a TV show right now. I swear to God, <laughs> I'm just in trance. Just like people are cleaning chairs. Sam's telling people we got a break. Chris yeah. would like to punch somebody. Uh, there's a lot going on out there. Yeah. Uh, Chris doesn't want to punch you, but I'm just kidding. But he's frustrated. Yeah, I'd be frustrated too. You got right. a chance to win, and right. you got to fire at the ball because you don't want your cue sitting in moisture. Yeah. And besides it making it sticky. Or it makes, you know, could get your wrap. Anything can happen. Exactly. You got to really try to dry that up. Yeah. Plus, it'll make you feel jangly. Exactly. You know what I mean? When you start feeling clumsy and exactly. you start, you know, that is not the way you want to feel when you're exactly. playing this event. You're probably thinking about, like, man. All the kids at school are going to make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> they going to make fun of me? No, nah, he's out of school. Yeah. All right. So he's putting his cues way behind him. Chris's break, yeah. All right, shake it off. Yeah. All right, cut break.
pretty standard at this point. Nice. That's a good one. That, oh, boy. Uh-oh. Okay. It's the only tricky part, right? Okay. Can you stun this with a, yeah, a little bit of a cut, right? He'll use a center draw and leave mm -hmm. the cube, leave the one ball basically right where the six ball is, if not a little closer to the hole. Yeah, he's, he's set with us. Yeah, that's the shot. Yeah. Now, the, old, the positive of Chris not making that eight ball is he's, he's, he's pretty serious right now. No, he You know what I mean? He's, yes. You know, <laughs> yeah. He's pretty serious. Right Jokes now. and games are he's out the window. He's not amused. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So. I'm encouraged that he got that break because is, is is the captain of the team. I'm encouraged oh, to got for that sure. break because that's going to really help him to, for sure, bro. to shake it off and get back on track. And, exactly. You know, yeah, show Randy why he's Chris Byers. Ba Byers. He just delivers that cue right down the line, boy. Yeah, he really does. It's like a freight train, isn't it? That was a great shot of the back of his cue, because seriously, it is like a freight train. There's no deceleration in that stroke. Yep. So I got a secret on the shoes. You know what's up with the shoes? No, what's up with the shoes? They keep them flat to the floor. Really? If you look at them. Okay, okay. Yeah, I heard him talking about it. If you look at his shoes, see him? Yeah, no, I did notice them yeah. earlier. They look like a, like, ra like rock climbing shoes yep. or wrestling shoes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. He said they helps him keep them flat to the floor. Really? Yep. Interesting. Okay. Oh, he got a tough angle on this. Mm. No. Oh. No. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Bit of trouble. Randy can make himself a hero. Got to get past the edge of that nine. This is this is rough action, bro. How you like that, Mike D? Ugh. This is this is ugly, yeah, bro. Yeah, this is yeah. I think Randy's got to do. He's got to play a one pocket bank right now. Just bank that up to the yeah, top left yeah. hand. I hate you. Because there's nothing else great to do, and that's a makeable shot. Just don't scratch. He knows his shot well. He got to tell himself, is there a double kiss here? No double kiss. No double kiss. The How do you like oh, that jail? Wow. How do you like that jail, sir? Oh. Good shot, Randy. Uh, there's, a chan there's a big chance that Randy did that on purpose, too. He knows what's up. Yeah. But uh, there's a big chance that Chris makes this ball. This ball is huge. Oh, definitely. Wow, See? almost. Yeah, Very controlled that hit. Huge, huge that was ball. a great hit. Now, these are the kind of shots good players make. Yes, yep. Cue ball's going to float over exactly. to the right. Yeah, exactly. Yep. This is the kind of shot good players make. Yep. They recover and get out. Yep. Compared to some of these last shots, this should almost look like a slow motion shot. Do you Correct. know what I mean? Where Correct. just that, that aim, everything's just going to float right now in yep. a perfect world. Yep. Oh, it was harder oh, than I oh, thought oh, it was oh, going to oh, hit it, my friends. Man, he that was harder than I was talking about. That ball's Guys. super good, though, bro. Never mind. Uh, this is a shot I like in my basement, but I don't like for pressure. No, no. Definitely don't want to pop it, man. Don't catch so those points, man. It'll yeah. spit that right out. Like the wrong change. Nope. Nope. We saw that down the pipe. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Go, Chris. Nine feet of doom. Dude. Dead straight. Oh, what you going to do? Big smooth. If you're look at that, look at that shot. That's, if you tell me you like the shot, I'm gonna call a you true? a liar. A exactly. big fat liar. <laughs> Did you remember that Dance time fire. Tyler Steyer shot that shot like this? Yeah. That's he had crazy. to jack up at 45 degrees and he popped it. He in. popped it right in, like nothing. Like that. Oh. Uh oh. I'm calling the cops. 
I think that was a little bit of robbery. Ouch. That was a robbery. Hit that ball good. Oh, man. Mm -mm. Cameron. Cameron Seagate. Wow, you know, that was that, there was that whole hug thing I talked about earlier. If this keeps up, I'm going to need a hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to cuddle with the Team Oregon <laughs> captain. <laughs> Man, what's happening? Give me a little what's background on, or man. something, man. How you doing, buddy? Somebody come okay, help me, man. Yeah. This ain't right. You want some macaroni and cheese or something? Some sort of comfort food? <laughs> yeah. I have to crush when I'm depressed. Me too. Right. Desiree Dixon in the chat room. That's why oh. she said that's pure robbery. Yeah. Hi, Desiree. I thought he hit that ball good. Oh, yeah. Desiree's good friends with Chris and Irene and his wife. He's good people. It's Irina, right? Yeah, Irina. Exactly. I just met her yeah. today. Yeah. Oh, but nice. I saw her online. Yeah. yeah, she's real cool. She got a hold of Chris and she straightened him out. Big made, class. Made him act right. That's good. Yeah. Good. And like Sometimes a guy with that. brains, he went, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, bro. yeah. Exactly. Sounds good. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Take that. All right, 2 0 in Washington's favor. Man, this guy's him. He's like, get in the he ain't hole. Afraid to hit him, is he? Yeah, no, he ain't. All right, a lot of ducks in that side pocket. Mm -hmm. You may have to bank this one and just try for yeah. it. Maybe it'll maybe get safe. He doesn't make it. You know. <laughs> Mark Cohen said, "Not robbery. He missed. Not an easy game. You're kind of brutal, Mark. <laughs> he hit that ball pretty good, though. He did. He hit it really good. Mm -hmm. Swish." <laughs> This guy's starting to feel it, man. I will say, though, I think Mark's point is that had he pocketed the ball, the ball would be in the pocket. <laughs> if you make it. He's just pulling out. It's not I in the know. pocket. So he actually sure. didn't pocket I the got ball. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. Uh, see, this is nah, not this the problem. Is but this is the thing. This is Randy Comet. He, he will break it run. Check it out. You know. He's going to make all three of these balls on one shot. Click, 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 click. Oh. Only if it were only click, if click, 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 He click. could. I'll go you with know that. what I mean, right? Yes, he could, yeah. But he's loving these ducks. He wants to use oh, them yeah. one at a time like like gemstones and stuff, something. Don't move that eight. Right, right. I've done that so many times, man. Right. Make that shot. Put the eight just on the wrong That's side right. of the point, and now it's the worst ball on the yeah. table by far. Yeah. All right, <laughs> back cutting. Problem with back cutting on a diamond is, again, they do not like the long rail. If you touch that long rail first, it does not go. That's right. That's right. Mike D just called it. And boy, that Randy. Cuts are dangerous on these Randy, tables. you just that's the opportunity you dropped right there. Yep. You had big schmoove in trouble. You've been three zero. Yep, yep. He needed to aim for the catcher's mitt with on these pockets is is the short rail. Yeah. Side of the pocket. He's not gonna drop this one. I like to hit this with a bunch of bottom right and come around two rails and mm -hmm. make it look really cool just because the eight's there no matter what. <laughs> might right. Not, might not make a show out of it. Oh, yeah. Around. Nasty. Yeah, I agree with you, Andrew. Andrew said if it, if the ball is sliding, you have to be more accurate than if it's rolling. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because the sliding is also often part of the effect of the throw. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, that's so intuitive that yeah, yeah. I agree. It's a, yeah. it's a different world. Oh, he's cake. That's cake, look at that. Right into shape. Good uh, shape, Chris. You got it, buddy. Chris is my horse, he's my team captain pick at the end if that's there how we go. end up, man. There you go. Yeah. You want them feeling good. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Mm. Especially the last match of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, if we could if we could leave today tied up and everybody feeling good, um, uh, I, I, that would be my hey, preference. Oh, they got Ramil. I, I know you, you, oh, you're yeah, funny, yeah. but you, you're you not funny. If the ball is rolling, it must be round. If you miss the pocket, it won't go. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I got one for you. If you say corny comments, you won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all jokes, man. He's a good guy, too. Yeah. I like him. Oh. He loves good people. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I know he's joking. 
right. Sam's doing a good job. I do appreciate his raffle, nah, his refereeing abilities. Nah, he, he that guy's solid. Yeah, yeah, he is. That guy's solid. Yeah. One ball throws in with English, but yeah. we'll see. Nah, man. I know you was joking, bro. I was joking back. I told him you're good people, Rumel. He knows. Yeah. He's with you. Mike said. I promise. Yeah, you good. good. Stun run. Stun run. Stun run. Wow. Come that on, took man. a good touch. The four yeah. ball that he hit yeah. wanted to stop that cue ball. So yeah. not only did he have to throw the one in a little bit, he had to make sure he was at the right speed to mm -hmm. bump that four ball and still get out. Get through. That was exactly. a great shot, man. Great shot. Get through. This is yeah. ugly, boy. Yeah, the four balls. Yeah. Foul. Nasty. He's going to have to do what Lingelbach did is just get straight in on That's it. That's right. Yeah, just get shape. That's good money right there. Yeah. You know, maybe he wanted a little bit out, but he, it's making more for a guy of his um, speed. And if he has to, he can full, he can come forward and spin it yeah. back towards the four. We'll see what I he like that. doing. I like that better. Yeah. Because the five's up table. One thing you got to do is roll it in. Right, exactly, right. But he's just going to cheat to the left side and spin over. Yep. Yep. Speaking of controlled aggression. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I promise he's ready, he's ready to flip this table oh, yo, over. Oh, boy, you spill drinks on your cues? <laughs> yep. Man, I just go to Big Five and go get another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough shot. He said, not for me. He <laughs> said, not for me. That's, that's exactly what he said, man. <laughs> How do he's you hit that? He's big and smooth, isn't he? You got you to gotta yeah. agree, man. That was a uh, was strokey stroke right there, bro. Seriously, yeah. All right, well, he's looking good from here. All right, the key is, you know, get on the other side of the side pocket. Exactly. Don't scratch. Uh, and don't go so far down that you're back cutting it. He said, I'm coming right under where my stick is. Right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I knew somebody would get my big five, Dan Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan Wolf, Dan's Wolf's out there. He's a good guy. Oh, that guy's good. He's been his own help to the pool community. Yeah, he's on a quiet way. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't like to make a big deal out of it. Uh oh, deuce, deuce. Race three. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Race to three. Man, if you if you guys aren't here at Legend Billiards tomorrow, you're square. Seriously, straight up. Yep. You gotta come on down. Get some good food, good action, good drinks. You have a ball. Tomorrow should be really exciting, too, seriously. Yeah, yeah, all day, baby. No, and it's a lot of fun. It's rowdy and raucous, but still nice, and everybody's cool, and yeah, it's seriously. All right, come get some right catfish. Right? Exactly. Yeah, Lou will make it for you. Exactly. Come down and get it. Catfish lose. Litman lights, baby. Right? It ain't right without a Litman light. I love my Litman light, man. Ooh, I yeah. love my Litman light. Seriously. Changing the way we see billiards, yep, man. Yep, seriously. Let's go. Mike Littman makes it all happen, man. He does. I'm telling you, man, a man works, too. He don't delegate. He, he works. I told the last thing I brought to him, I'm like, hey, I got an idea, but you can say no, man. You say no to, you say yes to everything. I say, you have to say yes. You know, I just got an idea, man. And it was the Live and Light Challenge during COVID, you know. Oh, yeah, and, that was and he's like, no, that sounds good. Uh, let's do a bunch of prizes. I'm like, you can only do one prize. Nah, let's do a bunch of divisions. He's prizes. solid. He don't play okay, around. Mike. Yeah, he's, he's good. Seriously. Thank you, Mike. All right, Desiree. She said she'll be here tomorrow. She had the Blazers game oh, tonight. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right. Randy Sell looking good for breaking and running at her. And, yeah. and that would make it three to two, his favor. So there's a lot of motivation to get all the way out here for him. Mm-hmm. Okay. He might survive. He might survive. Then again, you might die. I can't tell if Chris can make this or not. No, I this is this is in, bro. This is Jin. Look, at, he's not even changing his aiming no, line. You're right. You're right. He's just thinking, do I pull this back or do I go full speed ahead forward? 
God, with his stroke, you'd have to wonder about going forward every time, right? Exactly. With my I stroke, I gotta back it up. I gotta back sometimes. it up. He's got back. Because that well. freight train stroke, I guess you could put a bunch of forward on everything. Nah, he's he's gonna draw this one back. I think though. he. I, I agree. The line for getting back up table forward is is pretty tough, especially with the six there and the. Right on, three. Tim. Thank you, Tim. Oh, he's going forward now, though. <laughs> yeah, and don't scratch, because Randy will get you. And that's what Mike D was saying. Mike D said, man, you got that big can, you got to live and die by it. Yep. There's a one-pocket player here right now that's pretty famous in Pacific Northwest named Al Perez. And one of the reasons he's so deadly at one-pocket is he's got the lamest little poke stroke you've ever seen in your life, but he never overhits anything. He's never seven feet away from where he thought right. he was going to be. He's six inches from where he thought. So you can only sell out so much in one-pocket. Exactly. All right, that's my Al Perez story. All right. Exactly. This is good. Wow, he oh, missed a whole ball. man. I'm going to go ahead and say that Chris got lucky that he missed that. You know what's going to be lucky? You shooting f under this four ball when I roll this one ball down there. Trying here. to get the put three foul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put you in jail. Yeah. Well, he's d he's a run out player. He's a run out player, yeah. so he ain't thinking about that. Uh, but you're right to say I do agree. Uh, anytime my opponent scratches playing nine ball, I have trained myself to think three foul. That's right. I don't always try and do it from there, but I Run see so many people not realize that if nothing else, you could have got him on two right then. I don't know about three, but you had a you chance like this where it's like, listen, you could have really easily got him on, a, exactly. on two. Look at Sam with the official ref gear. Derek Jackson says, what's up, Mike D and hey, crew? Hey, what's up, Derek? How's it going, buddy? Listen, Derek, man. another good fella. If you was playing me, I'm Captain Nitty. You're going to be right under that four ball. On two. I like it. I like it. On two. <laughs> Talking about... Where do I jump? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I had big smooths run out game, then I'll run out. You know what I mean? No, oh, I do. No, I, that's what I'm saying is I, I think when you're game. Chris and you're – and yeah. really, if your Fargo 700 this, or above and you got ball and on open table, yeah, you're supposed to run. Yeah. But I'm still with you. I like I like getting on two before I try it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it. Nice. So some bottom left off of this two and coming right back for the yeah. three. Right where he's standing. Yep. Second diamond, he's good. Yep. But he need he oh Mike, he need he needs a little angle to get to the four. To the four, one. right? Yeah. Yep. Especially since the four doesn't go to the bottom left right. hand. He wants yeah, he needs to bounce to get, out. Yeah. He wants to get right there. He almost uh, 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 tabletopped him or tree topped himself on that eight ball, but he didn't. He said, man, I'm like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, right. I don't know worry about it. <laughs> One railing out. He's feeling it, man. He is feeling it, yeah. yeah. He's feeling it. Boy, this is a connect the dots run out here, isn't it? You know what happens when you connect the dots? Yeah. You get the full picture? <laughs> no. No, the, the, point, the point on your pencil breaks. Uh, uh, <laughs> we saw that break in the line uh, today, boy. Yes, Connect right. The dots, no, that's right. true. But Big Smooth said, I'm, I'm proving you wrong. I'm, I'm here. Stroke City, y'all. Stroke City. Stroke City. Ooh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> now, I'm such a scaredy cat. I would have tried the six on the side from there, uh, but he put the stroke on and got there. Or the, uh, excuse me. Yeah. And, you know, he got it, though. Here's just what Mike D says, though. You got to cut this to the cheat side of the pocket. Dude, serious, yeah. Like yep, that. Just like that. Yep. Look at him, man. This guy got it on the string. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> you, Mike's a great guy, boy. I'm telling you, that stroke is a freight train, man. A that was a train. big stroke. Dude. Hey, Greg, um, oh, we, get buyers, <laughs> we get buyers in to be on a seven-footer. I have to raise all the cameras and keep changing their ankles because they're too damn tall. Yeah, this is great, man. 
Guess what? You might get your wish tomorrow, guys. Oh, buyers and defeat. Might, First might... thing tomorrow, huh? No, no. No. Later. Oh, the 15th round. Okay. You got a long way to go. All right, all right. That's just in case, right? Five more matches, yeah. Because you might make it. Oh, I think we'll go. I I predict Hill Hill or close Good. to Hill Hill, yeah. Especially with the way this is going right now. Yeah. I can already say, good. yeah, everybody's dogging the same amount. Everybody's doing good the same amount. <laughs> exactly. The Fargos are the same. I've, you're the same way, right? You've seen enough events yeah. in Fargo play yeah. out to where yeah. I can already tell you this is going to be a close, close yeah. match, man. It's, uh, that's, that's why it's kind of killing it. me when we're not picking up the spares. you, know you got to I mean? pick up the spares. It's so close. Yes. That, that kind of hurts as the captain to yeah. see us not getting those. That's for sure. But that's okay. I won't tell my team that. They can just know it later when they watch this. When they, look, when they watch it and listen <laughs> to you talk. They're breaking my heart over here, Rob. <laughs> Mm, again, uh, long and strong. If yeah. he stops right there, he's got the deuce. He can get out. But he has to stop that right there, Mike. Keep yes. that angle, that line on the two. Uh, Michael. I think, he's on the, I think he's on the three after I know. this. Oh, that's not the. Okay, that's the four. Right. Thank you, buddy. Uh, start time tomorrow, I would say, is 12. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah dude. 12 tomorrow. Yep, yep. Same bat time. Same bat channel. The only way that would have changed from the plan is if things started going really fast or slow or, mm. you know, but yeah, we. Or if you started kicking our butt, we got to add another day. Right. One shot at a time is all I can really say because, yeah, he's not yeah. looking great on the three, but he's you know still what? doing what he feels like exactly. he has to do. Exactly, exactly. He can swing at this, Mike. He can swing. He can protect himself. I think I'd bank it to the five ball. I think mm. if he banks it to the five ball, the six will stop the cue ball, and that maybe the nine will block the three. Well, how about if you make the six on accident? That would be a problem. Starting on won't be none. <laughs> my problem is I don't want to cut the three and then come back up and leave myself. This is true. The four, but, I, uh, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got him. He that's got good him. Shot, man. That's, he that's got really him. good. Nice and controlled. Yeah. I think Randy might have a clear window at it. Uh, he can't do much, but I do think he can get it just going straight at it. Greg Prendergrass, we talked about this earlier. This is a Tony booth. Tony over Shane in one pocket. Definitely. I got to go with a guy that's devoted his life to one pocket, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've watched Tony do things. And then watch him do it again and watch him do it again and watch him do it again and still not know what he did yeah. until I get to the fifth or sixth time and I realize, oh, he jumped something or he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, yeah, sometimes he does stuff where even watching it over on replay, you can't tell what he just did. That guy's amazing. Like that shot. Guess what he did? Oxygen. Wow, yeah. Get the defibrillator, buddy. Yeah. Great shot, Chris. Your release date. <laughs> 2023, because that's jail right there. 24-hour lockdown. If I'm Randy, I hit the crud out of this. I hit this so hard because nothing bad can. I mean, I right, see nothing bad can happen, but I ain't worrying about the stress. Look at this that's guy. Sure. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh. It's kind of a good reason to hit the crap out of it right here. Yeah. A little harder, he would have made that. Hit that ball super good. And you're playing Chris Byers, so if you do scratch, he's, he's yeah. getting out anyway, no matter what yeah. happens. I mean, yeah. Uh, the yeah. yeah. Well, um. Greg, it don't matter. If Tony's not the best, then it's Alex, and that means Tony's second. So you would have to put Shane third or or, or it is just because Shane's run out of ability. Everybody thinks he has a chance. You still got to move in one pocket, and Tony can move and make balls. That's the difference. So I'll take T-Rex, and that guy doesn't like losing either. No. I think he might have stood up on that. He's like, what? He's like, what happened? Right. All right, Randy. Chris Byers hit you with three. You, now you can fight back. Uh, I, one of the things I like here is to bank this four ball straight back to where his 
hand is right now mm-hmm. and then send the cue ball down to the bottom right hand so corner. I'm going to tell you some silliness yeah, yeah. I bank it towards the 8-4 hope I get lucky and shoot the ball in the side pocket no. okay <laughs> I like me and Randy stop it. Yeah, yeah, don't you? <laughs> I do, I Ain't do. that my job, though, to make you explain why it works exactly better? Right, okay, right. then. So I'll say silly shots, All and you right, tell like me it. why you're not supposed I to like shoot them. I like it, I like it. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Dennis, Tony, Alex, Scott, Shane. Uh, Greg, I'd go Alex, Tony, Dennis, Scott, Shane. Or my Shane Scott. Effort. Oh, effort. Yeah, come on. That's not even, hey, that's not even in the conversation. Effort Ray is the greatest ever. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, Greg. We'll remember. Yeah. I Alex just, Alex definitely my favorite player. I though. think uh, Alex guy. is the best one pocket player. Yes, period. I agree. I agree. And if it's and not him, it's Tony. I like the stories of uh, Alex following Shane around the country to gamble. Oh. Oh, when he went with the tar match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I was, I was there. I've seen it. Yeah. All right, Big Smooth. What you going to do, buddy? All right, so the score, uh, three for Oregon, two for Washington. Yeah. This is a big game right here. You know and what? That's a tough position. Yeah, yeah. Now, you can hit this four sloppily and make the seven. But oh, you can't make the seven when you hit it straight in the face. sloppy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Randy, you can make it 3-3 if you run out, buddy. Randy's looking dead serious, too. Oh, he ain't playing around. He definitely knows what the score is right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah, I'd rather be 5-3 to three than 4-4, four, four. right? Yep, definitely. <laughs> I like that English off the rail, back yeah. up, straighten it out. Yeah, the English straightened it out. Good shot. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. In football, they call that unnecessary roughness. Unnecessary roughness, Randy. Uh, Greg, I'm going to find somebody that's going to take that bet for you, buddy. <laughs> all right, so I, I like Bank it and win. you thin the heck out of this eight no. with some left hand no. on the cue ball and come back up no. table for nine in the side. No. You, bank, says no. you bank this ball in the corner and get the W. I'm telling you, it's almost a gimme. You bank that ball up top, he's going to outmove you. <laughs> wow. Spin it, wow. Spin it, What's my oh, damn name? Ra What's my damn Hannah. name? Ra Hannah. He you know called mean? it, man. You know what I mean, Dunny? You know what I mean, Dunny? Out. Come on, my Out. E? Out. Oh. <laughs> that was a great bank by Randy right there, man. Yeah, that was strong. Yo, sweat it. So yeah, this Randy's is. Doing it again here, guys. This is, this is Randy. Down the game, looking at Big Smooth in the face. Big Smooth could get on the hill. He went right to it, boy. He did the gutsy shot. He said, don't me. worry. He said, don't worry, Ra. I got you. Get on my shoulders, baby. Look at this. Look at this shot, Mike D. Cake. The speed of that, too, was so good, man. He didn't slam it. He didn't Cake. punch it. He just, man. He hit that ball. That was a good shot. He hit that ball where it says, go in. Right, exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect, perfect yep. storm. Yep. No, you know, situation, meeting it. He knows. Yep. He puts a big smooth on the hill. He don't like it. Right. Exactly. What's there to like from that? And you were right about playing a safety, too. Now you're playing a position game with this guy. You're going to play You're going to outmove big him. smooth yep. all day? Yep. Exactly. Come on, man. You make a mistake, that guy's shooting. Right. Plus, he'll bank it four rails <laughs> on you. <laughs> yeah, you'll get him safe. He's still going to make it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a oh, cool man, video guy. right there. You like that? Yeah, of course I like it because it's smooth. This guy, this guy, he's got opportunities right here. <laughs> For sure, Kobe. So the score is 
Sweet pea, right? Oh, you got that. I see uh, Kobe Pilgrim's on here. It's my partner in crime with the Bad yeah. Boys Out of Pocket All podcast. Right, that's my man, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe's check us out. Man. We're going we're gonna to do one uh, later today about the <laughs> Northwest Cup. That's right, Scott Lee. Scott Lee said he drills in and looked directly into the camera like, da -da -da, da -da -da. are you not entertained? Right, exactly. Exactly. I should have dropped the bomb on him, I forgot. Nice shape. He could, he, he's, he could win. Yep. You know what I mean? No, he could, buddy. He, he could. could win. Yep. <laughs> okay, speaking as the Team Oregon captain, I'm saying we got to pick up the spares. This is exactly Dang, what I'm talking you about. You have to. Like, you know, That's right. We keep, I don't, I don't want to be negative, we have opportunities like this and we're not picking them up. That's going to kill us. By you. That's right. going to kill us. So, I mean, it. when this happens, we have to make all these balls. We can't win. do this tomorrow. Yeah, we have to turn this into a, a win. Or Ra will be having a short day. I'll be coming and playing Jeopardy. He's got some nice angle to get over for the six. Yeah. Just got to just smooth it in. And that cue just goes Good. right, right straight through. Seriously. Yeah. Yep. Reminds you of, of Fedor. Yep. yep, exactly. And back. Yeah. Shape on the seven off the rail too. That's smart. He That's the way it. you do it. He exactly. It. Yeah. That's the way you do it. Yes. All right, so Thank you. Thank you, Michael. My man landed one. Oh nice. Trent oh, White is awesome. seven. Trent White is seven seven. Let's go, big that's Trent. Awesome. Just I don't need one, Mike. One junior. One junior. One junior. Oh, okay. One junior to medal. Oh, okay. Now it's going to be a Rahan Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Rod. I love them kids, man. Oh, that was smooth. Mix Formula 43. I am on the hill. <laughs> Let's go. Just that I would have hit it. Yeah. Uh, this guy doesn't hit nothing soft. This guy's like, you're going in. I'm not taking no chances. Yeah. Yeah. He, yep. he hits him. Okay, so Oregon is on the hill now, but mm -hmm. Washington has three. They're one away from being on the hill. This is nine ball. Anything could Your mom might show up and win. You don't know what could exactly. happen. It's nine ball, man. Uh, race to five. Yeah, so uh, this is mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, and I bet you anything based on today that tomorrow's going to be hill, hill, folks. If you get a chance, come on down yeah. here. And if you, no, is, forget that if you get a chance. Get Make, down here. Come all on right, down. All right, all right. This is a great here. event. Get down here. Giving you guys great action. And, and I got to assume you're a pool player if you're watching this. Yeah, they for sure. They have 20-something seven-footers next door and six nine-footers. They're right on the other side of the doorway. Yeah. Come down and bring your cue. Watch yeah. the pool place and pool. You can't, you, yeah. can't, you can't lose. That's what I'm talking about, Kobe. Make it happen. Let me know. You already know. Oh, boy. Look at that table. Dress up, Judy. We going all the way out. Nice. Watch this safety. Yep. So do you go forward, roll the cue ball forward, looking under the 3-8, or do you come under, try to pass the 2 and get down by the I nine? know what you're saying. I'm gonna, right? I want to bank the 1 ball in between the 3 and the 8 so it comes around to the middle of the bottom rail, mm. and I'm going to send the cue ball up table towards the 9 But if ball. you bump that 2, you sell them all the way out. Yeah, but I feel pretty good about not bumping that because because I'm going to use English to go off of the one to come up table. Okay. Anyhow. Oh, I got you. And I'm going to, yeah. We'll see what he does, but yeah, that, mm -hmm. that I think he might not end up with a hook, but he's going to leave him a bank. Yeah, no. And that that's why I like that strategy. I it's call the those one where, containing you know, shots. Yeah, exactly. Leave yeah. you that leave that little that little bait on the fish hook. Right, right. And tell you to go ahead and shoot. Unless he's trying to bank it to the side. No, that's silliness. Okay, so he chose a little bit of what I said mm -hmm. to go two rails. How about that? So, yeah, but. Oh, man, this guy is not yeah. playing around. The only yeah. thing, bad thing, it ended up in front of the pocket. And he, yeah. uh, Randy just has a half ball jump here. 
right? Oh, you rail you first, jump to the rail. Or, oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, Here's the bad thing. Listen, you catch this ball I'm thick. I'm sitting here giving Raw the thumbs down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Randy's about to make this shot. I believe it. Mike, you might get the double kiss and ball transference happens and yeah. you get the Scratch City. Yeah. Scratch City. Oh, man, I'm surprised. I'm you really... know what? You know what? You know what happened? That, yeah. That's the clock. Yes, got yeah, that's true. Got that's him, true. Bro. That's true. Got Chris him. should be glad that he opted for Massé instead of jump, because if yeah. he jumped the ball and went he off the there. rail, I think he would have made it 10 out of 10 right. times. All right, Chris, on the heel, on the Look, hill. Looking to make it. This could uh, bring us hill hill for the day <laughs> brian cutler says good night <laughs> i think he might be right i've seen people scratching the side off that the shot eight is big on the three ball he said not if you bump it i don't know if he overhead that or not i, th I assumed he I was assume. trying to get shape for the two in the side but this is better you can just roll off that side you can just draw drag this like that. That's cake, boy. Get the cash. Good Ola. shot, Chris. Get the cash. Ola. He plays really good. Good job, Chris. <laughs> Do you think, oh bro? God, yeah. Man. All right, so I'm coming out. <laughs> I'm coming to the bottom rail and then to Two the rails right. and back yeah. to the five. Because I don't want to use a bunch of tricky English that might throw me off somehow. There Some opposite go. English. You know what Man, I mean? Some I heavy left would have maybe possibly yeah. made me miss. Yeah. I like this. He's got the right angle for... Almost middle well, draw, when stun. You, when you keep back. the right angle, you can just roll the ball around. Right, it's right. when you guys make mistakes on things that you got to recover. I'm serious. That yeah. you have to use that English. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who moved the pocket? <laughs> Who moved the pocket on that shot? But you know what? I like him. He's just sitting there. He's like, I don't care. Yep. That ball went. Yep. There goes three more. To hit this so the cue ball gets off the rail a little bit, and that's going to make this a little rattly. Okay. I'm glad he made it. Because he had to hit that a certain kind of way so yeah. that the cue ball didn't just sit dead on the rail. Exactly. Yeah. Sell out. And diamonds, diamonds rattle, man. Diamonds <laughs> are tough action. Rattle and roll. Right. What you going to do, Big Smooth? Four to four. He said all day, baby. All day. Nice, Look Chris. That. I like that stroke he does, the, the little off the rail, kill yep, the ball all the time. Yep, yep. I like the stroke he does when he makes the ball. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you like the stroke he's going to shoot this nine with? Uh, man, I hope so. That's he's what not, I'm getting at, man. He's not going to baby it. I'm going to like it or hate it, I'll tell you he's that. He's not going to baby it. Four to four. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. All right. We got action. Wow. Raw Hannah. Christian wow. Younger. Mike wow. D. In the building. The Littman Lights Northwest Cup. Are you not entertained? This is crazy. Tomorrow, we will be back with more action at 12 p.m. Oh, we got everything you need. Don't miss out. We'll be here tomorrow. That's the matches coming up tomorrow. Lingo Bach versus Fernandez. Marquez and Robbins versus Davi and Tamora. Byers versus Camantique. Justin versus Sardin CEO coming up. All right, now, 12 o'clock, we'll be back. Got anything to say, Mike? I, hey, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. Uh, Team Oregon's the best, but Team Washington's <laughs> darn good, too. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. All uh, right. Thanks for letting me sit in. It's truly an honor, man. Truly an honor. All right. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. My bridge. That's my bridge. Thank you very Is that much. Your bridge? Mr. Making fun of my <laughs> bridge. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm almost there. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not live or nothing. Yeah, hold on a second. It's all right.